Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome in. Who's ready for some Metal Gear? I'm not, but we have to do this. Oh, we have to do it. It's going to be a long weekend, isn't it? It might be playing this game all weekend. It might be going on. That could be very well a thing. <laughs> so you might get a little sick of this game and me before we're all done. And that's all right. I'm in it for the long haul. In it for the long haul. We're going to figure out how to do this game. We're going to figure it out. It's going to be bad. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be fun. <laughs> Oh man, I have graph paper ready. We're going to be using a lot of graph paper. I'm going to draw a map of this maze. And we're going to figure it out. That's how it's going to go. Who's here today? Welcome in, Coffee, Throg. Throg is here to witness the, the destruction he's brought upon my channel by redeeming this game. Thank you, Throg. <laughs> Oh boy, it's going to be a good one. Timmy, welcome in. Smart and Tart, what's up? Gray Foxy, Ox, Breeze and Sky. Oh, who else is here? My goodness, this is, I've been dreading this all week. Plaboo, Colonel Braddock, K Fight, Quick 16, Pug, Ridia, Kane, uh, Derek, thank you for the raid, buddy. Welcome in. Sorry I missed that. I was setting up the stream. I appreciate the raid. What's going on? Thank you for getting him a shout out. I appreciate that. Derek, what are you playing today? How did your stream go? Hero, what's going on? Immune, welcome in. Healer, what's up? Kane, thank you for the gift sub to Breeze and Sky. I appreciate it very much, dude. I'm catching up with you guys. Give me a minute. We'll ca we'll catch up. <laughs> we'll catch up. Granger, what's going on? Kane again. Thank you for the gift sub to Breeze and Sky. I appreciate it, buddy. And Breeze, thank you for the hundred bits. I appreciate that. You guys don't have to do any of this stuff. We don't have to do hype trains or any of that nonsense. We're just here to have some fun, right? Vance, welcome in. Uh oh, mixer starting to move. Yeah, I'm here. Coffee. I'm here. Unfortunately. I'm here. Now, well, hopefully it'll be fun, right? Vanessa, welcome in. Brigan, what's going on? I want a backseat to make you play this game. To make sure you play this game correctly. Oh, I'll play it wrong. Don't, don't worry about that. I got you covered on playing it wrong. That's all right. I'll get better. I will improve. It's going to be bad for a while, I'm sure. Cloud, what's up? Not feeling courageous or no. Absolutely not. Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome in, man. Tilty, what's going on? Remember that job interview I had a couple of weeks ago? I got off for the job. Congratulations, sir. Congr I knew you were going to get that. That that was a given, Tilty. I knew you had that in the bag. Well done, sir. Well done. I, I like seeing good news like that. That makes me feel better on a day where we're playing jank like this, because this is just going to piss me off all day. But that's great, man. Congratulations. I am thrilled for you. Hacksaw, what's up? Welcome in. Link, what's going on? I have been dreading this all week. It's been the fastest week of my life. Because every day was a day closer to Metal Gear, am I right? Yeah, I gotta have patience. That's wonderful. I'm so I'm a real patient person. You guys know that. It's ought to be great. I bet you'll beat the game in one stream, says K Fight. Nah. Probably not. Probably not. I bet it'll take at least two. I think we should probably go about four hour, four to four and a half hours today, get as far as we can, and then do the next thing tomorrow. Maybe get through it, maybe not. I'm kind of worried it's going to be all weekend, honestly, though. Theron, what's going on? Welcome in. Uh, Pug says, yeah, the one time a month makes her plays a game I've heard of. I bet you've never seen her play this one, Pug. Everybody knows about Metal Gear Solid or whatever it is. Well, this is the Metal Gear game I grew up with. And you know what? It turned me off all of Metal Gear for the rest of my life. I've never even bothered with another Metal Gear game because this one pissed me off way too much. Couldn't beat it. Kept getting stuck. Kept dying. Didn't know where to go. Didn't have a clue. Can we fix that? I hope so. With a mechanical pencil? Yes, sir, Kane, right here. Got you covered. Mechanical pencil and colored pencils are also available to work on the map with. So I got a graph paper here. We're going to do that. CSM Matt, what's up, buddy? Monica, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. Bell, welcome. 
Brigan, thank you for the 100 bits. My goodness, you guys don't have to do that. You'll kick this game's ass? Nah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Timmy. Kane, gift sub to Chris and Brigan with another 100 bits. Good gosh, that's 200 bits. Kane with two gift subs. Guys, you don't have to do that. Thank you so much, though. I appreciate it very, very, very much. This is Mixer. Respond, please. Yeah, we're going to get on the transceiver and call for call 911. I'm going to need that. Mr. X, what's going on? I'm gonna need the. Uh, I'm gonna need the. Good luck. I appreciate it, buddy. It's gonna be miserable. Chris, what's up, man? I see Chris popping in. Culip, what's going on? Welcome in. We are finally constant reader. Welcome in. I'm finally caught up with you guys. This is my first NES cartridge back in the day. Didn't have enough money for Zelda 2 and said found this one for half the price. Caught my attention for being an adventure game. Take me years to beat it. It's very cryptic. Yep. It might take me a year to beat it. We might be playing this for a, a year, a straight solid year. But you know what? We're not playing another game until we beat this. That's a shame too because April Fools is right around the corner and I've got a good surprise for you guys for April Fools. But we might not get there because we might be playing this all weekend. So we'll see. Lord Awesome, welcome in buddy. How's it going today? Let's get this masterpiece of garbage done. Let's, let's do that, right? Solid year with solid snake. Oh my god, Neff. Neff, what do you think about this game? It's probably like your favorite game of all time, is it not? Yeah. More than likely. <laughs> Neff, it's not my birthday. You know that. You know that. As a kid, I ran in and had a guy, but I couldn't beat it. I won't say why until Mixer beats it. Great. Great! That makes me feel a whole lot better, Brigan. That is exactly the confidence booster I needed. Neff is not a big fan. Okay. Prediction, how long till Rage? We all know how this game starts out. I remember it starting out really badly, so yeah, there might be Rage right off the bat. Get ready for that. <laughs> GBA Double Dragon, um, I'll add it to my list, Kane. I will add it to my list. You'll see it one day. If you recommend it, I'll put it on there. Let's get started. Look, it's like Rambo. We're parachuting into the jungle. Let's get it going. Mixer's playing a series he adamantly expressed a dislike for. I'm proud of you, Geiger. I gotta do that, man. I gotta face the music sometimes. Sometimes I play stuff I don't want to play. <laughs> I don't know if I'm brave or stupid, but either way, we're here, right? Oh, I'm getting a call. I don't even remember how the buttons work. Okay, start pauses, B punches. A doesn't do anything, probably because I don't have any equipment yet. We have no weapons. Are we doing a, what is, uh, you have less than five minutes? Oh, great. See, Geiger, how you doing today, man? Ren, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Ready for mental gear? Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Mental gear. <laughs> Ren, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. Yeah, let's not do any backseating or uh, any of that stuff, please. No spoilers, no backseating. It's, it's going to be a difficult adventure. But that's going to make it fun, right? Me suffering. That's what you guys want to see. <laughs> Go 10, what's up, man? That's right. No backseating, no spoilers. Thank you. Thank you. Go 10, hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. Good day, sir. Good luck. Gonna need it. Gonna need it. What kind of equipment do we have? Oh boy, cigarettes. That'll help. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> That's what we need for the mission. That'll get the job done. All right, do we have anything else that'll help me? No other weapons. So ridiculous. All right, transceiver. I'm getting called by somebody. Big Boss speaking. Operation Intrude in 313. You are to infiltrate the enemy fortress Outer Heaven. Then destroy their final weapon, Metal Gear. First, attempt to contact our Gray Fox. Then try to find the Metal Gear. Use frequency 12085 for all communication with me. Over. I better write that down so we can... We, that way we can stay in touch with Big Boss. That, that's probably important. So, uh... Let's, let's start getting organized here. Alright, so the frequency is 120.85. And I'm going to write Big Boss. Alright, so we get in trouble, we know who to call, right? Right, I don't want to be in the back seat in this car crash. I'd rather be on the sidewalk running away. No, you're in the car, Lord Awesome. You're not going anywhere. I'm locking the door. You're in here. 
You're in here for the long haul. There will be rage. There will be that. That's right. There will be that. This controls are weird. You press select to get to this. You press A to get to the menu. And to get back out of it, you hit select. You don't hit B. It's, it's The controls are really weird. It's for later Metal Gear, more specifically Metal Gear Solid. I'll probably play it one day, Plabu. People will ask for it. You can spoil it if you want to. I'll probably forget what you say by then anyway. I love this theme. Hey, the music's good, right? Yeah, well, Ren, what kind of special forces dude is this? He's brought nothing with him. Nothing useful. Why is this in the Jank Redemption? Neo, what's up? Because I had this as a kid and I couldn't get anywhere with it and all it did was piss me off. It's going to do that again, too. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. Okay. All right, way to go. Just fall asleep right there, buddy. Watch this. I feel asleep. Yeah, I remember that one. All right. I don't have a weapon, so there's... Oh my god, all right. <laughs> oh, let sleeping dogs lie, right? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, 16-bit heroes, what's up? I feel asleep too, Rydia. I slept terrible last night. Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay, that was a bit of a jump scare. All right, I, I, <laughs> I haven't played this in a long time. Hang in there. Can you turn up the volume? I can. I can. Is that better? Is that better? Holy crap, that scared the life out of me. 16 bit heroes, what's up? Space hamster, what's going on? Oh man, I wish I was still asleep. All right. All right, great. That's exactly where I wanted to be. There's nowhere to go, and you can't go through the woods or anything. Can't no. I don't remember much about this game. All right, but obviously I've gone the great. Now I have to go through the dogs. <laughs> Volume is better. Okay, you guys let me know on that. The dogs went freaking ballistic, dude. <laughs> How are we gonna do this? Will they just not wake up if I move slowly, maybe? Oh my god, I knew it. Alright. Run, just run, just run! Oh. Jesus Christ, this is <laughs> it's not going well. All right, I remember you can go in the trucks. I have played this before. It's been 30 something years, so there's gonna be bits and pieces I remember. All right, we got binoculars. All right, look. All right, now we can see like the, the sides of the truck, right? Perfect. Well, that went well. Let's play something else. All right, let's move on. <laughs> oh my god! All right, uh oh. <laughs> okay, well, that didn't work so well. Let me, I didn't even get a chance to try out binoculars. All right, let's see how they work. All right, not very well. Not very well. Not at all. Welcome to Metal Gear. Yeah, it's going to be one of those kind of days, isn't it? It's just going to be a bad day, right? All right, I'm already dead. Is this guy going to fall back asleep this time? Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. Good. All right. Can, how close do you have to be to kill? Mm, yes. All right, we're through. <laughs> All right, we're through. Good. All right. Maybe binoculars will help us out. What's going on, Coyote? Welcome in. How you doing today? A camera and a stealth game. Who would guess? I know, right? <laughs> Hobo, what's up? Welcome in. How you doing today? <laughs> Things are not going very well. We're off to a bad start. 16-bit, what's going on? I remember the truck starting to move thing. We're going to see that in a minute. Funkle Dude, welcome in. How you doing today? Yeah, we get, you get to keep the items, apparently, if you die. Okay, so that's going to be a good thing. So we're going to slowly make progress. I would like to kill somebody. I don't have any... Okay, this guy's going to sleep, apparently. That's good. I'm just going to run past him. Okay. Okay. Nice! Okay. 
Maybe I should try all the binoculars now that we're on a, a different screen here. Alright, that's back where we were. Just bear with me here. Bear with me. Alright, so hold, hold, hold everything. I'm trying to look at the next screen. You only get to do it for like half a second. Alright, so down is another dog. Right is nothing, left is nothing. Okay, so you can't do much with the binoculars. Alright, that's fine. I don't know how useful that's going to be. Trogdor, what's going on? It's literally the worst Metal Gear game. Uh, yeah, this kind of turned me off Metal Gear for life. By the way, I've never tried another Metal Gear game. Coffee, everybody will be dead if you do that. You know that. No one will survive. <laughs> Coyote, I hope you're having a good day. Always nice to see you as well. Uh, you, Coffee, you're going to kill everyone with that kind of stuff. Was he sleeping standing up? I think so, Yellow Freeze. Welcome in. How you doing today? No, I play no other Met, uh, Metal Gear game, Space Kitty. I was done. I was done. What? Dude, how did those guys respawn? I killed those guys and I didn't even leave the screen. Why did that happen? Dude, this is so... This, see, this is why I hated this game. I'm remembering now why I hated this game. I'm remembering all too well. I don't know how those guys respawned. Right, I'm not going to fight any of these guys. Just keep running. Maybe that's what we need to do is run. Oh, my God. Can this guy see me? There's, like, woods in the way. Can you see me? No. God damn it! Just run, just run, just run for your life. All right. J Dog, what's going on? Purple Saber, what's up? This is going awful. <laughs> Techard, welcome in. How you doing today, Tech? Oh, it's going really badly right now. I have no, I have binoculars. Oh, oh this just loops. Or is this a different screen? I should try the binoculars. All right. Let's try that. Okay, that's not really... That's the same screen, dude. Either it's the same screen or it's something that looks... Or it's, it's something different but looks the same. Okay. Oh, my God. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. I don't think the binoculars are very useful. I'm not getting anything out of this nonsense. Bama, what's going on? Welcome in. If I hit the dog, can I... Oh, I got him. Okay, so if you sneak up behind him, you can actually hit them. It stuns lock. Alright. Okay, can they see me from here? I'm not very good at stealth. I, I like just killing stuff. No! No, 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 no. Okay. Still have no gun or anything. Nice! Okay, let's see what's in the truck. I have located card number one. Okay, see, I remember doing this. These key cards, you need these cards to open doors throughout the game. And there's a bunch of cards, and I don't remember how far I got into the game. This was like 30 years ago. I'm trying to remember what I can. Doing well for the most part. I'm on my break. Sounds good, man. Sounds good. I know, Timmy, it's stupid. I know. <laughs> Make Rob, what's going on? Yeah, Lost Woods puzzle, see, Geiger? That's exactly what I wanted to see. It's exactly it. Metal Gear Solid is brilliant, but absolutely not for you in any capacity. I generally think you'd rather lock your fingers in a hot sandwich for us and have to watch a 20 minute cutscene. I'm not big on cutscenes. <laughs> not in an action game. What, dude? This solid snake dude has to be the worst special ops guy in the world. Who doesn't bring anything useful on a mission? 
Good lord, man! This is awful! <laughs> Everything respawns if you move anywhere. I'm just gonna have to be ready for that. Proto, what's going on? How's it going today? Hope you're having a good one. Man, it's terrible right now. It's absolutely awful. <sighs> I've already died like three times. Yep, yeah, Link, you gotta bring something useful, though. <laughs> That's what I mean. I need useful things. All right, this guy feels asleep, right? It's gonna be a long day, Lord Awesome, I know, right? We're gonna probably play about four and a half hours and call it a day, because I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to take of this. It's gonna have to be... I'm, we're not doing like a 12-hour stream of this. I did Fact Xanadu for like eight hours the other day. That was actually fun. This is terrible right now. Hopefully it'll get better. Proto, what's up, man? Night Sprite, what's going on? Raku, welcome in. Uh, happily Quirky, nice to see you. Lemon, what's up? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. These don't do anything, I don't think. I don't remember them having any use when I say I'm hitting the buttons, nothing's going on. I, I'll get lung cancer, okay? How about that? That seems useful, right? Narcoleptic <laughs> soldiers, I guess so, Neff. I guess so. Alright, I, I'm trying to figure it out. Alright, sneak through here. Alright, we're getting... Alright, what's the hitbox on the dog? Okay. We're getting there! We're making progress. I hope. Alright, I got that guy. We're still full health. No! No! Oh my god, I'm in trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, they did they, they... Mm -mm. Alright, let's try and get I'm guessing the other truck is gonna take us somewhere. Uh-oh, the truck have started to move. Alright, here we go with that nonsense. Bang, what's going on? Welcome in. We're making some progress now. We're somewhere else. The truck have started to move, alright? I don't know what anything is gonna happen here. The truck has started to move. Okay, your turn. Wait, what? Okay, whatever. I've located some rations. Okay. All right, I think those, let me check the manual. I think these heal you. Okay, so what what I'm going to be looking at here, this is the only help I'm allowing myself right now, is this. This is the manual that came with the game, so I can use that. So let me see what, let me look for rations in here. I think those do a full heal on you or something. Are they even in here? Rations, crucial nutrition needed to restore your vital sign. That's how they described it. Why not just say this gives you your health back? Why not just say that? Why you got to make it so complicated? All right, moving right along now. Now you found rations. Can the game finally become rational? We'll see. I wonder if I can carry more than one. Oh my god. All right, they're going to respawn immediately. Better tip, don't play. I wish. Too late now. Too late now. We're going to be playing this all day long. Maybe all weekend. Zuki Zero, what's going on? Susamu, what's going on? No spoilers. No, no spoilers. Can't do that. Uh-oh. Does this go back to where I was? Yep, okay. I'm, I'm. Bear with me here, guys. I don't really know where I'm going yet. Bear with me. Two-Tone, what's up, man? Welcome in. Yeah, I've got the manual available, at least, Throg. That should help me out a little bit. <gasps> ah! Okay, so that goes back. <laughs> ah, man. All right. Truck has started to move. Two-Tone, how you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good day. We're trying. We're making some progress. I it's funny how the truck just immediately starts moving the instant I get in it. And yeah, this is our equipment so far. I, I can carry more than one rations, okay. So now I have three, right? Yes, all right. I'm gonna keep picking them up until it stops letting me. I think there's only so, so much you can carry. And unless you, you have to level up or something. I'm trying to remember how everything worked. But I have played this before a long time ago. I didn't get very far. All right, so now we have three rations. All right, so we're getting some equipment. We're gonna make some progress. Things are happening. All right, I got that guy. All right, I don't know about 
getting in the buildings yet. We might need a key card to get in there, but let's check the trucks out first before we do anything else. Let's do that. All right, truck has started to move. The truck has a bumper sticker. I'd rather be mudding. Well, I'm going to set the truck on fire if that's what it says. <laughs> You're right, Plavu, I know. They tell you not to put the game in, like, water and stuff. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah, some idiot kid would have been like, I'm going to clean my game by putting it in the water. I bet somebody did that. When you hear something weird, particularly put your stream on for weekends while we're making breakfast. Now I want to hear your voice. I smell bacon. That's awesome, Two-Tone. That's actually awesome. I like that. <laughs> so you associate me with a good, good hearty breakfast. I can work with that. We're being called. All right, I just got a call on transceiver, and there's nothing here. The solid snake, respond, please. I, I just got a call. Why am I not getting anything? Somebody prank calling me? What's going on? <laughs> Eater of Worlds, welcome in. Which chapter of Resident Evil 4 is this? Uh, uh, you know what? We might be playing that in like 50 years, Eater of Worlds. That, that's not exactly my style. I think you know that. I think you know that. That's not my style of game. This is, though. Another truck that started to move. I didn't even get to check the other ones. I, they hung up on me. I smell Big Macs when I hear your stream. No, you don't, because that guy's banned forever. Forever! I'll never. Oh, wait, now the truck doesn't move and there's rations here? Okay, that totally makes sense. That totally makes a lot of sense. Now that it's not moving and rations magically appeared. All right, well, this is going nowhere fast. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> I don't think I'm ready to fight a tank yet. All right. <laughs> Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> All right. I, I don't think that's where we need to be. Make sure I put your stream on the other day when I was restoring my vital sign. Now when I hear your voice, I smell crucial nutrition. You ought to smell Chun-Li, Lemon. Chun-Li. That's what you need to think of. <laughs> Vital sign. That's what it calls my health. As far as that tank is gonna kill you, I'm sure it is. We have no. We, I have no weapons. Nothing yet. Yeah, that'll work, Geiger. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that cute Chun Li emote. Look at that. That is wonderful, hero. I'm gonna steal that emote. No, I can't steal that. Anthony, what's going on? Welcome in. How's it going today? Man, what a start to this. EH, what's going on? How you doing today? Good luck on Metal Gear Mixer. I love this game. Played it all the time as a kid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm very sorry about that. That's unfortunate. Oh, God, look at this. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Should I even... Wa Dude, I'm going to get in so much trouble if I if this is like not a one-way passage or whatever. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm never going to find my way out of this. Let's try the binoculars. All right, put binoculars on. They sent this idiot in with no weapons. All right, let's look to the left. All right, more of the same. Let's look. Uh, let's look to the north. More of the same. Let's look to the south. More of the same. All right. <laughs> let's look to the right. More of the. Oh my God! Yeah, great. Lost woods, northwest, southwest. Right? Yeah, that ought to get us through the Lost Woods. Let's ask Big Boss if he knows what to do here. Uh, we need to call him on frequency 120... 85. All right, I'm going to call Big Boss from out here in the woods. Gad the Rad, what's going on? Why did they send him in with no weapons? I have no idea. I, b I blame Big Boss. We're going to call Big Boss. The Solid Snake, respond, please. All right, no response. All right, well, let's, let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> this is not where I need to be. All right, let's just get out of here. Hopefully, I can just go right back to the right here. Yeah, it's going to be like a Zelda maze. All right, well, maybe we'll get the instructions for that another time. In the meantime, let's keep looking around. I don't know where I'm going. We can go left, right, up, down, out of sight. God only knows at this point. All right, does this just loop, maybe? Wolfmaster, welcome in. We're in terrible shape here. I've already died like four times. Can't get decent reception in the jungle bases. There's nothing in there. Or we'll find a way to get through it later, I guess. I suppose. 
Wolf, what's going on, man? Oh my god, did I find a weapon? Plastic explosive. All right, we finally found something. <laughs> I'm lost as hell, dude. I don't know where I am. We got five plastic explosives. All right, what can we do with that? Blow the truck up. <laughs> what good is that going to do? All right, I'll take more. Apparently, you can only hold five. All right, well, at least we got a weapon. Yeah, where are my weapons? I had a meeting that could have been the email this morning that went on a, that went on way too long. Other than that, I'm good. All right, well, it could have been worse then, right? Could have been worse. Uh oh, truck's starting to move. Great. Now I'm going to be somewhere else. I don't know where the hell I am. Bad cold, and I'm all out of Ghost Goblins, Super Ghouls, or torches. We you want to do a torch only run of Ghosts and Goblins Resurrection Coffee? How am I back here again, dude? I'm going to have to label where all the trucks take you because this is going to turn into a mess. Why am I here again? All right, apparently if they're not looking at you. <gasps> mm. All right, let's go. Let's get into another truck. This is going nowhere. <laughs> James versus Games, what's going on? Welcome in. Never beat this game. Always stay confused about what I'm supposed to be doing, going. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world, sir. That's what I'm doing right now. Confused, dazed, and unsure of everything in my life right now. Had the map that came with this game mixer? EH, no, I do not. I've got the manual, <laughs> and that's it. I don't have the map. So it came with a map, apparently, but yeah, I don't have it. <laughs> I don't have it. I've got graph paper here. I can, I can draw my own map. We just got to find a good starting place here. I, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm being called, but no one's there. I pick up, they hang up. I mean, I already spent my childhood trying to figure this, out, figure this out, never made any progress. I'm not making any progress at all, man. None. What? There's a guy in the truck! Alright, what if I kill him? Do I get something, though? And that would be negative. Alright. I know this game is rather jank, but I like it. We're off to a bad start, man. What's up, ducking? Bizarro Foxy, welcome in. We're getting nowhere. <laughs> Are there birds? There better not be. A, a map did come with the original card. I've never seen it before. I've located the ammunition. All right, that's great. You know, you know what? We found ammunition. That that's real useful. <laughs> we found ammo. Guess what? How many weapons we have to put that in? I'm going to start labeling all this stuff because I think we're going to need to do it. All right, this is... I have no idea where we are. I'm just going to label it anyway. I'm going to draw a thing with trucks on it. Let me try and get organized here. I've got a lot of papers and stuff that we're going to use to work with. All right, I'm going to draw like a diagram of the trucks and like mark where everything is here. I'm going to label this as building two, I guess. Because the first building is where the first set of trucks are, so this is the second set of trucks. So I'm going to draw four squares here, because I kind of need to know this stuff. Alright, so this truck has a guy in it. This one has ammo. You guys are just going to have to bear with me. It's going to be a long process for getting through this, so uh, <laughs> strap yourselves in. We, or pull up a chair, whatever you want to say. We might be here for a while. So what if I go back in this truck? Does it take me back to where I was? All right, well, this goes somewhere. Valo, welcome in. How you doing today, man? It's not going too well. <laughs> it's not going good. All right, this is apparently building one. All right, I don't care what the guys are talking about. I just want to label what we're trying to do here. I remember there being like building one, building two, and stuff like that, but I don't remember like exactly what is going on with each of the different buildings. We're going to need key cards and all that crap, but before that... Alright, so this is building one. Alright, there's another guard coming back. I don't think it matters. Alright, there was rations in the truck to the northwest, which was this one right here. This is rations. This takes you to building two, the one on the right. Building two, all right, and this one I think takes you back to the beginning of the game. Let's make sure. Let's just make sure. Valo, you're good, good. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> this is just going to be a hell of a. Yep, yeah, that goes back to the beginning. Okay. 
All right, that's good. We're 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 labeling and writing things down. Does a rage free run adopt? Hell no. There's going to be a hell of a lot of rage. There's going to be much rage. We're making progress, yes, we are learning. I know it doesn't look like it, but we're actually figuring some stuff out. <laughs> That's good. All right. That's good. We're, we're getting somewhere. The way you're approaching this is good. This is what I didn't do when I was a kid, Throg, is I didn't take any notes. I just did everything on a whim. I just winged it. I think that's terrible. That's probably why I didn't have a good time with this game. I kept getting stuck. I got lost. I'm not doing that this time. I'm going to make sure things work out properly. This is building two. We have ammo. All right, does this take me back to building one? Let me see if that's the way that works. Can you go in that door? I haven't tried yet. I think that's like where the missions and stuff take place, but I haven't tried yet. I'm just making sure that I know where all this stuff goes. All right, this is gonna go back to building one, I think. I'm just labeling that as building one. All right, that goes there. So this is gonna take me to building two. Hey, hold reset, what's going on, man? Welcome in, back to the treadmill for me? No problem, man, I know the feeling. MSX original is a superior game, yep, but we're playing the jank version. I know the MSX version is supposed to be a lot better, but we can't play that version. We gotta play the bad version. All right, the truck has started to move. All right, this takes me to, I think this goes to where the tank was. Yes, okay. This goes to where the tank area was. And now this truck right here in the middle with the tank section. All right, so we're gonna label this as like the tank area. And now the truck has rations in it. So that's very useful, rations heal. You have never played this, how do you beat the game? Uh, you're supposed to infiltrate this, these buildings and stuff and blow up some super mech or something that's trying to take over the world. And we're like a special forces soldier that gets dropped in here with no weapons at all. So that, that's what we got to do. And we, we can call Big Boss on our transceiver and get instructions and stuff like that. So you're basically like a, a special ops dude on an infiltration mission. And uh, they, they see the box art right here? They stole that straight from Terminator. That's Kyle Reese from Terminator. That is not Solid Snake, who is apparently the name of the guy in this game. All right, so I don't know. This is south of the tank. I'm drawing like a rough map here. This is south of the tank area, and we have three uh, have three trucks. We're going to have to check each one of these trucks and label them. All right, so this one I think had plastic explosives. Yes, okay. I'm going to write a EXP for explosives. All right, and I can't hold anymore. This middle truck, I think, took me somewhere. I didn't get to check this truck, so let's see what this is. That is key card number four. Okay, so now we have card one and card four. All right, so let's label that as card four. I don't think you have to get stuff more than once. Yeah, I can face tank the, the tank up there, Goten. I've got, I, may, maybe I can kill it now. I've got plastic explosives. I just realized that I've actually got a weapon. I don't know how good they are, but that's what we've got. All right, so we got that. So th this is gonna be how you make progress. Very, very, very slowly. This is not gonna be a one stream game, I can tell you that much. Box of crackers, what's going on? Solid Snake, really Kyle Reese? Yes, in this game he is. <laughs> they just ripped that straight out of Terminator. It's it, like, they didn't even like trying to hide it. Like, yeah, we're just gonna steal the Kyle Reese frame here and we're gonna stick it on the box, c call it Metal Gear, and say it's Solid Snake. That's what they did. <laughs> it's exactly what they did. All right, so this uh, truck here goes to the beginning. I'm labeling that, well, I'm taking notes. I am not going to let this get away from me like it did when I was a kid. We're going to do everything right. I know this won't be a one streamer, so I didn't bother with a prediction. Yeah, there's no way I'm beating this in one stream. Absolutely not. It's going to be at minimum two. I, maybe two, maybe even more than that. I don't know. All right, I think we've been everywhere there is to go. 
maybe not hold up. There was another direction. I didn't what? I thought you were gone. All right, never mind. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Really cool box art. Regardless, I thought it was awesome looking as a kid. That's what I was interested in at Wolf. I was like, wow, look at this. I bet this is cool. And then it was this. I thought it was going to be like Contra or something. Technically, in this game, the Metal Gear is a learning computer. Well, whatever it is, we're going to find it. We're going to find it. This is building two. Okay, that goes to the tank. Okay, where does down from here go? I don't think I tried going down from this section. Another maze. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Look at this dude! P, what's going on? Welcome in. Dude, I am in so much... Yeah, I'm in trouble, man. How are we going to figure this out? There's probably a clue somewhere in the game that will get us through it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. The box art does fit very... It kind of fits with the game when you look at it like that, even though it's it's not really solid snake, right? Konami liked to use all the big action movie stars likeness for the games they did. They did... Oh, what is this? Scorpions? All right, I don't know where I am or where I'm supposed to be. It looks like we got scorpions here. Probably not a good idea to get close to them. If I just, maybe they can't get me if I go this way. I don't know where I'm going, by the way. Going somewhere. Going somewhere! All right, can we, we can go any direction from here? Yeah. It's not, mm -hmm. if I just make a run for it. All right, they did not attack me. What is this going to be another Lost Woods maze? Oh, no, 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 uh-oh. Oh, crap. Oh, that sucks. What? How did they kill me, dude? I wasn't even on the screen. Oh, they can poison me? Oh, my. Jesus Christ, what is this, an RPG? <laughs> okay, they poisoned me. All right, I got it. Venom, all right. I got it. Refrito, what's up, man? Welcome in. They cast a DOT on me, a damage over time. Yeah, well, now what are we talking? Massively multiplayer RPG terms. What is this, World of Warcraft? All right. I guess we don't need to be down there yet. <laughs> See, I don't know where the hell I'm going. All right, don't attack me. I've died of poison. We're not going to go back to the scorpions. All right, I know how to get around the, the trucks now. I'm going to have to get back through this again. Though. No. All right, I got hit. We have rations if we need them. We got rations available and explosives. Can I use both at the same time? I have no idea. Can we get a death counter? I think I've died, what, four or five times? <laughs> I was hoping not to do a death counter because it's probably going to be really stupidly huge, but I, we could possibly do one. Yeah, no spoilers, please. Please and thank you. We'll get there. We'll figure it out. And I haven't been... I haven't... No, no, what? I have not failed on getting through a game yet, and it's not going to start here, right? Going to get through it. It just might take a while. Fozzie, what's going on, man? Stellar, what's up? Oh, we're, we're in a bad way here. We're not really making much progress. I don't really know where to go. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. Fozzie, welcome. Stellar, what's up? Stellar, congratulations on Battletoads on Genesis. That's how you finish that. I think I can get my health back to initiating. 100% Mario 64, you can beat this. Mario 64 felt like an easy mode compared to what I'm seeing here right now. All right, well, at least I'm ambushing those guys, right? Number of deaths in GNGR deaths, 2,140. We're, we're on track for that, right? We're on track for it. All right, I have uh, key cards. You have to... In oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just realized something. You have to individually equip the key cards in this.
Okay, I remember that now. I remember that. You're welcome, Stellar. Well done, sir. I'm gonna play that one day. <sighs> this is where we have to start mapping, by the way. This is where the mapping begins. This is where it all begins. This is, these are huge mazes from what I remember. The guards shuffle their feet in place rather impressive. They must have taken dance lessons. Well, there's nothing. I'm, they might as well just dance in my face because I can't do anything. I can't shoot them or anything. We're going to start taking, uh, we're going to start drawing maps here. That's the plan. We're going to start drawing maps or we're not going to get through this. I'm hand mapping the thing. What are these Jeeps? Can I just steal one? It'd be great, wouldn't it? Oh, there's... T okay, these are inactive tanks. There's nobody in them. All right. Let's add on to the map. It's going to be square by square here, so I'm just drawing dip squares. This is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to look like. I've got graph paper here, so we're going to map it out. We're going to label it. It's going to be a process, but we're going to get there. Solid Snake sneaking like, like you, Proto, right? <laughs> I, that, I always laugh when I see that emote. I love that. How'd they get all the Jeeps and tanks in here? Good question. Ask Konami. <laughs> a lot of you guys have probably beaten this. So if I get stuck, I'm going to ask for help. I'm not going to be above asking for help if I just get completely stuck. So expect that at some point if it happens. Oh! No! Just got a gas mask. All right, we're finding items. We're getting stuff. Good old paper and pencil. Love it. That's that's what I go with. That's what I go with. No help. You're on your own. <laughs> what? Oh my God! No! <laughs> okay, they, they they lose. They they okay. We can leave the screen. No help. You're on your own. Hey, if I ask for help. Hopefully somebody will provide it. Hopefully, Neff. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. If you want to just watch me suffer, I guess you could do that. All right, we're going to add on to the map here. This was from the lower screen. We're going to map the whole thing out piece by piece. Rations are not Doritos. We're being called. We got a phone call coming in. Uh, big boss here. Your mission is to infiltrate. Be careful not to let enemy detect you. Thank you, Captain Obvious! Alright! <laughs> we got a real Captain Obvious helping us out here. Alright. Alright, next screen over. Add on to the map. I guess I could label this Building 1 or something. I don't even know. Yeah, this is going to be Building 1. Can love bloom on the battlefield? It might if I actually start liking this game. Well, you'll see. Excited for baseball season mix or go Guardians? Go Braves, man. Yep, go Braves. I think they've start they're already on. I'll have to I'll have to catch the highlights later. But yeah, I like baseball. I'm a fan. Uh K Bro Man, what's up, dude? Welcome in. Welcome to Metal Gear. <laughs> Welcome on in. Things are uh, not going terrible. We're slowly starting to make some progress. Another empty room, okay? Another empty room. I might have to start labeling where walls and stuff are. How's it going today, K-Bro, man? Always good to see you. Chop on, hell yeah. Brace broke my heart in 95. Sorry about that, Tilty. Our pitching was pretty good that year, if you remember. Your hitting was good, but... Our pitching got it done. I was proud of the guys, but I know that must have hurt to lose. Look, dude, I don't even have a freaking gun! They're sending in five guys! Alright, we're gonna label this part of the map. Alright, I'm gonna put three guys in the on the map here. Three guys. Not five guys, that's a burger place. Alright, so I'm getting another call. Alright, what's Big Boss gotta say? Did you, did you just tell me this? You just told me that! Thanks! Oh, no, 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 no. 
right? Such so a great pitching in the 90s. We should have won more than one World Series back then. Constant reader. Don't let enemies see you. <laughs> this is going great, Ren. This is going great. All right, what if we sneak around from off the screen, though? We're going to be fine, right? Perfect. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's pit traps. I forgot about that. Oh, I forgot all about those. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, no, that's horrifying. Okay, well, don't go that way. Oh, goodness, I forgot that. Oh, my God, I'm all the way back here again. Guilty, I'm surprised you guys didn't. I'm really surprised. I'm pulling for you, though. It's been a long time. I hope you get a series win. I hope you do. I thought you were going to beat the Cubs like 10 years ago or whenever that was. <sighs> right, let's get back to where we were. At least I know how the trucks and stuff work now. All right, there's going to be pit traps. I'm just going to pop up out of nowhere. Ren, get your popcorn ready. That's probably not the first time. That's probably not the last time that's going to happen. More than likely. <laughs> that's so stupid, dude. How are you supposed to know that? How are you supposed to know? I labeled it on the map. So that surely won't happen again. I wonder if you can dodge those somehow. I'm not sure. Or once you trigger it, you're just dead. I have no idea. And I got shot. Of course I got shot. I don't have a gun. This stupid idiot didn't bring anything useful. Just get in the truck, for God's sake, man. Oh. <laughs> it's so painful. Ah, uh, Abby. Oh, dear. Oh, dear is right. <laughs> Abby, what's going on? Welcome in. Minda, welcome in. Chaucer, what's going on? We're in a real bad way here for you guys just joining us. <laughs> All right, we have rations available. They shot me, so if you stuff yourself full of rations, you'll get your health back. We know that. Here's our equipment. For you guys just joining us, this is what equipment we have. Not too much to work with. Mets fans and Guardians fans should start a therapy group. That's Mets had went in 86, though. It's been a shorter time for them than you guys, for sure. They got a good team this year, too. We're going to be dealing with them early and often. It's all right. It'll be a fun year. You know, this version is actually called Doki Doki Panic in Japan. I wish it was, because that means we'd be playing Mario 2. And not Metal Gear, of all games, right? My God, why am I even playing this? Why did I even put this up for redemption? I should have known better. Struggling with Final Fantasy VI? What, what part are you at, Mendel? Where are you? Section Z, how you doing today? I realize it's been said, but the truck has started to move. Yep. I know what all the trucks do. I labeled the trucks. Check me out. Look at this. Look at this awesome map of the trucks I drew. There's the trucks and what each one of them does. I know. Not drawn to scale. But uh, th that's what the trucks do. It's going to get me what I need, basically. I've got a whole pad here to take notes on. I've got graph paper. I've got colored pencils. You name it, I've got it right here. Plenty of things to get the mission done. Not even to scale, I know, Ren. Disappointing, I know. <laughs> I know. I know. And here's what we've mapped out so far of the first building or whatever. And I put an X where the... Uh, where the pit trap was, so hopefully that won't happen again. No, I'm not using crayons. I've got colored pencils here. I found a yellow and a pink colored pencil, or I'm going to use that to mark stuff on the map. So we'll get there. The scrawlings of a madman. I'm already going mad. This game's going to drive me completely insane. Maps of the trucks, what could possibly go wrong? Uh, that saying right there, what could possibly go wrong, will be with me forever because of Bubsy. Oh my god. Just... They're going to call in more guys. Are you serious? What? Really? How do I defend myself? <laughs> All 
right, good, I'm back in the jungle again. That's exactly where I wanted to be. <laughs> be stealthy, I don't do stealthy. <laughs> weapons or no weapons, I don't do stealthy, you know that. I just barrel in there and start punching stuff. <laughs> can I kill the dog? I can. Can't remember how to reach the last boss? What, in Final Fantasy VI? Oh, you're in Kefka's Tower? Yeah, it's a little bit confusing. It's not too bad, though. Crud is what's going on. Yeah, the MSX version, put I understand, is really good. This is a version I owned as a kid, Abby, so I had to put it up for redemption because I needed vengeance on this game. I never could beat it. So, yeah, now we have to beat it live on stream. That's going to be great. So far, I'm off to as, about as good a start as I was when I was 12 years old. Mixer comes from the school of Contra. If it moves, shoot it. That's right. I got no time for stealth. I got no time for sneaking around. I got I, I, And then I just started shooting stuff. That's, what, that's how I roll. I'm not patient, so a stealthy type game is probably not good for me. We're going to get back to where we were. How's it going today, Crudas? Welcome in. All right, well, I'm going to get it slowly mapped out. We're going to make progress one way or another. It's going to happen. Okay, your turn. All right, I'm going to hide behind the truck while you leave. All right, now we're going to sneak into the building. And now we're going to hope that they don't call in 50 more guards to kill me, just like what happened last time. Core childhood trauma triggered. We're there. We're absolutely there, man. The truck has started to move. Jukebox, welcome in. Yep, we're seeing a lot of that stuff. We are seeing plenty of it. I haven't even tried to use plastic explosives yet. I don't know how good that's going to be. All right, I can't go this way. Caffeine, what's going on? If only this was a Metroidvania, you could get stronger. It's basically a mazy Metroidvania, is it not? At least the music's good. Good freaking lord, are you kidding me, dude? Just... RUN! All right, well, this is farther than I made. I'm gonna use rations. Got him, okay. We're getting somewhere. Caffeine, how you doing today, man? Welcome in. Spade, what's up, buddy? Welcome. <laughs> we're, we're, uh, we're in the building. We're, we're deeper than I've been so far. We have, I got my health back. All right, what's this? I don't think we need to be doing this. I don't think we need to go to another floor. I think we need to explore this floor. Oh my God, that guy respawned and didn't even see me. <laughs> you didn't even see me. Oh, yeah, that time you did. All right. Well. Oh my God, look what we found, dude. Give me that! Oh, and it's got no ammo. <laughs> Alright, we have a gun with no ammo. Alright. <laughs> Great. You know, we could pistol whip people with it, right? Yeah, right, Ren bludgeoned my foes with it. You got some pistol whipping going on. This handgun looks like an assault rifle. It looks like I'm, well, at least like I'm carrying something now, right? Yeah, it looks like I've got a rifle equipped. But at least I've got a gun. There was ammo somewhere. I don't remember where that was. <gasps> get in the truck, get in the truck, okay. Whoa! <laughs> no! Oh, what's this? We found mines. We're finding stuff. All right, we're, see, things are happening. We have mines, we have explosives, and we have a gun with no bullets. <laughs> that truck had four guys in it. Oh man, throw the gun at them. Might as well, it's not gonna do anything else. No. Okay. All right, is that a door? Hold up. Hold up. I didn't label the map. I'm, I'm falling behind here. All right. 
this next room up here had an elevator. So I'm gonna label that. Alright, in this next room, which is the room we're in here, has mines. That's what we're looking at so far. That's what we found. And so there's four guys just in the back of a random dump truck or whatever. I don't know. Alright, so what do we need to be doing? I have no idea. We need ammunition. There's a way to get it. I saw some earlier. I don't remember where it was. Alright, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to explore until we actually figure out like where I am supposed to be. If I die here, we'll try and go get ammo or something. Alright, I'm going to take the elevator because I don't know where I'm going here. I have no idea. Alright, so you can't fall out of the elevator. That's good. Q-Dog, what's going on? Welcome in. Mark the truck with four guys. Alright, I'll put four guys on there. All right, so I won't ever go back into that again. What's going on, Q-Dog? Welcome in. Love Metal Gear. More of a solid defend, though. Appreciate the roots and the story in this game. I don't appreciate this game, but, I mean, we're here. <laughs> we're here! Oh, boy, cameras. All right, if I had a gun, I could probably shoot them. All right, this is a different floor, so i got to start a new map now. I need an entirely new sheet of paper. So this is a different floor. I'm going to label this one as Building 1, Floor 1. All right, so this is going to be floor two or something, apparently. I'm not sure. I don't know what part of the level I'm on either, so I don't even know where to start drawing the map. I have no idea. We'll just pick a spot and go with it. Looks like I'm in the upper left corner. I don't know if it, like, matches floor to floor or whatever. But, okay, so we're going to label this as elevator. And there's cameras in the room. We're going to label that. So there are five guys in that truck instead. Five guys, those are good burgers, is it not? They are good. The elevator has started to move, right? This is really confusing. This is why I didn't get very far. Of course, the, I was wondering if it was motion activated. It's not. It's not. Okay, where am I now? There's bad guys here and I have no ammo. All right, at least they're over there. Can I get in here? I can get in here. Oh, I got 20 rank. Does that respawn? Does this respawn? We can farm and I got 40 rounds now. We can farm ammo here. I should probably write that down. I should probably make note of that there's ammo here. All right, where is this in relation to where we were? All right, I've got 50 rounds. Dude, this is really good. No! That is so stupid. You spawn right on top of where enemies are. Okay, I'm labeling that there's ammo here because we're probably going to need to come back and get it. Oh my god! Now our mixer's made 50 times the progress he expected to make. Well, we do have some items, right? <laughs> we do have some items. We also have mines, a handgun, and explosives. So we're making a little progress here. All right, let's see what was over here. There was another door over there. Hold up. I gotta check that. Look at that! That is freaking awesome! Alright, there's a door here. Alright, I'm gonna label this with... I'm gonna label this with our pink colored pencil here because I don't know if I can get into this door or not. Let's see. Card one. Card four. No. I cannot get in. Nope. Not gonna happen. Ah. Uh, that's not good. All right, you know what? I'm going to have to keep this spot in mind because I'm going to have to come back to this later. So I'm going to draw a question mark next to this because we have not been through here yet. And this is also a dead end, so I'm going to mark this as being like a, a dead end here. You can't go any further than that. 
gonna be absolute pain. Absolute pain to get through. All right, the cameras didn't see me that time. Dude, I can get it done with this. Nubstar, what's up, man? Welcome in. Stealth game is now clear all enemies game. I don't do stealth, do I? I don't like doing stealth. I like shooting stuff. Card one doesn't work. I hate having to switch the cards. It's so, card two doesn't work. All right, well, this is bad because this is another door that I can't get in that I don't have the correct key card for. All right, so this is... There's like a thing in the middle of the room here and there's a door I can't get in so I'm gonna label that with a question mark with so this is what we're looking at with this floor so far we're getting there we're making I feel like we're making some progress so I feel like we're getting somewhere can I go in here Alright, that's card four. Card four doesn't... How did we end up with card four? I don't get it. Switching the cards is the real fun of the game. Why do you need to switch cards anyway? If you have the correct card, shouldn't the door just magically open? Why do you need to physically switch to it? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Alright, well there's nothing else I can do here. Oh wait, there was another, where to get, another place to go down there where the ammo was. All right, so let's try and go back down there. This is a pain in the ass. Effley, what's going on? Best map maker on Twitch. What's up, Mixer? We're, we're making maps. We're doing that. Ammo respawns here. How's it going today, man? Welcome in. What is this? Oh. That was a close call. All right, yeah, you got to rescue hostages. That's a thing. That is a thing. All right, I'm just make I'm just double checking right here. Just double checking where we are. All right, we rescued a hostage here, or POW, whatever you want to call it. Memory mapping issues on the ROM when programming the game? I don't know. I have not a clue. Wait, what happened? I got a phone call on the transceiver and I was dead. Apparently there's, I don't know. Let me get back down there and, okay, at least I have my gun now, right? I've got a gun, see, it's gonna be easier to get back to where we were. All right, so that's where we're going to go. That's where we're gonna, we're gonna go straight back to where we were. Big Boss is a freaking asshole for not warning me about this stuff. He was like, oh, don't, don't get, don't let enemies detect you. Oh, never mind. There's probably poison gas and all kinds of other crap. Jesus Christ. All right, let's get down there. All right, I ha if, if, if there was poison in there, I do have a gas mask at least. Dude, look how freaking tedious this game is. Just shoot all the guys. I don't care. Just shoot them. Why do I need to sneak past guys when I can shoot them? I mean, right? Alright, I was getting a phone call. You can tell Mixer's having the time of his life. This is exactly how things went when I was a kid. Terrible. Absolutely awful. Alright, I've got... Use rations. All right, we can pick more rations up here, so that's good. We rescued a hostage. I marked that down. All right, we're going to pick up uh, uh, rations up. You can carry three rations at a time. That's good. Didn't mean to fire a shot there. We have to be conservative with ammo, because that's going to have to get all the way back up there. That's going to be a pain. All right, so I think it was card one that's got us in the door here. Imagine spoiling backseating when stream said rules says spoilers and no backseating. Trogdor, it happens all the time. <laughs> it happens all the time. I could put, I could plaster no backseating on my face right here and somebody's going to do it. It, it. it just happens every stream. It's normal. It's 
quite normal. I could hold up a sign that says no back seating and put a, a poster board behind me that says it. And somebody's gonna do it. it. It's what I come to expect. Dude, I got a gun now. I'm not afraid of these guys. See? <laughs> I got a gun! I got a gun! And they're just gonna have to put up with me. Alright, just get in the elevator. Alright, we're going back to whatever this is. This is like more like it's going to floor three than it is to floor two. But I don't know. I'm just gonna leave it as floor two, because I don't know. Who gave Mixer a gun? I got a gun, man. I got a gun and we're... Oh, great. <laughs> ah, bring a... Yeah, we're gonna bring... We're gonna need a high supply of body bags now that I got a gun. All right, got my ammo back too. All right, see? Progress. All right, now, this is the room I died in before. Big Boss here, I forgot to tell you something. You will need your gas mask in gas covered areas. Huh, why couldn't you have told me that in the room before? Schneider knows the location of the gas mask over. I already found it, dumbass. I already found it! Oh, wait, I have to put it on, don't I? Okay, now I'm not going to die in here. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you something. I'm already dead. <laughs> Goobs, what's going on? Nate, what's up, buddy? This is insane. This is insane. <laughs> and now how am I going to get... Oh, you, oh, this is going to be good. Look, to get out of the room, I'm going to have to switch to another key card, but that means taking the gas mask off. Don Coco, what's going on? Welcome in. <laughs> Enter dangerous room. Oh, forgot to tell you about this dangerous room. Yeah, I'm dead. When you're in a gaseous area, be sure to apply the gas mask. Thank, thanks, Chaucer. That's a little late, man. All right, I, I can't even go through the door. I'm gonna have to try other key cards. I think I got hurt. I did, I took damage from that, if you can believe it. I actually got hurt there. Now there's a camera. Alright, we can't go in there. Who the hell is Schneider, anyway? <laughs> Who the hell is that? That's nobody... Alright, we... Alright, I have no idea where we are. Okay. I went down from the gas room, so this is, should be over here. Alright, so there's two doors here. Alright, I'm gonna mark these on the map with a different color. What a pain in the freaking ass. All right, can't go in, can't go in this door. All right, let's try every freaking key card till we find the ones that works. All right, key card one doesn't work. Key card four doesn't work. All right, nothing. All right, there's another door. The bottom door worked, and there's a guy to rescue. Okay, good. That was a close call. Foxhounder infiltrated the enemy several days ago. They have captured him, but he is alive. Okay. Well, that's good. All right, so we found a hostage in this room. I think if you rescue enough of these guys, you actually get, like, level up, like, experience. Or <gasps> no! <laughs> Hold up. All my stuff's falling on the floor. Hold everything. All right, there we go. The microphone almost fell on the floor. All right, this is the next room. I'm going to stay up to date on the mapping. I have no idea what I'm even looking at here. All right, are cameras the main enemy in this game? I get, Usually there's like just guards standing around. Okay, what is this, a giant rolling pin? So far, all the major problems you've had with the game are fixed in Metal Gear Solid. That's a 3D game, though, is it not? I might have a problem with that. 
<laughs> I, that might be a bad thing, K-Fight. What is this, a rolling pin? I'm just gonna make a run for it. I don't need the uh, plastic explosives. We already have those. All right, so that just connects to there. All right. Let's make note that there's like a rolling pin in this section. And there's also explosives, so I should mark that down. All right, we're getting there. We're getting there! I have no idea where we're going, but we're going somewhere. <laughs> well, I shot him. More cameras, okay. More cameras. All right, I went through two rooms here. This was a room that had nothing in it. And this room, I, well, actually I didn't even really get to check that room. Let me go back just to make sure. We were watching a streamer a couple of years ago that had the no backseating or spoilers in the description and one person could not give the hint when the streamer asked why he was backseating the response was, I'm not giving hints or backseating, I'm only giving you advice which you obviously need. I hope the guy got banned, Bell. I hope the guy got banned for that. That's a... That, that's ridiculous. <laughs> what, what is the deal? Why do people do that? Just, if it says no backseating, don't do it. Well, not that hard. No! Alright, well, I can't get in the door. There's like a... Alright, I'm gonna put a question mark by this door because I can't get in that that one either. Chris Coble, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Gotta see this map. Your drawing's a jumbled up mess. Actually, it's not. That's what we're that's what it looks like. So this is floor two, floor two or whatever. That's what we're looking at right now. I'm in this room down here. Down here on the bottom right here. This is where I am right now. That's what we're looking at. And this is what I've drawn for floor number one so far. So see, yeah, things are progressing. Things are progressing. People have to prove they're better than you, I guess, assholes is what they are. There's a lot of people that genuinely do want to help when backseating goes on, but there's a lot of people that backseat because they want to look smart in front of other people. There's two kinds of backseaters. Genuine helpers and look at me, I'm smart, I know about video games. Those are the two types. And it's easy to tell them apart, too. <laughs> it really is. I've dealt with both of them quite a bit. Really, I want to make a suggestion now. I've never played this game. <laughs> There's people that do that as well, right? Chris, how you doing today, man? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day playing Echo again, and that's hilarious. I hope you're having fun. I hope you're having fun. I had some fun with Echo here and there. Common sense isn't so common, I know, right, Nate? I know, it, it, it's ridiculous. Some people dr literally don't understand you can't talk about anything else or join in on the fun of going through the game along with the streamer. It's so much fun when you don't know what's coming up next. It's just more fun. It's more fun for everybody. You get to see the streamer panic and screw up and all kinds of stuff. I have located card number two! Yes! Dude, we're gonna have to go back and check every one of those rooms that I passed by that I marked down. Alright, this was card two. Echo's definitely experienced. You gotta laugh at it. It made me laugh and rage. Alright, that's the majority. Sadly, they need validation. It's severely lacking in their real life. I know, right? I would never, I, the only time I backseat in a stream is if the streamer directly asks, hey, I need help with so-and-so, does anybody know so-and-so? If that's the case, I'll help them. But otherwise, I'm just going to sit there. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just let them suffer until they directly ask for help. Where are we going? Uh, that's probably not good to step on. Let me, we're getting a call here. Hold up. It's, well, I'm getting some, a call on my flip phone. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, Big Boss, I forgot to tell you. Destroy the electric control panel to avoid high voltage shocks. Schneider can tell you the location of the remote control missile. Why can't you? And you're practically too late again. What if I had stepped on that? 
<laughs> Dude, this big boss is a big asshole. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, forgot to tell you about the gas. Oh, electrical floor. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you there's guys with guns that might kill you. Dude, screw this guy. And who's Schneider anyway? I haven't seen that. Who the hell is that? Is that some guy just made up because he doesn't know what he's talking about? <laughs> just making random people up. You have uh, people allow back seatings to proper let them experience the game on their own, even for a bit. Otherwise, what's the point of playing a new game? I know, right, Stellar? What is the point indeed? What is the point? If people want back seating, that's great. I'm happy for them. But if they don't want it, don't do it. And there's a lot of people that do. You don't get it. Yeah, it's Big Mac, basically. We don't have a big boss. We've got Big Mac. You knows you have infinite continues. Big boss doesn't care. What a freaking asshole. I'm not surprised, though. <laughs> yeah, we got an infinite lives. But the, the problem with this game is going to be figuring out where the hell I'm supposed to go. The combat's probably not going to be that bad. Oh, key card two worked, and we found rations. Okay. Okay, I'm going to mark this as done. All right, this is rations. All right, we found another spot where we can get rations. That's good. All right, so what I'm going to do here, I didn't mean to fire the gun. All right, we're going to use a ration, and I think they respawn, too. We got to ask you, is this live or replay? Are you banned or not banned? I can ask you that. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing to ask in this channel. A horrible fate awaits those that ask that quest that ask that question. A horrible fate. Ask at your own risk. <laughs> you know what's funny though? It's stupid guy that does that. I you know, he doesn't say anything else. Who I'm talking about. You guys know who I'm talking about here with this with that stupid question. Is this live or a repeat? Well, what I did, I banned that exact saying, and that's the only thing that guy says, so it doesn't matter if he creates new troll accounts or whatever, he can never talk in my channel again, because he always repeats the exact same line, and I banned that exact line from my chat. So, yep, he's gone forever. I completely destroyed him. Sucks to be him, right? Sucks to be those guys as well, because I got a gun now. Good freaking riddance, right, Vermin? I know. <laughs> Vermin, what's going on? How you doing today? Got to make sure the streamer uses their safe word. I always suggest sassafras or kumquat. They're just fun to say. Sassafras or kumquat. Yeah, those are kind of fun to say, aren't they? Oh, my God. Oh, the rolling pin. Uh-oh, forgot about that. That was their unbanned request message as well. That, the, Gray Foxy, that is where it all came undone for him forever. Till the end of time. Yeah, he actually requested an unban by saying that again. If he'd been right in front of me, I would have just punched him right in the face as hard as I could, without a doubt. That was an insult. Oh, shit. <laughs> I got a gun! It sucks to be you guys. Alright, what is this? The hell is that? I've located a missile. Okay, I thought Schneider was supposed to tell me where it was. All right, well, screw that guy. We don't need him. All right, we have missiles available now. All right, well, that's good. Let's mark on the map that we did that. All right, so that's missiles. All right, so missiles are there. Rations are there. All right, there's another room up here I wasn't able to go in. All right, I could go back over that other side now, and I could actually blow up that control panel and get across the electrical paneling, could I not? Yeah, who needs who needs that stupid whatever his name was, Schneider? Who cares? I'm finding my own way. Red, what's going on, man? King Mike, what's up? How you guys doing today? We're making some progress. We're making some progress. I'm actually quite pleased with the way things are going now. I was not earlier. I'm starting to uh, starting to feel better about how this is going. Uh, I gotta switch keys. This key card thing sucks. Wait a minute, that goes back into the. Oh no, I'm not going that way. That goes into the poison gas. Uh uh, I'm not going that way. We're gonna go around the other side. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back this way. I forgot about that. Once you get inside this building, things start coming together. It's slowly starting to feel a little bit playable now, Throg. Slowly. Kaiser, what's going on, man? 
got Pokemon Violet yesterday and seems a respiratory infection as well. Well, at least you got a fun game to play, right? While you while you get better. I'm sorry to hear about that, but hey, how's the game going? Everything's better with a gun. That's right. I gotta whip out my handgun. We, we'll, we'll be in good shape with that. Good shot. All right. <laughs> totally whipped on that one. All right. I, we gotta use rations again because I got hurt. I'm going to keep my health up. This is what I have to do in Rambo as well to keep my health up. Game teaches you happiness with a warm gun. Feels good right now to have it. I'll tell you that much. I got the gas mask. Eight bitter bus, what's going on? How's it going today? Kaiser, it's going good, man. We're making some progress. We have this equipment so far. We have handgun, mines, explosives, and missiles. And equipment, we have all this stuff. So, yeah, we're, we're getting it. We're getting there. We're getting there. Will we beat this in one day? More than likely not, but I'll probably play for like three more hours or so and see what kind of progress we can make. How am I supposed to hit that with a missile? There's boxes in the way. That doesn't even make sense. Hold, hold up. Hold, that doesn't even make sense. Does it just go over the box? No. Oh, crap, it's a remote-controlled missile. Okay, never mind. I got it. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. Actually, I remember this now. I think I missed the panel, though. <laughs> what? What? All right, we're fine. We're fine. I got three more shots to get it right. I don't think I hit it directly on. Dude, getting it done. Oh, I, you know, this is kind of fun. <laughs> I'm kind of digging this a little bit now. Missiles are iconic for the series. They're super fun. I kind of see why now. I for, They are guided. I can't... <gasps> okay, those guys are dead. Those guys are dead. Does the electric thing turn back on? It does, okay. It turns back on. All right, I'm, I'm trying to remember where I am here. Hold on. The rations here. All right, this is the room that has the electric fence. Or electric floor, sorry. All right, uh, this is electric. We're going to mark that down on the map. All right, so this room to the north here. There's guys in there. Hold everything. Hold up. I'm beating this today? Probably not. Probably not. My theory for the reason you can't use the gas mask and card number one at the same time is because he holds the card in his teeth. What kind of idiot is this? Solid snake? This guy's not a very effective soldier, I can tell you that much. You want a real soldier? You guys want to know who a real soldier is? Bill Riser. You know who that is? The guy from Contra. That guy's a real awesome soldier. This solid snake character, I'm not impressed. Alright, good. Looks like we found another guy to rescue. Alright, so let's mark down we found a hostage over here. I don't know if I have to... I don't know if that's important information to mark down or not, but I'm going to do it. That was a close call. Resistance fighter Diane will now support us over frequency 12033. Diane! Alright, we got a new person to contact. Alright, let's write that down. Lance Mannion, obviously, ran. Lance Mannion. <laughs> I think it is. It's Bill and Lance. Bill, yeah, you go with. Oh, was, is it Lance? No, what, is it Lance Bean? I don't remember. I know Mad Dog Bill Riser. I know that guy's a badass. So this, I'm not impressed with the Solid Snake character. I'm not. Uh, okay. Let's try and call Diane. Let's see what she's got to say. Oh, I'm whoops! I accidentally called Big. Oh, I called Big Boss. The amount of ammunition you can carry is limited. Be careful. Over. Over and out, dumbass. All right, let's call Diane on frequency one three three or something. Jax, what's going on, man? Welcome in. God, we have more a tidbit of wisdom from Big Boss. <laughs> 
<laughs> this big boss character is something else. See, not it's called Diane. The solid snake respond. This is Steve. Wait, what? Diane? No, Diane is out shopping. She hasn't come back yet. Excuse what? Excuse me? We're doing a mission here. And you're out shopping? <laughs> Why did she make a grocery run? <laughs> okay, well, we got Steve on line one. Great. All right, well, let's keep exploring, I suppose. I don't know what else to do right now. I guess we're going this way. <laughs> okay. This is something new. We haven't seen this yet. All right, I'm going to mark this on the map. This is like an elevator here. This looks like a new elevator. All right, elevator I'm going to mark down here. This is what we're looking like on the map so far. Women be shopping? Yeah, figures, right? All good. Big sale day. Laid back with a beer. Welcome in. Jay Shu, what's up? It's all good. Maybe we'll call her later and get in contact and see what she's got to say. I'm very curious. Is a two-player guy in Contra have a name? Yeah, that was Lance Bean or Lance Mannion, as Ren said, right? Yeah, I know this is going to be really cryptic. I know this is going to be an extremely cryptic game, but that's okay. I'm, I'm making some progress. If I get stuck, I'll be happy to ask you guys if I get stuck. I'm not going to be above that. I, it'll probably happen at some point. All right, good shot. A shot Bill Riser would have been proud of right there. Wait, what is this? What? Wait a minute here. I was... What? How was I on floor three? All right, now I'm really confused. This is a different elevator, and it's... We could go all the way up to... What is this, the roof? Okay, I'm confused here. I thought I was on floor two. I'm on floor three? What? <laughs> Why is this so confusing? Oh, Sarail, what's going on? Welcome in. I'm very confused right now. I thought we were on floor number two. Apparently, this is floor three. All right, let me mark that down. Either that or the elevator is just completely jank or something. Ask us if you get stuck. Even if you don't get stuck, we'll tell you anyway. Better be careful with that. <laughs> no, where am I going? I don't need to be... What is even up here? I don't think I need to be up here. This is probably a terrible place to be. Let's, let's see what uh, Big Boss has got to say. I forgot... <laughs> Dude, I forgot to tell you! This Big Boss is the biggest piece of shit I think I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Again? That's the third time in a row! <laughs> <laughs> there are window barriers installed on the rooftop. Search for a bomb blast suit. Over. Big Boss is a big dumbass. Oh, wait, I can't even go. The what? Oh, I can't even go up here. Probably a good thing. I'm probably not supposed to be up here yet anyway. All right, we're going back. All right, he said something about a bomb blast suit. Let me write that down. We, that might be something we need. All right, I'm going to add an, an amendment here that Big Boss said something about a bomb blast suit. All right, so that's probably what we need to get past that. All right, bomb blast suit. God, this is so much to remember. So I'm What the hell is a window barrier anyway? What is, what's he talking about? One more thing! Oh, yeah, I remember Uncle from Jackie Chan. I remember watching that a long time ago, like 20 years ago. I liked it. Needs to wrap some string around his finger or something. This guy is the biggest klutz. I've, this guy is my commanding officer. Stop forgetting things. <laughs> Look at that Yoshi emote. That's a good one, Greg. I like that. Forgot to tell you, Mixer, there are window barriers installed on the rooftop. Awesome. All right, good. Nice to know. And these guys respawn. All right, but I do have 22 more rounds to work with. They're going to see me. I'm going to make a run to the left. We haven't been to the left yet. Oh, I missed my second shot. You can't miss shots or it's more guys show up. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. All right, good. No! 
You're not. <laughs> Down to nine shots now. It's really bad. All right, let's use some rashes. I'm almost dead. We're somewhere else now. I don't know where the hell we are. Oh crap! This looped all the way around. Look, my map's connected now. It's all fitting together. All right, I don't know what's in this room, though. We have not been in this room yet. All right, let's try uh, key card number one. Hey, we're, we're getting places. All right, key card number one didn't work. Key card number two, this is so dumb. I have located cardboard. All right, we found the cardboard. How does that work? I'm sure a box sliding around on the floor is not suspicious at all. I uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm sure that they won't see me if this happens. All right, maybe they actually won't see me. Let's test it out. It actually works. <laughs> My god, it works! They didn't see me! Oh, they saw me. Alright, but I can fire from the box. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can shoot from the cardboard box. What in the actual hell? Oh my goodness, what have we gotten into? Holy crap. No, I've not. I probably saw this at some point a long time ago, K Fight, but I don't remember it. But yeah, holy relic, right? The biggest staple in Metal Gear, the box. It isn't, isn't there a box in uh, Smash Brothers that he gets in or something? I don't know. <laughs> I could be wrong. I think maybe this is where it all started, right? All right, key card number two will get us through this door. Okay. And we can go into this door. This is, I don't know what this is, but we're getting it. I have located a silencer. Oh, how do I turn that on? That might be on automatically. Also an item in TF2 that allows the spy to disguise the cardboard box is amazingly efficient. I've seen that before, Zuki Zero. Anytime I see that, I shoot them. Because I don't like that people being that friendly shit in Team Fortress. Yeah, anytime I saw that, I shot them. But th that's funny, that's where it came from. That's where they got it from, I, I suppose. All right, we got a silencer. That's pretty neat. Hopefully now when I fire, they won't even notice me. That's going to be cool. You can fire a gun without alarming people. That's what I was hoping it would do. Where are we now? I don't know. All right, let's mark down on the map. This is like a, another room off the side here. All right, let's try out all our key cards and crap, see if we can get in here. Dude, look at this! A grenade launcher, dude. I am finding good stuff, and it's got nothing though. It's got no rounds. Dude, we found something. Holy freaking crap! This is awesome. All right, I don't guess there's anything else in there, dude. Coffee, have a good night, man. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Sorry we didn't make more progress while you were awake, but I guess you could check the VOD later and see what's going on, right? Have a good one, man. Thank you very much. Sage, welcome in. How you doing today, Sage? We need to fire grenades stealthily from inside the box. If I had a, if I had some grenades, I'd try it, Chris. So Mixer sounds excited. Now, hey, we're, we're making progress. So I kind of am excited. If you can believe it. I know it doesn't sound possible, but it actually is. All right. So where else do we need to go? All right, I'm going to mark that we did this room and that there was grenades in there. Okay. Make my highlight comment above. All right, what did I miss? What did I miss? U.S. Marines recently tested an AI-controlled camera sentry by trying all sorts of unconventional techniques, including hiding in a box and inching towards it. Did they get that from this? I bet they did. Some commanding officer played this as a child, I bet, and was like, let's put the box in there for the hell of it, right? 
<laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, look at my gun sneakily killing people. I love it. They didn't even notice he just died. It's like he got sniped right in the head. Perfect. All right, we're going to farm ammo here as well. And there's a place I have marked on the map too where we can go farm rations as well. In fact... Oh, look at this! Sage, how you doing today, man? I got grenades available. Can't hit the guy with it, though. Oh, crap. That, okay, the silencer doesn't work on the grenade launcher. <laughs> I was wondering if it would. It does not. See a quote from Kojima about this game? I think you'll enjoy it. Yes. Yes, I would like to. You know what? That's, that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. The silencer isn't working for the grenade launcher. But look, when you launch a grenade from re for real, it doesn't make that noise. It doesn't go, Eew! See, that? that's a cartoon noise. That's not realistic. That should not have been in this game. When you a grenade launcher would not go, Eew! That's not realistic, dude. <laughs> It's, it's not! <laughs> I disagree with that. All right, Chris was asking earlier if we could fire grenades from inside the box. Let's see if you can do that. All right. You can. All right, so now the box is launching grenades. Is this what you wanted to see? Is this what you wanted? This is getting ridiculous. Cyborg, what's going on, man? Welcome in. <laughs> Why is that possible? I don't know. I haven't a clue. <laughs> but it works. In fact... No, that's... Okay, that's not going to work. All right, I, th I thought maybe we could surprise them with that. No, that's not going to happen. That's pretty funny, though. I, I will admit, that's pretty darn funny. <laughs> Cyborg, how you doing today, man? Welcome in. Think all grenades whistle? I, they might, but they probably don't make that uh, silly cartoon noise. It doesn't do that. That's what you get out of freaking Looney Tunes or something. Quote Nintendo Power. Absolutely no participation in development of the NES version. The NES version was a... Uh, Simply by a small team in Tokyo. That was during the bubble economy where anything and everything that was released would sell. There are some gameplay that includes infiltrating a base that didn't exist in the original. However, even I, the developer of the original game, was unable to infiltrate the base even once. Well, he couldn't... The, okay, so the guy that made the original version of this game didn't couldn't beat this version? Alright, that does not bode well for me. <laughs> that, that's not good? Chat's moving fast. I'm well mixed. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, man. I'm having some fun. I'm having a good time. It, it's so far, this isn't nearly as painful as I thought it was going to be. But I mean, it, it could always get a lot worse, though, right? It could get much worse. Yeah, Kojima sucks at Metal Gear NES. I guess he does, right? I suppose. I don't know where I should be going here. I have no idea. Actually, I do know. We need to go get a ration. I think we... According to my map, it looks like we've been everywhere. No, wait, there's a door we missed. There's a door we missed that I have marked over here that we didn't do anything with. Hold up. You blame them, though? Another team handled this port? That kind of makes sense when you look at it like that. I'm kind of understanding how the game all fits together now a little bit more. See, I... See, these are things I missed before because I wasn't taking notes. All right, we just rescued another guy. Let me mark down that we did this part. Oh, I forgot! God damn it, they respawn. Jesus Christ. All right, well, those guys are dead. All right, we're gonna go, th there's rations. We're gonna go get that, and then we're gonna, I guess we're gonna go in the elevator or something. I don't know what else to do right now. I don't know. I don't do stealth, Cyborg. I got guns. I just walk through and shoot people on the move. Why would I wanna sneak past people when I can shoot them? <laughs> Why would I want that? Oh my god, this says poison gas. Alright, almost forgot about that. 
that guy in the picture of the game look like Kyle Reese? No, that's actually Kyle Reese. They stole that directly from Terminator 1. Exactly. That's where that came from. That is not Solid Snake. That's Kyle Reese. Celestial, welcome in. How you doing today? Strong Bad, welcome in. How you guys doing? Hope you're doing good. You were playing Snake's Revenge last night? I don't think I ever tried that one. Sounds like someone's saltiest version didn't sell as well as the NES game. I bet this sold well and most people didn't like it. I, I See, I didn't like it either. Main takeaway is the MSX version is a completely different feel of the game. Swipe Jack and others said play the MSX version at some point. I will. We'll do the MSX version on stream at some point now that I'm kind of getting a feel for how this is supposed to work, right? I will do that. The Braves are playing DC. Looks chilly out there. What's the score, Monica? How are they doing? They better be winning or I'm not going to be pleased. All right, we have plenty of weapons now. It didn't refill my... Where were the missiles? I'm trying to remember where I got the missiles. Where were freaking missiles? I think they were here. I've only got two, and we're going to need them to get back around, like, the, the area. Burninate everything? What, Trogdor style? Yeah, I could do that. It's a better version for sure. Now that I'm understanding this, is this isn't that bad of a game. But still, it's going to be frustrating to get through. I mean, we're making progress right now. I don't know if that's going to continue, but right now we're looking pretty good. McSlapnut, what's going on? Having a good Thursday here, man. I hope you are too. Things are progressing along. I'm doing better than I thought I would, honestly. I really am. Snake's Revenge is on the horizon. It probably plays like this, doesn't it, Chaucer? It's probably similar. I I'm guessing it is. All right, did there were rations in here or something, I think? Yeah, oh, see, this is what I was looking for. All right, I've got that marked down on the map. Oh, uh, you don't hate this game? I think it's fun. I'm having some fun with it so far, I mean, for now. But yeah, I'll do the MSX version at some point. How you doing today, McSlapnut? Welcome in. Snake's Revenge is way more linear. I'll have to do it at some point then. Because, see, I've stayed away from Metal Gear games simply because of this one. My childhood with Metal Gear was wrecked because of this game. I, I wanted no part of any Metal Gear after playing this one. I was done. All right, that works good. All right, we're going to work our way back around the map. Metal Gear Solid for uh, Game Boy Color is excellent. Game Boy Color? Really? There's Metal Gear on Game Boy. Did not know any of that. It's not 3D, is it? When this, when things are 3D, I kind of like check out. <laughs> I don't like much 3D stuff. I'm going to have to switch controllers. This D-pad's like dying on me here. All right, so this is uh, floor three. We couldn't do anything on the roof. Doing well destroying some food. Gotcha. Braves are winning four to two. Already giving up two runs to the Nationals. That kind of sucks. At least we're winning though, right? Let's go. What?! Dude, you... God! Why do they do that? I don't even know where I was! <laughs> Let me guess, Big Boss... Oh, I forgot to tell you, there are traps on the floor that will kill you instantly. <laughs> I'm blaming Big Boss, dude. That was Big Boss's fault. That was not my fault. That was all Big Boss. Forgot to tell you about that, of course. Of course, now we're back here again. The mixer has started to rage. Yeah, when you pull that kind of crap. The bottom floor is the basement. I have no idea what I'm looking at with the elevator. It doesn't make any sense. It's like two different elevators and one's completely different from the other. I don't get it. All right, let's get back to where we were. Hopefully not make up for lost time. How do you save or get passwords? I have no idea, Kane. I haven't a clue. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> I would, maybe when you die or something, I don't know. Big Hoss? No, let's not give him any credit, Cyborg. He's an idiot. <laughs> He's trash! Big... Oh, 
if they saw me, of course they did. Grenades aren't going to work here. I can just shoot. Why would I need to sneak past them when I can just shoot them? Big Boss didn't even provide me with any weapons. I need a ride. <laughs> Pretty much rage there always is. There always is. All right, let's get back to where we were. There's no checkpoints. Anytime you die, you go back to the beginning of the game. What is this, Fester's Quest? It's what Fester's Quest does as well. You go back to the beginning of the game every time you die. Apparently, this is going to do the same thing. At least we can get back to the building fairly quickly. But I don't know where to go from there because uh, I didn't know where I... I don't really know where I even died. All right, so this was key one to get in. We're going to have to go all the way back around. Are you kidding me right now? All right, there are doors. I haven't... All right, this is floor one. All right, let me see where we are on floor one. Big boss, more like big loss. How many men were lost? Because, oh, I forgot. Oh, I forgot. Oh, there's uh, the gas in the room. Oh, the floor's electrified. Oh, don't let enemies see you. Y yeah, you think? Big boss. Big stupid ass boss. Is freaking loser. All right, don't go on the right path here because you die. Kaylee, what's going on? Welcome in. Welcome to a complete disaster right now. Things were going great a minute ago, and now they're going off the rails because I died and don't know. remember how to get back to where I was. I have not a clue. I, I was having fun a minute ago. <laughs> and then I got trolled. And now I don't know where the hell I am. All right, I have a door marked down here that I haven't been in yet. Kaylee, I hope you're having a nice day. Welcome in. Things are gone off the rails a bit. One of the games has your commanding officer explain why you'll be dropped in the middle of nowhere completely unarmed. I'm sure Big Boss forgot to tell me that as well, so that's okay. I'm assuming Key 2 is going to work here. Nope. How about Key 4? Key 4 worked. All right, I don't think I've even... <gasps> are you serious? You put four guys in there? All right, well... <laughs> All right, well, at least we're in the next... We're somewhere else. I've not been in this part of the building yet. This is floor one, by the way. This is a new part of floor one. Could be worse. I could be playing Metal Gear. <laughs> it's been up and down so far, Kaylee. It's been up and down. Oh, this connects to the trucks? Okay, I did not see that coming. Alright, is this go up to where the tank was? The hell was that? Dude, I just blew up? What even was that? What hit me? <laughs> Dude, what was that? All right, well, you can get rations here. I wonder if I can blow the tank up now. I have weapons. I'm, I'm gonna blow the tank up. That's hurting it. There's no way to. This is going terrible. I'm dying. That won't work, cyborg. <laughs> the tank is notorious. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. I might not be able to kill it at this point in the game. I have no idea what I'm even doing here. But I've got weapons now. I figured it couldn't hurt to attack it. I'm hitting it. It's flashing. Surely it's getting hurt. <laughs> this is going really badly. 
It's supposed to be a stealth mission, but there's a tank here. Let's try missiles. Maybe that'll get it. This is not working. All right, let's try something else. <laughs> I don't think the handgun will work. All right, how about mines? All right, how is this going to work? This is probably not too well. Oh, my God, this is going terrible. Dude, nothing is stopping this tank. You'd think a mine would destroy it. Wait for it to back up. All right, it's gonna shoot me if I do it there. It alternate sides. Yeah, put the box on, obviously. Of course, what that's probably the mine that would have destroyed it right there. I don't even know if I'm hurting it. I don't even know if you can destroy it. I'm out of stuff right now. I can't do any more anyway. I ran out of missiles. I got nothing. Grenades weren't hurting it. Explosives didn't do anything. I don't know. I'll come back later. Maybe they're big boss. No, big boss ain't gonna tell me shit. Never mind. I was about to say, maybe we could get some help from big boss, but no, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> I don't think that will help. All right. You know what? Actually, I could use binoculars here. Let's put binoculars on and look, look behind the tank. Maybe, that, maybe that's... All right, so that's what's behind the tank. So there's obviously a way, a way to, obviously a way to get past it, but we don't know how yet. If you guys know, don't tell me. We'll figure it out eventually. I guess I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Botane, what's going on? Welcome in. Yeah, I have no idea what to do. That's okay. We'll get there. That's good. I'm sure Big Boss will call in and go, Hey, I forgot to tell you there's a tank right there and it's going to shoot you. Yeah, where's Big Boss where you need him? Where would we be without him? I, guys, come on now. Where would we be without Big Boss? Probably a lot better off. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? What if the tank's automated, Cyborg? That wouldn't work if the tank's automated. All right, we're not gonna do anything with that. Let's just go down here, get back to where we were. Forgot to tell you the tank is strong, right? Yeah. All right, what I have marked down for the, I, I marked down what's in the truck, so. All right, this is, actually, I don't know if I have anything marked down for this. There's three trucks here. All right, that's where I got card four. And there were explosives in the upper left one. I did, yeah, I've got this written down. Hold up. Man, this D-pad's just gone. Throw sweet tea at it. That'd gum up the works, wouldn't it? Oh, Mixer plays it like he would if you're a kid in the 90s. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I got my maps. I got my labels. And we're going to work for it. Maybe Diane is shopping for a weapon to kill the tank. Oh, yeah, we could try and call Diane again. Let's see if she, she's back from her shopping trip yet. All right, let's put it on 33 frequency. All right, Di Diane, are you there? This is Steve, Diane. Oh, Diane is in the shout. Wow, I have an expert team working with me here. I have a big boss that doesn't have a clue what's going on. Diane shopping her in the shower. And there's some other guy they told me about Schneider and he doesn't even exist. So yeah, we're doing, I got a great team to support Solid Snake here. Steve sucks. He's obvious. Okay, this is where I died, actually. This is, I know where I am now. I know exactly where I am. All right, do I have everything marked down here? All right, we have key cards one, two, and three. I don't even know where we're supposed to be yet. All right, I haven't gone down here. This is where I came out of the elevator. There's a trap right here. Does the trap instant kill you, or can you actually not... Okay, so if you move back quick enough, it won't kill you. Interesting. Zaylin, what's going on, man? Yeah, my teammates are definitely helping out here. Did you play Unmetal after this? 
What is that? A is that a troll game? Maybe Diane's your ex-wife and doesn't want to talk to you? <laughs> Sounds like it, the way this conversation's going. Oh, I'm in the shower. Oh, I'm going shopping. What's she going to say next? Oh, I'm getting my nails done. Oh, I'm getting my hair cut. What's next? What is next? I don't know. Let's mark this area down on the map. Okay, there's an elevator here. There's a door here. I have no idea what's going to be in the door. I'm the guy yeah, I knew that was going to happen. All right. All right, let's try... Card 4 didn't work. Let's try... I hate doing the key card thing. Card 2. Okay. Oh, guy to rescue. Good. That was a close one. Foxhounder agent Gray Fox is locked up in a hidden solitary cell room. Oh, did we just level up? Look, I'm ranked 2 now. Dude, I just leveled up. I don't know what, how that's going to help me, but I got it. All right, just, just run. I'm not going to fight the guys unless I absolutely... Oh. Yes. Okay, they're all dead. All right. Uh. All right, that was this room right here, and we found a hostage. Or POW, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so this room here... Okay, we gotta check our key. we gotta do our key cards again. It's so annoying. More health and more ammo. <sighs> Another guy to rescue. Okay, this is good. That was a close call. The best way to get to the hidden cell room is to let the enemy capture you on purpose. Okay, well I have no idea how to let that happen. I have no idea what you're talking about. But they didn't even see me. What? All right, well, it sucks to be you. Get an extra $20 a month and get to wear a shiny piece of plastic. That's awesome. You remember me now, Snake? Apparently not. Oh, look at this! I want to see that. I want to see that! It's got no ammo. Okay, well. <laughs> well, it's not going to work, but we got it. All right, we got a new gun. No ammo for it yet, but we have it. That's what's important. Need to look for ammo. All right, keep exploring. All right, let's mark down on the map that we move down another section. All right, so now the map looks like this. This is what the map of this floor looks like now. It looks like it's all interconnected. Convince these designers hate the people playing the games. Hey, we're making some progress at least. All right, that guy's dead. All right, I guess we checked the truck. Nothing? Wait, I can't move. Don't move. You're under arrest. What? Shoot the guy! <laughs> okay, well, they were just telling me to, the best way to find something is to get arrested. All right, well, we just got arrested. I was wondering about that. We're getting a call. Oh, big boss here. I forgot to tell you, don't get arrested. <laughs> Diplomatic immunity, that's not going to help here. I'm already under arrest. <laughs> well, that happened fast. Wow. Okay, big bosses here. Infiltration accomplished. Now locate the Gray Fox's hidden cells. Check the way. Over. Check the way. Wh what? All right, maybe Diane can help me now that I'm in jail. Check the way. What the hell is he talking about? All right, let's check the... Let's, let's call Diane. Maybe she's done taking a shower or whatever. All right. It's a solid snake. Respond. Oh, nothing. Okay, now she's just flat ignoring me. Awesome. All right, check the way. All right. The way. What the hell is it talking about? All right, let's call Big Boss again. I don't know what to do here. All right, Big Boss is on frequency 85 for what that's worth. History of Gaming, welcome in. How you doing today? We're, we're calling Big Boss on the phone, and he's ignoring me. Great. 
How you doing, history? Welcome in. Check the way, check the lay, check the bay, check... I don't know what to freaking check. Alright, can I get out the window? No. How about a weapon? Thank you for the follow, history. Welcome on in. Oh, they took all my equipment! Dude, they robbed me! All my stuff is gone! <laughs> I just realized that! They, they took my stuff! Alright, I guess that makes sense since they arrested me, but i have it's still, I've got nothing here. Archfiend Ryu, welcome in. <laughs> Good day, playing the Notorious Metal Gear. Yep, I'm under arrest. I don't know what to do. They didn't take transceiver. I got that. And don't worry, I can always talk to Big Boss. <laughs> You know what they were like? They were like, you know what? We're going to take all his useful stuff. He's got a machine gun. He's got a grenade launcher. He's got a pistol, mines, uh, key cards, and all this crap. And we're going to take all that, but he's got, we'll let him keep his transceiver so he can talk to Big Boss. <laughs> it's so dumb, dude. Now, I don't know what to do. Did you expect them to let you keep a submachine gun? Yeah, good point, Ren. Good point. <laughs> JSR, what's up, man? Welcome in. <laughs> I'm in jail. I totally did not see this coming. How you doing today, JSR? Welcome in. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. Oh, goodness. You must be a newcomer to the movement. Am I ever glad to see you? I'm Agent Gray Fox. All right, well, we found this guy. The enemy is constructing the final weapon, the Metal Gear. It is a walking tank. It's on the box. You can see it has full nuclear capability and can traverse any type of ground. If the enemy can complete this, they can launch a nuclear attack from any spot on the Earth. The Metal Gear must be destroyed by any means available before it is completed. There is only one way to destroy it. The inventor of the Metal Gear, Dr. Petrovich, is the only one who knows. Dr. Petrovich is being held prisoner somewhere in building number one. You must try to find him. I better write that down. That sounds like big information. Alright, Dr. whatever... Petrovich or whatever is in building one. Let's write that. Now, aren't we in building one? I guess we got to keep exploring it. Building number one. JSR, hope you're having an awesome day, man. Rob, welcome in. The solid snaking is going questionable. <laughs> questionable at best, I suppose. We're, we are getting a little bit of progress here. I don't know if I was. Apparently, you're supposed to get arrested. Big Boss, okay, shut up, we know, we heard this, turn him off. Contractors are the real enemy, this, this is what we have so far. Morgan, welcome in, Nintendo, what's going on? For you guys that are just joining us, this is what I've mapped out so far. This is building one, floor one. It's just a simple grid-shaped building. And this is floor three, apparently, and this one's a little more complicated, and that's what I've got for that so far. So I'm doing hand mapping for all the... Every, everywhere we, we explore so far. But we're making some progress. I'm very happy about that. Peter, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How's it going? This message will self-destruct. Oh, the kind of like an inspector gadget, kind of like that. See, uh, he was talking about the Metal Gear. See this thing right here? See this thing? Yeah, that's probably what he was talking about. More than likely, right above me. On the box. All right. I like solid wall. The big boss said to check the way. Maybe he said meant to check the wall. All right, so apparently this is the only thing you can do to get out of here. All right, I don't see anything in here. Maybe we need to check the other guy's room. Ed 209, you have straight out of Robocop, right? Aha! Okay, now we're figuring it out. 
I have no idea where this even is. <laughs> I have not a clue where we are. This is... I don't think I've seen this spot yet. I don't know what to... I'm going to start a new piece of paper because this might be somewhere completely different. This might not be connected to uh, floor one, wherever we were. So I'm going to start a new map here with this. Don't know where we are, though. All right, let's draw. All right, so that room down there goes back to the jail cell. And we have a door here that I'm going to mark with our pink pencil here. And let's see if we can get through this door. Big Dave, what's going on, man? Welcome in. This is Outer Heaven, or apparently where the places where we are. Happy gaming going on here for sure, history. Oh, I don't have any key cards, dude. I can't do anything with that door. All right, so wherever this is, I don't know. Should I just mark that as a question mark? I have no idea what I'm doing. I got no key cards. Did I get my hair cut recently? I did, Mr. Phil, like a week ago. It feels much better. It's, it's about to get hot here. I gotta do it. And you, Ute Mork, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you here. We're doing hand mapping, yes. Little mapper, perfect. Perfect. All right, so, uh-oh. I am the shotgunner. Nobody has ever escaped from here. Dude, I got no weapons! What am I supposed to I have recaptured our weapons and... <laughs> Asking you shall receive. All right. Well, okay. Well, the shotgunner is about to get it. I don't have much in the way of weapons, though. This might be a problem. Dude, I'm low on everything. I've got no... I used all my crap up trying to blow the tank up, and I got nothing now. All right. Well... All right, well, I have rations here. Transmitter, I don't know what that is. I have no idea what that even is. All right. All right, let's go after whatever this guy's name is. Top 10 plot twist. This is a lot of crazy stuff going on here, man. A lot of crazy stuff. <laughs> I have no equipment in the next room. There's all my stuff. Oh, my God! All right, I'm using cover, even if he's not. Is this even hurting? You can't tell if you're hurting stuff in this game. Oh, that... <laughs> it's dead or Oh my god, wow. Hard boss fight. <laughs> Hard boss fight? Wow! Okay, I did not expect that to happen. Okay, I don't... Let's go back to my map and see where we are. All right, there went the shotgunner. All right. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Does he respawn, though? If any no, he does not respawn. Okay. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone! That scared me there for a second. That scared me. He's gone. Alright, let's uh, go back to this room and check our uh, key cards and stuff. Alright, key card one doesn't work. How different is the MSX version? Apparently, it's much better. Much better from what I understand, but I can't play that version yet. We have to do the jank version because this is the one I owned as a kid and didn't. I don't think I made it this far as a kid, believe it or not. I don't. I think this is as far as I. No, I don't even recognize any of this. So I have no idea what lies anywhere beyond anything. Oh, what is this, dude? I've located card number three. We are getting somewhere. We are getting places. Another key card found. You guys behave no backseat or anything else of the like. That's right. Right. Thank you, Wolf. Hope oh, uh, Mix is Metal Gear Solid try even though it's 3D-ish. I might at some point. People seem to like it. Once I get through this one, I'll be over the middle block of Metal Gear, I believe. Because, see, this is why I've never played another Metal Gear game because of this one. Oh, what? <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. There was an enemy right there. I didn't even see what it was. I think it was a dog. <sighs> Believe in extreme front seating. Climbs on Mixer's lap. Dude, I'm going to throw you on the floor, Goobs. Don't you even try it. Don't you even dare try it. 
What's this? We're finding all kinds of stuff. I located some body armor. Really? I want that. Okay, do you have to manually put it on? Re God, the dog respawns. That's so dumb. Progress seems to come decently quickly after getting through the early game hell. It's, yeah, I'm starting to kind of get into the swing of things with this game. I don't like the key card system even a little bit. Not even anything at all. Alright, so I'm adding more to our map here. So I don't know where we are, so I just started a new map. I have no idea if this is even the same floor, the same building. A lap party. Oh my god, yeah, we'll get a lap party going. That's exactly how it's live in the place on JSR, right? Located a bomb blast suit. Oh, he was telling us about the bomb blast suit earlier. Big Boss said something about that. I don't remember where that was. That was like on the roof or something. All right, well, we just found something important. Because they, they were mentioning that earlier. We found the bomb blast suit. All right, so we have another door here. And was there anything over here? Okay, you, how did you see me through the wall? It doesn't matter, you can't get to me. All right, there's another door here. Let's check this door. How's it going, Rush? What's going on, man? Welcome in. It's going. It's actually going pretty well. We just found something else. What is this? I've located some enemy uniforms. I wonder if I can blend in with the enemy if I put that on. But you can't put more than one item on at a time. I don't like that. I don't get it. I, I don't understand. Enjoying this at all? Glove, I kind of am, believe it or not. I know that sounds strange, but I'm kind of having fun here. The, the, I, you can only put one of these items on at a time. Like, see the body armor? You would think it's like a flak jacket where you just put it on and you're done. But no, you can't wear the body armor and use a key card at the same time. What in the world is that? Found the enemy's whole wardrobe. Yeah, we got an enemy uniform, bomb blast suit, cardboard box, binoculars, gas mask, and armor. So see, you know, we're, we're getting somewhere. Okay. All right, what card is going to open this door? I have no idea where we are, where we're trying to go. I'm just going through doors and hoping for the best here. Where is... Th I have not a clue where this is. Can I get back in with that? I can. Okay. That's nice. Bizarre design goes for a long time in the series. I've always been intimidated by the Metal Gear series simply because of this one game. Oh, I know where I am. I was saw this earlier. But I can't go back to the building, though. <laughs> Okay, how are we going to do this? Map it? I don't know how to map this part. It's all the same. <laughs> all right. Okay, now we're back here again. It's so weird. All right, let's use the rations because I can get new rations right here from this truck. All right, so we're in a good spot, actually. Simon, what's going on? Welcome in. It's basically, it looks like a Lost Woods thing. It, it's going to be similar to that. This game should have been called Military Simulator. Yeah, but see, a, a real if this was real military, I would have had a good commanding officer. I wouldn't have Big Boss. Big Boss is a freaking asshole because he won't do anything right. Can we hold more equipment now since we've leveled up or something? We can. Holy crap. Okay, so you're limited by what rank you are is how much gear you can carry. Whiskey Sunrise, welcome in. Yeah, apparently we got some quotes earlier from uh, from Kojima about how he doesn't like this game. Whiskey, how you doing today? Simon, hope you're doing well. I'm doing, I'm not doing bad. Big Boss means well. Big Boss means well. well that's not helping the mission, Neff. I need competence here. I don't need incompetent buffoonery, and that's all I'm getting from Big Boss right now. Cover doodles like Kyle Reese, it's him. It's him, 100%. Tactical espionage action. We're kind of getting that, aren't we? We're getting that a little bit. We're making some progress. I'm not complaining. Okay, I've located some... Okay, plastic explosives. That's great. How many can we carry? How many can we carry? We have 10. This is There's a lot of buffoonery going on with Big Boss, but I'm, I'm getting through the mission in spite of him. 
All right, we can carry 10 plastic explosives. Now, I'm assuming we can carry 100 rounds with a gun if I can find more ammo, which I have no idea where am Where was ammo anyway? Do I have that written down anywhere? I, I don't remember. Actually, wait, 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 wait. I think I have that written down on the trucks. All right, in front of another building, I have ammo listed on one of the tanks. Okay, so, or not tanks, trucks. I don't know what I'm talking about here. All right, let's go look for ammo, because I really need that. Oh, man, this is a pain. <laughs> There's a lot to work through with this game. See, this is why I could not get anywhere with this as a kid. I'm taking carefully detailed maps, and I'm really not even sure where to go from this point. And No Life, welcome in. Kim, welcome in. How are you guys doing today? No Life, thank you for the 100 bits, dude. I appreciate it very much. Let me ask you, No Life, if you played this yet. If you haven't, <laughs> you're in for a treat. You're starting, uh, I saw you were working on uh, Battle of Olympus. You were just getting started on that one. That one's been recommended to me as well. How are you enjoying it so far? I know it's supposed to be really difficult what little I've seen. I have. Okay, so you have played this. Interesting. What do you think about it? <laughs> I'm a little bit... I don't know. It's hard to describe this right now. I'm kind of having fun. I'm kind of worried about it. Much for my desktop now so much better. It, it's so much better on not being on mobile, is it? When you're watching anything on Twitch, I, you can't see anything on mobile. Can't see a dang thing. Alright, this might be where I need to be. Alright, ammo is in the bottom truck, I believe. I'm, t I'm taking names and I'm taking notes. Wasn't too bad aside from a couple of mazy type spots. Okay, yeah. It's, I found like the Mario Lost Woods type maze. I'm kind of worried about that. I found, okay, this I have ammo written down here. I have no mines though. I don't remember where mines were. Mines were in like building one or something. I can carry 94 rounds now, dude. Look at this. All right, weapons, 30 grenades, 100 machine gun. We're in good freaking shape. I love it. Love it. Lord Malachite, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good one. Doesn't mean it's a bad for NES Metal Gear, unfortunately, gets unwarranted like deadly powers. I'm kind of having some fun with it. I'm kind of having some fun. I left for food as Mixer face a boss yet. Bizarro Foxy, we killed some dude called the Shotgunner. He went down really quickly. A lot easier than I was expecting. I don't know where I am here. I think me and my two brothers used about three to four years before beating it. A uh, rough estimate because our friend had Snake's Revenge and we barred it off and some memories have been crossed somewhere. Okay, yeah. Snake's Revenge, I think, looks kind of like this one. I've never played it before. I haven't a clue. Let's look at the map here. Building. Okay, this should go back to building one. Or that's what I have listed. I don't know what to call them. Ren really likes Deadly Towers. He loved it, man. He absolutely loved it. I was thrilled to, have, to hear about it, too. I was there for all those Deadly Tower streams. He beat it. That's what matters. That's all that matters. Hey, where am I and what should I be doing? There's a way to get, like, behind the building. I did that earlier, but I don't remember how to get there. This truck system is very annoying. Let's go again. Snake's Revenge is the NES Metal Gear sequel plays completely different. Okay, well, different might be good or it might not be good. This port is not good. Konami gave their programmer source code for the MSX game, so you got half a year to get a port out. Oh, so it's kind of like E.T. then, because that was, they got like six weeks to build E.T. I have no idea what's going on here. This should go to the tank area. Okay, and then if we go to the tank area, we should be able to go to the south and go in the building one from the back side. Then I can get the elevator and we can continue with the exploration. That's kind of what I want to do here. Or we could go to the roof, which I could do that now because I have the bomb blast suit. He was telling me about that crap earlier. All right, 8-Bit Bats, what's going on? Welcome in. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere at least. Progress is slow, but it's happening. All right, was it card four that got us in this door? I can't even... Good guess. Oh, really? You saw me immediately. All right. I shouldn't be wasting ammo on all these idiots. What? 
Dude, how did they know where I'm being? They're not even getting... I don't know what's going on here. They can see me immediately. There's no element of surprise anymore. <laughs> what happened? All right, where are we? I'm getting my mines back. All right, we have 10 mines. <laughs> All right, where do I don't even know where I need to go, dude. I have not a clue. It's going to be rough and like big. <gasps> ah! Oh, this D-pad is terrible. Did I put cologne on my mistake? Apparently I did, and they smell me from half a mile away every time. You can't see me like that, dude. All right, so that's floor one. Let me look at this to see if I can figure out where we are. Oh God, how do they know where I am? Have I played Mission Impossible yet? No, I have seen Contra play that a long time ago, No Life. Mission Impossible on NES, also by Ultra. I have not played that yet, no. Kind of worried about that one, though. <laughs> kind of concerned. I remember him not liking it very much. All right, this is back on the roof. I do have that on my list, though, No Life. Oh, Big Boss, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, I love Mission Impossible on NES. I've never played it. The game's hard mode. Things are not going so well right now. They're seeing me instantly. All right, equipment. Bomb blast suit. Will that work here? That will work here. All right, we got to map out whatever. This is the roof or something. All right. New piece of paper. New paper. We got to start over with this. I don't know where I am. I'm just going to draw a box and go with it. We're doing hand mapping for you guys just joining us. All right, this is where the elevator is. New piece of paper. That's where we're starting from right there. Progress is happening, but it's slow. You got your walkthrough there? No, I'm not using a walkthrough. No walkthrough, no guides, no backseating, no help, no nothing. I'm on my own here. Totally on my own. Don't know where I'm going. Good freaking lord! All right, let's mark this down on the map. We're going south. No doors here. Yeah, we're doing graphing paper. No walkthroughs, though. Really? Really? There's nothing here. I should put body armor on or something. I don't even know what that does. I'm putting it on. All right. Is there nothing in this area? There's it's not a door or anything. Nope. All right. Well, this was like a complete... Yeah, this is a dead end. I'm going to mark this down as a dead end. There's nothing down here. What a waste of time. Well, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. I don't have a clue. Homemade map's the way to go. Respect awesome stuff. Yeah, this... Kim, this is what we have so far. This is floor one. This is floor two. Or, this is floor three, actually. The game's confusing me. This is actually floor three. And now we're on the roof. So, I started a new map for the roof. Let's mark that down. We're on the freaking roof. feel like I'm playing Goonies again. Jax, have you played this version? Because there's a lot of cryptic stuff with this game. I mean, I kind of feel lucky that I've made it as far as I have. Good freaking lord, I guess they're going to be after me from now on. Since I got arrested, that's probably what's go going on here. That It has to be. I hit pause! All right, does that go back to the elevator? I don't even know where I am now. I gotta go back. I gotta make sure I don't get lost. All right, this is the elevator. I'm gonna have to use rations. I'm about to die here. Makes a streaming death standing, stranding after this. I, have, I don't even know what that is. Having a clue, Tilty. I think you told me what that was and I forgot what it was already. Dude, this is a nightmare, and I don't know where I am. All right, let's 
draw part of the map here. It looks like there's a path to go down. Okay, I'm going to mark that, but I can't get over there yet. All right. We're going to go around the edge. It looks like it, like, loops around or something. Jesus Christ! All right, there's a door here. Finally made it somewhere safe, right? All right, let me check this again just to make sure. Yep, all right. All right, this goes down. All right, there's a door here. All right, let's see what this is. Ammo, are you kidding me? All right, we need to put the body armor back on. Jesus Christ! Alright, the enemy is definitely alerted to my presence. Death Stranding is a perfect example of what, why Konami is justified in firing Kojima. Really? I don't know what it is. How much of a setback is it if you die? You go all the way back to the beginning of the game. It's a pretty bad setback. Shock and awe. It, it's not good. What are you going to enjoy, Link? Me getting attacked? This is not going very well. They know I'm here! All right, well, we found ammo, so that's really good. I'm going to mark that down, is that there's ammo available right here. That's really good. So if we get stuck somewhere with low ammo, we know where that is. I've never even heard of Death Stranding. I don't know what it is. I'll have to look it up. I'm sure it's maybe it's a troll game or something. I don't know. All right, well, anyway, we're in another section here. I don't know what I'm looking for. Let's, uh... Check our key cards. I hate the key card thing. It's so dumb. All right, key card one didn't work. Kojima reminds me of George Lucas. Oh, my God. George Lucas. Oh, this worked. And we found another guy to rescue. Okay, that's good. That was a close call. Okay, that's all you have to say. All right. Kojima's newest game that honestly should have just been a movie. All right, well, I'm going to look it up after the stream. And it better be good. Welcome back, Wolf. Wasn't that the game with the guy from The Walking Dead? I haven't seen that. I wouldn't know. I don't watch TV anymore. Wasn't that? Isn't that some type of TV show? Could be wrong. The controller's gotta go, though. I know that. Oh, God. The enemies are relentless. All right, we haven't been this way yet. What the hell is this? Oh my God! What in the world? Uh, it's kind of scary looking. Whatever this is, I don't like the looks of it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Kane, I've played worse. I'm making some progress. Death Stranding is a modern 3D game... Oh, no. On consoles, PCs, especially post-apocalyptic FedEx simulator with babies in jars. All right, you know what? Where you lost me is modern 3D. All right, well, that's something I'll never touch. Hell no. Be bored out of my mind. You guys know that. I, what even is this? Like a suspension bridge? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Alright, well, that wasn't too hard. We have to do it again, okay. Again! Second verse, same as the first. Alright, I'm going to mark down that there's like a bridge type area here on the map. Really know how to draw that. It looks like wafers. That's what they, you know, what they eat in Brigand. You know what uh, Pac-Man eats in Atari 2600? Wafers, video wafers. They don't eat. Pac-Man doesn't eat dots in the Atari 2600 version. He eats video wafers. I'm not making that up. That's actually what he really does. Video wafers. This looks scary. I don't know what's going to happen if I don't make it. This is really nerve-wracking. <laughs> this is kind of scary. Alright, well, I made it. That wasn't too hard, was it? Of course, there's going to be enemies here. Alright. Alright, we're good. Alright, this is the next section. The Catholic version of Pac-Man. You like those video wafers, don't you, Ren? That, it, it, it makes dumb noises, too. That don't that don't that don't, that don't. That's what that Batman does on uh, Atari. Doo -dee -doo -doo. 
God, it's so bad I had that as a kid. I kind of liked it though. Oh, Jesus. Oh, they electrified the floor. Dude, I'm so lucky I didn't move on to that. I would have been dead. Okay, well, I can... I have missiles, so I can deal with... I don't have missiles! I used all my missiles on the freaking tank! <laughs> oh, no! I can't turn it off! I tried to blow the tank up with missiles. Now I can't turn that off. <laughs> I'm so screwed now. Oh no, where the hell were missiles? This is really bad right now. I didn't know I was going to need missiles here. Where were they? They were on floor three. That's a long way from here. Are you freaking kidding me? Thinks are missiles is missiles. He misplaced. I did. I wasted them all. I have a mark down on floor three, but that's like a mile away from here. I'm going to need to come back and do this. All right, let's mark that and mark this down on the map. All right, this is going to be like electric floor. Electric floor. There's a door. All right, door is right there. I'm going to mark it down with a pink colored pencil and then put a question mark by it because I don't know what it is. I can't get over there. We might have the right key card, but I can't turn that off. Oh, I called Diane. Yeah, I'm sure she'll help me. How are they seeing me? That should not be... There is no way these guys should be able to see me. That's going to hit me. I have no idea what's going on here. It's ridiculous. All right. Is there any way I can stop them from doing this? How's the mapping coming along? Pretty good. This is what we've done so far with this floor. That's what this floor looks like so far. We're getting there. Let's call Diane. What? Why not? Let's call Big Boss. Let's see what he's got to say. Nothing. All right, he's ignoring me. He just didn't pick up the phone. All right, Diane, are you here? No. All right, they're ignoring me. All right, never mind. Mr. Fable, the map's helping us out quite a bit. I'd be in a lot of trouble if I wasn't doing my own maps for this. Quite a bit of trouble. Diane's a missile on her nightstand. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised a bit. All right, there's nothing I can do with that right now. We'll have to come back for it. How are they seeing me? So ridiculous. What the... What? Machine gun isn't doing jack. <laughs> Is this even hurting him? <laughs> what is going on? Keep firing, we'll hit him eventually. <laughs> yeah. I'm hiding over here and they're just unloading all this ammunition and I can't do anything either. It's like, it's a stalemate. I'm getting hit somehow too. How do you know what we Okay, I've got 30 grenades. Let's try that. No one's taking damage. Pagshim, what's going on, man? Oh, he's dead, dude!
And somehow we killed them. I don't know how, but we killed them. Alright, switch back to the handgun. Oh, look, the handgun and the machine gun use different ammo. I just realized that. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, they're dead. The other guy's just gonna submit to his fate. He didn't even stop shooting. Oh, whoa, they probably respawn. That's right. Oh, no. Alright, we gotta find out which key card opens the door. This is insane. Alright, another guy to rescue. That's good. That was a close call. Dr. Petrovich has just been moved to building number t What? What? That's not the clue I have written down! I have the clue Dr. Petrovich is in building one! So what Big Boss said, well, <laughs> well, that's probably where it all went wrong. I listened to Big Boss. Alright, so I'm gonna... Dr. Petrovich is in now in building number two. God, Big Boss is like the last guy to know anything going on around here. I have such a good commanding officer. All right, building number two is located about 10 kilometers north of here. Let's write that down, too. All right, building two is... 10 kilometers north. Is that where the tank was? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to find a way to destroy the tank. <laughs> I think that's where the tank was. Sorry, Snake. The doctor is in another building. I guess big... Okay, those guys right there don't re despawn, don't respawn at least. Submachine guns usually use pistol ammo, so it's weird they have different ammo. I was thinking they were going to use the same ammo, goods, but apparently not. So we can use our machine gun and our pistol all at the, at the same time, basically. And we won't run out of ammo quickly. Alright, let's try new key cards on this. Key card one didn't work. Three, two didn't work. Let's try three. Alright, that worked. Is it too late for Dr. Petrovich? Oh, this is where he was being hit. Okay. I don't trust an empty room. What if he's actually in here and they're just trying to trick me? I did find something hidden in the walls in that place earlier. Thanks for the GG's, guys. We're, 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 we're doing some stuff here, right? It looks like there's nothing in here. I, I, did, I have never been this far in the game before. See, as a kid, I might have rescued a couple of POWs and killed... No, actually, I don't even remember fighting any bosses, so... <laughs> what? Alright, put the body armor back on. What? This transmitter thing! Dude! Oh my god, I figured it. You know what? You know what? They put that on me when I was in jail. That's why I was, they were, oh my god, I get it now. <laughs> I get it, that was on, they put that on me when I was in jail. Okay, well, I'm glad I figured it out now at least, because... Cause see, it made no sense. All right, well at least I got it. <laughs> I I'm good now. Cheese, welcome in. Cheese, wonderful playthrough of Zelda 2 the other day. For you guys that don't know Cheese, she is a freaking master of Zelda 2. I thought I was. <laughs> Hell no. Yeah, I learned a thing or two. All right, well at least I figured that out. Cheese, I hope you're having a wonderful day and feeling a little better today. I know you're dealing with the surgery and stuff, but. Welcome in. I, I, I just... <laughs> I just screwed myself over by having a freaking transmitter on myself. It should have been making a beeping noise. I wouldn't have known. Transmitter implements hard mode. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Oh look, now they don't see me. Oh my god. You know what, maybe I can kill this guy before they turn it on. Now you can't turn that on! Oh my god, we don't need missiles after all. Screw that idea. Doing okay, how are you? I'm doing good, cheese. I'm, ha I'm actually having fun with this game, despite the janky nature of it somewhat and the confusion, but we're, we're making some progress, believe it or not. And we found something. What is that? A, what is that, a metal detector? A mine detector. I was close. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was close, dude. Look at that. It looks just like a metal detector. All right. Well, it finds mines. All right. I think I blew up on a mine earlier, so that was a bad thing. <gasps> Don't you dare turn that switch on right there. Got a challenge for you, Mixer Leaf Transmitter on Person Challenge? I could probably do it. I mean, I was going through the game with it on. <laughs> I was doing that. I didn't know. I'm a genius. I should have figured that out an hour ago, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Like I said, I've never been this far in the game before. I don't know what's going to happen with this. Is that you're having fun? Hmm, in a game you didn't think you would? I am. Well, it's a 2D game, K-Fight, so the chance of having fun is significantly higher than some 3D nonsense, obviously, right? Uh, this is kind of frightening, whatever this is. All right, well, I made it through. I, now where do I go? I've got, uh, they told me Dr. Whoever's in another building challenge. We, yeah, we could, they don't do anything, though, Fox. I tried to use these earlier. They don't do anything. See? They do nothing. They give you cancer. Okay? So that's what you get. This guy's a special forces soldier. He shouldn't be bringing that along anyway. Well, he didn't bring any weapons. I guess I'm not surprised. It's probably Big Boss. 3D stands for dumb, dumber, and dumbest. I agree. I don't like 3D. Mario 64 was fine. I had fun with that. Alright, so that's fairly easy to move across whatever that is. I don't know what happens if you, like, don't do it correctly. I don't have it. Have a clue. Alright, look, we're gonna go back and get ammo. Because it was ammo I've got marked down on the map here, and it was, like, over around the corner. Oh, it's a spoiler? Okay, yeah, you can't tell me what it is, then. You can't tell me! Never understood the bridge. The bridge moves, but Snake doesn't as they floating over it. JSR, now I'm, I'm going to be thinking about that that quandary of physics right now. We have a conundrum. Why was Snake not moving, but the bridge was? Yeah, I'm really concerned about that now when I shouldn't be, but yeah. <laughs> the physics of Metal Gear on NES. Yeah, let's not do any... Uh... They were really going for realistic physics there. That's really awkward now looking back on it. Alright, we reloaded our handgun, machine gun, and grenades. Alright, so now where are we trying to go? I have not, not a clue. I don't know what to do next. There wasn't a whole lot going on here on the roof of the building. God, this D-pad is just completely worn out. Kane, this game's going all right, man. I, ca I can't complain too much. We're slowly but surely working our way through. Slowly but surely. All right, we're back in the elevator. All right, this was the third floor. I'm gonna, let's recheck and make sure I know where I am. All right, let me look at the map here of floor three, I think. All right, that has elevator. All right, let me, did I get everything here? Not sure if I got everything here or not. I think I did. Could be, I get everything on this floor. There's one door I didn't mark, so I'm kind of worried. I don't know if I got this. We gotta go check one door here on this floor. I didn't have it marked on the map. I, I can't believe they put that in the game, though. That's shocking, but yeah, it is what it is, right? Adult games like this often get passed on to various things. I don't think many adults were playing this, though. Most adults at the time, when you guys, when we were all growing up, most adults looked at video games as like kitty stuff. I mean, obviously they're not, but that's how adults were looking at video games for a long time. It's like, oh, that's just silly stuff for kids. They didn't actually think it was, like, something fun to do. My parents didn't even get involved in video games. For, okay, there's nothing in here. I didn't mark it down. That's my fault. That is on me. That is on me. Let me go to the map and X that off. Because, see, I checked that room earlier, and there was, must have been a guy in there. So we're going to mark that off. All right, so the only floor we haven't been to now of this part is floor two. This is weird. We've been to one, three, four, and now to two. So this is confusing. That played NES more than I did. What games did he like now? Now we're the adults, and yeah, now we're still playing games like this. We haven't, like, some of us haven't grown up at all. I know I haven't. I'm still a child. I'm always going to be a child. I like being a child. 
And there's people my age, too, that are friends of mine I grew up with. They have kids. They talk about how old they feel and stuff. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I feel young. I'm still a kid. What's your problem? Yeah, you had kids. That's the problem. <laughs> I think you didn't have a Nintendo dad. Uh, my dad got into video games when uh, PGA Tour Golf on Genesis came out and Street Fighter 2 on Super Nintendo and Mario Kart on Super Nintendo. Then my dad started appreciating appreciating video games. But not until that point. Like, Nintendo, he didn't care a flipping thing about Nintendo. He thought it was dumb. Alright, let's start a new sheet of paper because this is floor number two, apparently, and I don't think we've been here yet, so let's start a new map, I guess. Because I don't really know what I'm looking at here, but... We're gonna do it. Me and my dad love Street Fighter 2. You can't go wrong with freaking Street Fighter 2. It's a masterpiece of a game. I love it. I still play it. I play Fight Cave with people pretty much every day. Just for the fun of it. Not random people. People I know. We winning! We are winning! We are winning, Flappy. We're making some solid, slow progress, but I think we're doing pretty good. The camera didn't even see me that time. That's weird. Alright, we've got a bunch of guards up ahead. And no, I'm not gonna sneak past them. Why would I wanna sneak past them when I can shoot them? Why would I wanna do that? See? I, we, we don't sneak around here. Parents dabbled have been stuff like Astro Smash and Microsurgeon for Intellivision sometimes before I was born. I've never even heard of that, Galley. Galley, welcome in, by the way. I hope you're having a nice day. I hope you're proud of my progress. Have you played this? Yeah, I played the hell out of Magic of Sherrod's. Oh, that game. That looks like a good RPG, Granger. That looks like a good RPG. I might want to try that one at some point. It's an action RPG, which I do like. So some of you guys' parents did actually play stuff. All right, this is... don't know where I am. I don't know if I should be in there or not. I don't know where I am. Hold up. Hold everything. I do not know where I am. Mmm, this was one screen over. All right, so let's try going the southern path first. Dad was so freaking proud when I got it, when he got the NES... My favorite memory was in the middle of the night, woke me up and my brother showed us he beat Super Mario 1. That sounds like a foreign land or something. <laughs> that doesn't sound anywhere close to how I experienced Nintendo with my dad. He was like, this is dumb looking. How is that fun? My parents played older Atari computer games, been really into text adventures and Sierra games. Oh, like King's Quest? And a few missed games and pretty much gave up on games afterwards and like how complex games have become. I get it. See, that's why I don't play uh, new games and stuff. They're too complex for me. I don't want new games. You pro Some games are so complicated, it feels like you have to read a freaking encyclopedia to learn how to play them. I just like to pop in a game and start playing. But there's a lot of new modern games where you can't really even do that today. So I'll just stick with this and I think we'll all be better off. Seems like this game isn't too bad. How's the map looking? Uh, we got a lot of mapping going on. Quite a bit. Multiple floors so far. This is the most detailed map I've done so far, Galley, right here. This is floor number three, I think. But yeah, I've got all that marked down. I think we found everything there was to find there. I, I went back and looked at everything. There's nothing else to do there. This is the third room of floor two. I think this is floor... I'm going to write floor two down for this one. No, it does not, Sage. Absolutely not. Not anywhere close to it. I don't know if that's going to kill me or not. I'm kind of worried about running into that. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to make a run for it. Go! 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 Yes! All right! What's your cutoff for gaming consoles? This is You're going to probably disagree with me, Quirky, but what I think is retro stops at Nintendo 64 and PlayStation 1. Everything after that to me is modern. <laughs> Everything! It doesn't matter. It's modern. PlayStation 2, GameCube, all that stuff, That to me, that's modern. But Saturn, PlayStation 1, and Nintendo 64 is where I cut off on retro. Uh, Aniki, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Hope you're having a good day. I have no idea where I am here. This is new territory here. We go down? Nothing in here. Not a thing available. Nothing but guards, no doors. Okay. So I'm going to even consider PS1 games retro. I kind of do in my own way. Even N64 is kind of pushing it for me. 
So some of the earliest product placement in NES game because that's true. I, I guess that's what it is. I don't know. Product placement. What, what other games do product placement? I'm sure there's a couple of others here and there. Pepsi Man, obviously, but I'm sure there's other stuff. All right, bunch of guys sleeping with a table with mines on. Oh, they woke up. All right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Cool spot. There you go. We're gonna draw that map out, dude. We're making progress with that. The the map is looking pretty good. Let's draw on to the next section here. All right. I've got a silencer equipped, so they, there's not much they can do about that. All right. The hell happened? What? Good lord. Freaking Jameson Proto. What a... That, that guy's a... Yeah, that's probably Big Boss. That, that's probably who Big Boss actually is. Gwen, what's going on? I am winning. I'm doing good things here, sir. I am getting the job done. Look at all this... Look at all this crap. We've got handgun, machine gun, grenade launcher, mines, explosives, and a silencer installed in my weapons. How you doing today, Gwen? Welcome in. We are making our way through it. Slowly but surely, we are getting it done. I'm actually having kind of a fun time with this. I didn't think I would, but I kind of am. All right, card one. What if we did beat this in one day? Is it actually possible? Probably not, but that was a close call. All right. Dude, level up! Level freaking up! Snake is Kyle Reese, Big Boss is a Terminator. I wouldn't give Big Boss that much credit. <laughs> I wouldn't. Big Boss is like freaking Pee Wee Herman or something. Someone useless. He just leveled up, dude. Alright, now how many mines and stuff do I have? You can pick up more stuff once you gain levels. You get more hit points, too. So, see, we're making progress. You can definitely beat this today, you think? I don't know. We could do a long stream and try and beat it in one day. I feel like I'm making progress, though. Oh, I see you. I see you. All right, I'm gonna wait for him to turn around. That's not good enough. Shoot him. Just, why do I need to wait for something when I can just shoot him? What's the point? All right, another room. Let's mark this on the map. I, I feel like I'm doing decent with this. I feel like it's going fairly well. All right, let's start the, uh, the sequence with the card. You know what? If you have a card, the door should just automatically open. You shouldn't have to do this. Thank you for the GGs on that level up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Ready? are you doing music? Oh, my God. You're going to put a song in my head, and it's going to be here for the next year. Big Boss is Sarah Connor. Don't give Big Boss that much credit. Oh, we found it, whatever this is. What is this? I've located some infrared goggles. All right, I don't know how that's going to help. We got goggles. All right, we ranked up. Yep, Wolf. Metal Gear dies tonight. I don't know about tonight. I am getting a lot of stuff, though. <laughs> We're getting there, though. I'm just going to punch the guy to death. All right, here's the next... Uh, we got a room here, all right. Back to the good old key cards. Yeah, right, right, cyborg. <laughs> uh, what are they? It's infrared goggles. I'm sure they're gonna serve a purpose at some point. All right, no, we got, we got some goggles. I've got binoculars too. We have all kinds of eyewear. So yeah, what are we looking for? Who knows? Oh, that was right. I am the machine gun kid. Don't try to go any further. Such a bad shot. Hey, you ought to use. Co you know what? You ought to use cover, buddy. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Never mind. I might be the. Oh wow! 
Well, well, there went the machine. Well, rip the machine gun kid. <laughs> He's dead. Wow, that was easy. Brass League, what's going on, man? Welcome in. We just killed the machine gun kid. He sucked. He didn't even use cover. I could have done that, Cyborg. You think he would have taken him? Probably not. That was easy enough, wasn't it? I've located an iron glove. Oh, what does that do? Power up my punches? I bet that's what it does. Iron glove. All right, look. All right, how do you use it, though? I guess it's equipped now. Now I'm playing with power. Oh, we got the power glove. It's so bad. Oh, my God. Well, he shouldn't have been shooting at me, Kim. That was his fault. He's dead. All right, I don't know what the power glove's for. I'm not going to worry about it. We need to keep armor on. That's probably what I need. See, I can't keep armor on because I have to keep switching to a key card, and it's getting annoying as hell switching to different key cards. That's the wrong key card. Ragnar, what's going on, man? Oh my god, this game hasn't been all that bad so far, man. We're making some progress. We got the power. We just found the power glove. It's bad. The rage is amazing. There will be rage when I run into another pit trap. That's killed me, I think, more than anything else so far. Another guy to rescue. Okay. That was a close call. Dr. Petrovich is being held prisoner in a cell on the rooftop. All right, wait. Wait a minute, no he wasn't. We already checked up there. They said he was moved to building two or something. I don't know, am I behind? Ragnar, welcome in, man. How you doing today? Couch Adventurer, thank you for the follow 12 minutes ago. I'm sorry I missed you coming in, but thank you very much for the follow. It's good to have you here, man. I appreciate it. Sorry I missed you. My notification thing did not show up on my end until just now. Reminds me of Chris Stallis. Now I have to switch to the red sword. Now back to the blue sword. Now the red sword. It, yeah, I know. That, that's the worst thing about Chris Stallis is a sword thing. I did a playthrough of that one, uh, Chris. I actually had that as a kid. And uh, we did a no armor, no shield run of Chris Stallis, And it actually went well. Only because I kind of knew what I was doing. For uh, that reason alone... All right, let's see if we can figure out what key card we need here. Oh, that worked. And another guy to rescue. Good. That was a close call. Okay, well, nice. All right, so mark this down on the map. Yeah, we're over here now. This is still on floor two. All right, so far I haven't found a door yet that I haven't been able to open. That's been a positive. All right, so we're going to go up here. All right, so looks like an empty room. Nothing here. Okay, they saw me, but it doesn't matter. This guy's asleep, so I'm just going to beat the crap out of him. And it looks like that's the entirety of Floor 2. I didn't see anything else to do. Because this, this, according to my map, is going to loop back around to the elevator. The elevator should be here. Yeah, but I'm on the wrong side. i got to switch over. Insane what's going on, man. Welcome in. Yeah, we're solid snake. Solid, stupid snake. I've seen better soldiers than this guy. Bill Riser comes to mind immediately from Contra. I mean, this guy's kind of okay, I suppose. All right, so now what? I found a bunch of different key cards. All right, you know what? I've explored everywhere in this building now, I believe. I think I've been everywhere. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so that was the floor we just... Oh, there's a guy here. Never mind. Hold up. Let me kill this guy. So that was the floor we just went through. I didn't mark anything down because there was nothing to mark because every door I could open. So it was just a square, basically. The music is good, Cyborg. The music is outstanding. It fits the theme of the game really well is much further than I ever got. Here's all the weapons we've got so far. We've got handgun, machine gun, grenade launcher, mines, explosives, and uh, and then we have all this crap as well. Gas mask, binoculars, blah, 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 all this stuff. So yeah, we're, we're actually making some progress here. But I'm trying to figure out where we need to go next. I have no idea. And I keep trying to call these people. They don't want to help me. All right, let's call Diane again. Diane has yet to respond a single time. She's freaking useless. 
Oh, she's shopping. She's in the shower. It's so dumb. Yeah, the guy did talk about the rooftop, but we've already cleared the entire rooftop. Dr. Petrovich is not there. Apparently, he got moved to building number two. We went in every floor there. All right, I don't know where to go next. We have mazes outside. I guess we can look for that. It's okay. Oh, crap! I forgot that was there! Oh, I forgot about the trap! Oh, no. Oh, wait, I'm back here, though. Wait, I'm here? I started right back where I died. Holy crap, that was lucky. <laughs> Dude, that was very fortunate. All right, we need to get ammo and stuff back because I'm low on, like, everything. All right, what door was it to get out of here? That was very lucky. I forgot the trap was there. Holy crap. All right, we're outside again. I don't really know what to do now. Gotta come up with a new objective because I think we've been everywhere. All right, let's uh, get plastic explosives. That's in here. The more rank you have, the further in you start. All right, well, that makes a lot of sense because, see, that's the first time I've died since I've actually ranked up, believe it or not. Because, see, when I was rank one, every time I died, it put me back at the very beginning of the game, and I was getting really salty about that. But that's a good thing get it together we didn't lose any progress we're good Chaucer everything's normal situation good I'm very fortunate we have a checkpoint there all right so what do I need to do now I'm trying to think like what there's a tank up there <laughs> we haven't destroyed a tank all right that was card four that goes back to the beginning does this go to the tank might go to where the tank is. At least we've gotten some rank ups. I mean, that's a big deal. All right, rations are right here, so I'm going to farm some rations. How many do I need? I might be able to carry nine now, because I could carry six before we ranked up. Boyfriends have been cracking up your rations. Mixer says so your frustration is the favorite part of your stream. My frustrations. Well, you should go look at some of my other clips then, because there's, there's quite a few. Quite a few built up. I've been streaming almost three years now, so I've gotten quite a collection of nonsense. All right, so what are we looking at here? Rations nine. My hit point bar is like really long now as well. Metal Gear, but with Alf. Oh my God, Alf! What? A, that's like one of the worst games ever made, right? Yeah, it's really that bad. We're back to the tank again. How does it shoot me around the corner like that? All right, we don't... Dude, there's mines here! All right, I'm gonna put the mine detector on. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that. All right, well, at least I know where they are now. I don't know what the goggles do. I didn't see any... The glove hasn't done anything yet either. I don't know what this stuff does. I have no idea. There's a lot of stuff I haven't used yet. ALF is legendary. Yeah, Legendaries is like one of the worst video games ever made. Action 52, I've played that before in 39. Cheetah Men and Micro Mike and all that crap. Yeah, i played Action 52. It's horrifyingly bad. I actually beat an Action 52 game. I beat streamers on the stream, if you can believe that. I don't really don't know where to go in that. Don't know how to deal with that. All right, so uh, I guess we're going to try and destroy the tank. <laughs> I have no idea what even hurts it. We have a bunch of weapons to work with. I got no missiles. Might be a problem. Where were missiles? They were like on floor three or something. I don't know if we need them or not. Oh, I got grenades. I, got, I don't know what to do here. Legendary Silent Sink, the man who single-handedly took down a tank. Well, I guess that's what we have to try and do. Because there's a path behind the tank. So it's obviously meant for you to go back there. All right, I'm going to put the body armor on. Beard Man, what's going on? Are you playing the best NES game on the planet? No, we're not playing Beetlejuice, unfortunately. We're not doing that. Action 52 is amazing. Bargain? You would think so, Neff. You probably think it's like the 52 awesome games, don't you? Thrash and Crash later, Mixer. Good luck finishing Metal Gear. Thank you. Thank you. We're getting there, man. We're making progress. I don't know what even hurts this. It doesn't flash when it gets hurt. All right, I just got shot. I don't even know if that's hurting it. 
What well, weapons have not done anything yet? See, the grenades killed those other guys. The bullets killed the humanoid guys. Plastic explosive haven't done jack yet. Maybe that's what we use. Dude on the roof told you to go north. We are north, absolutely. We're he said 10 kilometers to the north, so I was assuming that's where we need to be. Earth to Hunter, what's going on? How you doing today? We're, we're trying to figure this tank fight out. I don't really know what to do. I'm gonna get shot, I know that much. Plastic explosives are not even denting it. You would think the treads would take some damage or something if this was anywhere close to realistic. Nothing. NOTHING, I TELL YOU! There's nowhere else to go besides the tank. Ten kilometers to the north of Building 1. That's where we're at. How you doing today, Earth to Hunter? Yeah, it doesn't flash when you hit it. I need to get the box and manual for this, truly. Uh, I've got the man... I'm looking at the manual here, Cyborg. It's actually pretty good. I don't have the physical copy of it. I have the game, but I bought it, and the manual didn't come with it because I bought it used, unfortunately. But there's the actual manual for the game, a scan of it. So that's been useful for me to keep tabs on things a little bit, I guess. This tank's just not dying. Read the pin. What is Mixer BS? What are you re What are you talking about? Mi oh, on the grenade. Throw the grenade, not the pin. I don't know what's going on with this. I don't even know if damage is being taken. Shock and awe. I have no idea. It doesn't look like it's taking any damage. I might not even be able to. I might even be in the wrong spot. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I don't have enough missiles. No backseat explorers. No death is mixed with BS or get banned. Oh, that's just my mods making sure people don't uh, spoil anything. It's all good. It's all good. It's a first playthrough. No spoilers, backseat, any of that good stuff. That's just my mods taking care of me because there's a lot of people that come in and spoil and backseat and do all kinds of dumb stuff. So. Yep, gotta watch out for that. Maybe it's just vines? I don't know what to do with this. That made an explosion. I heard that. Alright, we're gonna try mines. <laughs> it's not taking damage, dude! <laughs> Let me guess, that's not gonna hit it. Okay, I do. This is so dumb. Probably not even the right strategy. It's, in, it's invincible! It takes no damage, it's not flashing! I'm about to die, by the way. Alright, I guess I'm gonna use a ration. Alright, the tank's shooting me. Quick, eat something, you'll you'll recover. Alright, put the armor back on. I keep re forgetting to put armor on. Alright, weapons, mines again. This is just not working. I missed something, obviously. I'm about out of mines. Oh! Oh, he's dead! Oh my god! <laughs> we got, we got him. You're right. If it respawns, I'm gonna turn the game off. I'm gonna turn this game off if that respawns. <laughs> it's dead, yes sir. Oh my goodness. <laughs> It didn't look like it was getting hurt. That was the problem. It did not look to be getting hurt. Thank you for the GG's. Holy crap. See, it wasn't flashing. I didn't know. I had no clue. Jorgrel, what's going on, man? Welcome in. It was making a different explosion. A different noise. That's, that's probably what was cluing you in. I was hoping you wouldn't give up. I almost did, Link. I was very close to being like, you know, you know what? We missed something here. Obviously, I'm not doing it right, but thankfully it worked. It cost all my minds, but that's fine. That's fine. Bosses don't flash. It's so ridiculous. Oh my god, there's mines. All right, get the metal detector out. Look at this. I'm glad I got the metal detector. This is brand new territory. All right, let's see what we got here. Big boss here. Oh, I forgot. I told there was a tank on the road. <laughs> it's a roadblock. Try to slip through wearing enemy uniforms. Switch big boss communication frequency to 12013. What? Why are you changing numbers? 
2013. Why are you changing numbers on me? All right, the big boss man. Yeah, that's the guy, the, the wrestler, right? We're not seeing any hit signs on the machine gun kid, too. Yeah, they didn't flash. I don't like the way the bosses don't flash at all, Plabu, even a little bit. Played this once a little bit ago. Great choice. Ritual process. We're actually getting somewhere with it, if you can believe it. We're actually getting somewhere. All right, he told me to use enemy uniforms or something. So they won't see me if I use enemy uniforms, I'm assuming. All right, look, I'm on your side. See? We're all working together. Okay, in we go. All right. Nice! Wow! Okay, so the enemy uniform, they can't see you. I don't know what I'm looking at now. Well, I've got an enemy uniform. They're not going to be able to see me. What the heck is this? Like cement. Oh, it's water. <laughs> I thought it was cement! <laughs> That's what it looks like. Kind of water is like gray and shit. I don't know. Darius left boot. Welcome in. Long time no see. Hope you're well. Was upset. I missed your fact. Santa do my absolute favorite NES game. Help Metal Gear going. Darius, it's going great. Welcome in. I know it's been a long time. I hope you've been doing well. I really enjoyed Fact Santa do. I thought that was an awesome game. But it has been quite a while, and I hope you've been doing well. It feels like forever, actually. <laughs> But yeah, Metal Gear's going okay. It's apple oatmeal from Fry's. Apple oatmeal. I like oatmeal. That's something a lot of people don't like. I like it. It's ranch. It's gravy. All right, I don't like ranch or gravy, so stay the hell out of that crap. I don't like any of that. We're going to go this way first, because that was like a... Of course, they saw me. What else is new? All right, let's try and... Let's try and get in here. What is this? This is a completely different. Oh, I should be mapping this out, dude. This is a different building. All right, fresh sheet of paper. New paper. I gotta go back to the first room because I gotta make sure we know what we're doing. Biscuit and gravy. You know what? I'm really not a fan of gravy, believe it or not. Even biscuits and gravy. I think it's okay, but I mean, it's not one of my favorites or anything. Ray's welcome in. I hope you're doing well. We're doing some Metal Gear. Yeah, it's going pretty good. I can't complain. Believe it or not, no complaining. I think we're uh, making pretty solid progress. I guess this is building number two. Rays, I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's building number two. Not a fan of gravy. Interesting. Most people love it, don't they? Toki says, not a fan of gravy. I'm not, man. I eat my mashed potatoes plain as can be. I eat my uh, turkey and dressing plain as can be. Don't you dare get gravy near my stuff. Don't you do it. You know, I'm not a fan. Toki, how you doing today, man? <laughs> what do you think about Metal Gear? Nice to see you. Nice to see Ray's. Darius is here. You guys are just freaking awesome. Dry turkey, too. You maniac. Yeah, I know everyone around me is like dunking their uh, turkey and gravy and crap. And I'm like, nah, I'm having my turkey nice and dry. Thank you very much. I don't like sausage gravy for breakfast related stuff. That stuff's got too many calories. I gotta stay away from that. Gotta stay the hell out of that crap. No gravy on chicken fried steak. Eh, I usually don't eat chicken fried steak because it's got too many calories. It's another one of those issues, right? Yeah. No, nothing's working for this door. Oh, finally, it's Kiko. Oh, ammo! Yes, sir! All right, well, that's a big pickup right there. All right, so we're going to mark... There's, like, three doors over here. There's, like, a water passageway here. And then there's, like, a door here, a door here, and a door here. So I don't really know what we're looking at here, but this door has ammo. So I'm writing that down. Do you ever eat too many calories? Usually not. I try to maintain fairly well on calories. I think I do a pretty good job, honestly. Just got back from packing. Haven't See, you haven't beaten this yet. I think we're making pretty good progress, so Lord Awesome. I think things are rolling along fairly well, if you can believe it. And I'm actually having fun. My power went out for 10 minutes, came back, and there was a Sonic ad for a high-calorie double cheeseburger. That'll be advertising fish on my channel, not freaking Sonic. Make sure it hasn't McDonald's since 89. No, it hasn't been that long, Greg. Probably it's been like a couple of years or something. But no, not that long. Greg, how you doing today? Make sure it's a calorie journal. I should have one. I, I really should. 
never get through this one. Metal, uh, Metal Gear Sons of Liberty was an awesome game. I never played another Metal Gear game after being unable to do this one as a kid. I was done. I didn't do Snake's Revenge or Metal Gear Solid or whatever the newer ones were. I never played a single one. Ever tried Liver? I can't say I have, believe it or not. A lot of people don't like it. I've never tried it, so I can't comment on Liver. Can't do it. I should have. I should start a calorie journal, though, Nep, just for you. Just for you. We have 200 rounds with a pistol, 200 with a whatever the hell that was, the machine gun. All right. All right, there's one guy down here. I'm just going to shoot him. No problem. All right. I can't go anywhere else, else but in the water. All right, let's put on my uh, body armor, because obviously I might need that. I've never played Metal Gear Solid, believe it or not. This is the only Metal, Metal Gear game I've ever played. Donald's hit so much harder in 89. Everything hit so much harder in freaking 89. What year is this? 2023. This year sucks. This year's garbage. I'm sure you guys agree. Every year's been garbage after the year 2000. Where it all went wrong. What's your favorite food? Says Johnson. I don't know. Like uh, grilled salmon or something. Some, just some type. Maybe flounder. I don't know. Some type of fish. Something with low calories. It's not going to be like, you're not going to need an answer for me, like fried chicken or something. I like hamburger steak. I don't eat it too often. Oh, what? Dude, there's a tractor inside. <laughs> How did that even fit in here? Look at this. Something tells me there's going to be, I don't have any more mines though. You can get it with plastic explosives. This century sucks, it does. Let's go back to the 90s. It's not working. <laughs> Dude, th th there's a tractor inside this little bitty hallway. It's ridiculous. It was assembled in that room, I guess so. Yes, so. Muadib, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. We're trying. <laughs> We're trying. I don't know what's going on. Welcome in. Tractor from Ikea. Brought by pieces and assembled in the room. Obviously so. There's nothing else it could be, right? Architecture was not their strong point. That's totally what I expected to see here with a freaking tractor in here. Is this going to hurt? I don't know what to do with this. Oh. <laughs> okay, you kill it with grenades. All right. That was simpler than I expected it to be. The bosses in this game die really quickly. Alright. This is the next room. Alright, that was a tractor. Alright, this is the room beyond that. We have an elevator in here. Okay. Alright, I guess I better put my gun back on. John Deere, obviously, right? Yeah, that thing, what a piece of junk that was. The bosses in this die really fast. Can we relive the 80s and 90s again and have them loop every 20 years? Please, Raze, if you find out a way to do that, let us all know. I would love to do it. Please and thank you. I don't think we need to be getting in the elevator yet. We need to explore the floor before we do any of that stuff. We'll go to a different floor later. I think it's better to... Better to stay here for now. All right, uh, what is this? What is this? I can't get to that. There's a door over there. I'm gonna write, I'm gonna mark this down as a pink door that we can't reach yet. I have no idea what we're trying to do in this room. Yeah, I'll story in Metal Gear NES and never made that far into it. All I know so far is we're trying to uh, infiltrate and stop the Metal Gear from being assembled and something. I don't know. <laughs> it sounds like mum a bunch of gobbledygook to me right now. All I know is we're progressing and getting equipment and making progress. That's all I see right now. That's all I see. We're getting there, though. This is different. Alright. This is a completely different room as well. Hmm. This is more complicated looking than the other... Uh, than the other one was so far. Alright, why is this middle part black? Because it hurts me, okay. <laughs> okay, don't step in the black part of the water because that's going to hurt you. 
Alright, let's mark this part down on the map as well. Alright, that's a solid wall. Sorry, I'm, I'm detailing my map a little bit here because this place is more complicated than it would appear to be. Tank is from Ikea. Just put a little weight on it and it'll break. Don't worry. I'm sure it's made by Chevy or something then, right? Or Ford. My dad always called Ford Fix or Repair Daily. Alright, so what do we need here? I don't know. Where are we? Card one. Does Ford build tractors? Probably not. I just made that up. Oh, this is something. Alright, I'm not worried about a call. What is... What? I don't even know what I picked up! What was that? Antenna? Okay, what does that do? Big boss here. That was jamming our communications. But now everything's okay. Over. Okay, now we'll call Diane. How about that? You have to select the individual key card. Yes, it's really dumb. Is there gators in there? I guess so. Either that or Solid Snake can't swim. I still haven't been able to call freaking Diane. Diane is like the most useless character in the game. Apparently I was told to contact her. I did and they told me she's in the shower and all kinds of stupidity like that. So I don't know. I don't have a clue. Alright, this should loop back to the beginning. This is where we came in. There's a door over there too. Alright, I have no idea where that's going to lead. I don't know where we are. Alright, we're back here again. Right, all the key... Yeah, individual looking at the key cards. Forward, backwards, driver returns on foot. That's even better. I love that proto. It's so perfect. Fix or repair daily. Driver returns on foot. I've never owned a Ford. I wouldn't know, but I've heard bad things about them. I can't get in the door here. Oh, this door is locked. We do not have the correct key yet for this one. All right, I'm going to mark down with a question mark by this door because we can't get in it yet. So we're going to have to come back for this one in a minute. If we can find the key card. Maybe it's around here somewhere. I do not know. All right, there's another door over here. All right, and this is like boxed in. All right, like that. That's a solid wall. Sorry, I'm doing some map detailing so I can make sure we don't get lost here. All right. Let's see if we can get in this. I don't know where this is going to go. Mixers of Seth with Diane. I want to know who my teammate is. I want some help here. Forgot how Diane helps me? Apparently she doesn't. Not a single key card works in this door. Oh my god. Alright, well, there's another door we can't get in. I'm going to mark that down with a question mark. Because once again, dead end. Yeah, this is... This is getting tricky. This is getting a bit tricky. The poor woman's trying to shower and Mixer keeps bugging her. She's supposed to be on my team doing secret ops stuff or something. I don't know. She's supposed to be doing something. Not getting any use out of her right now. All right, where are we trying to go here? No idea where we're going. This is probably not the right way. <laughs> this doesn't look right. All right, let's uh, add to the map here. I'm do using graph paper, keeping it simple. All right, this is the end of the road. Oh, I could go to the left. All right, wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, slow down. There was a door over there on the right side that I can't get to. Let's mark that down on the map. Man, this, is a, this place is a pain. All right, so we can't... I'm gonna have to get hurt going through the deep water or whatever that is. I don't know where to go here. Okay, so where does this go? I'm getting kind of lost here. Getting a little bit lost. Alright, shoot this guy. All right, we're at this door. Let's try every key card because I haven't been to this door yet. Man, this is this is starting to get more a little more convoluted. All right, no key card two. You have to try each one. This is very dumb. 
You might said stopping Metal Gear Beads, otherwise I could have hired Alf. Alf. Alf! Oh no! No key card worked! Alright, great! Alright, now what? Now what do we do? And I have no idea what where we're supposed to be or anything. There's an elevator, we could try that. Turning into a real game, I'm starting to get concerned because I don't know where we're going. All right, there's another door to check up here. We're, we're missing a key card and I'm worried about that. We are missing a key card. All right, so let's try all our key cards in this upper door right here. I think Alf is still being experimented on by the government. I, we can only hope so, Rob. We can only hope so. He deserved to get captured at the end of the series. He had it coming. I don't feel bad for him even a little bit. This isn't even jank. This is better than a lot of others. It, it's, it might get more convoluted, though, Greg. That's the problem with it. See, having to switch the key cards and stuff is really dumb. I don't like that at all. All right, there's an... Dude, I can't get in any of these doors. I have no idea where to go right now. I have not a clue where we're going. Mm. What is the plan now? Well, I guess I could go to the elevator and check that out because I don't know where else to be. <laughs> it's a guessing game now. I don't think I can go back this way either. It's, I can't. Oh my god. Dude, the re it's basically like the real game started now. All video games and movies work out eventually. Maybe this is for the... One game where the villain has so much security measures you can't beat it. As a kid, I was convinced this game was not beatable. I was 100% convinced. I had not a clue what was going on with this game. Last episode of the Alpha is still nowhere near suppressing the last episode of Dinosaurs. I don't think I saw that. What happened? Did they all die? Did a meteorite hit and kill them? Surely something like that happened, Rob. Right? Surely something. Card 4 is not the answer. Just shoot the guy, for God's sake. Snake, get these doors in, Mr. Solid Snake. He can't do anything, Jax. We're stuck. That was where I got the antenna. For goodness sake, where am I supposed to be? Ah! <laughs> where am I supposed to be right now? I forgot where the elevator was. I think it was over here. I'm going to spoil too much for your instinct is correct. I'm going to look it up on YouTube after stream, Rob. I'm going to look it up, see what happened to the dinosaurs. Not your mama! And all that crap, yeah. I'm sure that's what happened. Maybe just Big Boss has a hint for you in that room. Yeah, he told me that you had to turn on the uh, antenna or whatever. That was it. All right. This is... Okay, I guess we could go to another floor. How far up does this go? How tall is this building? Oh, it doesn't... Oh, no! The elevator doesn't go back down, dude! Oh, no! I'm trapped! Oh, no! I can't make it go back down. It's one way. or Either that or it's glitched. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is not good, dude! I'm stuck! Oh no. <laughs> I am really screwed right now. Uh oh. Alright, let me write down where we were. We were on floor one. We found the elevator. It's a, apparently it's a one way elevator. Andy, what's going on? Good gravy, you're playing this? I am, man. I'm, I'm getting confused about where we're supposed to be. The elevator stopped working. Oh no. <laughs> Andy, welcome in. How'd Darkwing Duck finish up yesterday? Did all Disney games and stuff. I saw some of that. Love the Disney NES games. I think... Shit. Oh my god! Okay, I survived. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that scared the crap out of me. I should have put on enemy uniform or something. I don't like... No, I'm not a fan of gravy, actually. Not a fan. That scared the crap out of me. And Red7, thank you for the resub for 10 months, dude. Sup Mixed is one of my most favorite games. You know what? I'm hearing all kinds of interesting opinions on this game. Some people love it. Some people can't stand it. it it's truly been wonderful to hear from all you guys about this game. Some people think it's the worst. Some people think it's awesome. I'll make my judgment once we've beaten it, I believe. We found another guy. All right. That was a close call. 
Dr. Petrovich is on the second floor. Okay, now he's on the second floor. He keeps magically moving around, right? My goodness. You think we were looking for George Lucas or somebody? <laughs> oh. All right. Sir Dash, what's going on, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? We're trying our best to figure this out. It's getting confusing, though. This building right here is a lot more complicated than it was. Dr. Petrovich, floor two. We're going to take notes. There you go, Andy. I was waiting for it. There you go. George Lucas. I say it just like you do now. I'm going to for the rest of my life. Hope that's okay. <laughs> it's inspiring. George Lucas ruined everyone's childhood with Jar Jar Binks. I know. He's, it's unforgivable. Is completely unforgivable unfor at this point. Let's get a new sheet of paper out since we're on another floor. So apparently we're on the roof now. I'm mapping the game by hand for you guys that are just joining us. We're doing hand-drawn maps for everything. Well, on graph paper, it's not so bad. Every room has like a square shape to it or whatever. All right, so this is the roof. There's an elevator here. I'm going to write roof, building or whatever we are. Jar Jar is the key to all this. If I find him in a room, I'm going to shoot him. Dr. Petrovich would late develop a vaccine. Be sure to rescue him. We haven't found him yet. Jar Jar Binks is funny. I love Jar Jar. I should ban all you guys. God damn it. Ban all of you. You deserve it. Except for Monica. She's on my side. The rest of you that are talking good about Jar Jar getting freaking banned. I swear to God. How could you? It's a freaking insult to everything good in humanity. Alright, we're going down. We went right or something. I lost track. I was I was thinking about freaking Jar Jar. You guys are distracting me. Now I don't know where I am on the map. I have to start over. Now the bad guys are coming. Look what you did. You, you did this because you brought up Jar Jar and George Lucas. See? That's what happens when you talk about crap. Alright. Let's, uh, let me remap the situation. Schmeckles, what's up, man? Ban him. I will. Talk good about, you talk good about Jar Jar or Big Mac or any of that stuff? Ban coming. Schmeckles, welcome in. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Wasn't Jar Jar a Sith Lord? No. Let's not insult Sith Lords that way, okay? Let's not do that. Even George Lucas wouldn't go that far. All right, we have a door here. It's probably I don't have the key card for it. I'm pro that was probably on floor two or whatever. I didn't even want to be here yet. This is a complete accident. Schmeckles, how you doing today? Jar Jar is a stain on the galaxy. Thank you. Traitors to the rebellion. Yep. Don't ban me, man. I, I might. I'm thinking about it. You better be careful. Dr. Petrovich was the Super Joe's cousin. <laughs> I guess so. That guy was about that useful. Freaking Super Joe. Oh, we made it in. Oh, my God! Oh, it's on now. Oh, that was lucky. Holy crap. I didn't even mean to be up here and we found a key card. Okay. Maybe that's the key card we need to open all the doors down there on the bottom floor. How do you even get back to the bottom floor? The, the world may never know because it's a one-way elevator. All right, well, it looks like we found this was like a dead end. So the roof is only like one, two, three. There's only five sections on here. All right, well, there's an elevator here. All right, let's mark down that there's an elevator right here just to make sure. Yeah, Johnny Five is alive, right? We got door number five, Johnny Five. This is not what I was expecting here. All right, key four worked. All right. All right, we can go to floor two now, or I can go back to floor one. Oh, the, the, the elevator's one way again! I should have... Why is the elevator one way? That's going to screw up where I was. Where even was I? We're going to go back to floor one, I guess. We don't have a choice. Freaking mess. 
Sounds like you love this game. G -g gotta run, have fun. Ran, no problem, man. I, we're, we're actually making progress, if you can believe it. <laughs> I'm mad at the elevator, though. Jar Jar should have been the real Sith Lord behind Palpatine. Oh, no, no, no. All along be revealed in 789 to have made better movies than the shit Disney made. <laughs> I can't disagree with that. I think that might have been entertaining. Would you have been disappointed? Not sure I would have been. Yeah, maybe a George Lucas. Oh! I, I, I caught myself that time. I caught myself. You know why? Because it was in the perfect shape of that. I was ready. For some reason, I was ready for it that time. I think because there's an, on the other building, you come out of an elevator right into a trap. And for some reason, it clicked in my mind right there. That was very, very, very dangerous. I don't know where that would have <laughs> where that would have put me. It's crazy because you never make progress in games. I, sometimes I don't win. You know that. Y you know that. Rem remember when I was? Let's see. What game did I really like? Really have a? Do you remember Bubsy? It took forever to make any progress in that. Oh, I know where I am now, dude. I know where I am now. Oh my god, all right. Well, this is this is making more sense now. Okay. Did you beat it? I rest my case. I got lucky, dude. I beat the last boss. I didn't even know what was happening. <laughs> and I still killed it. Some way, somehow. I can take no credit, sir. Willow. I rented that as a kid, and I didn't get very far. Maybe we should play Willow on stream. Andy, I love that emote. That fits so perfectly. <laughs> oh, Retro Gamer, what's going on? Meet Wisdom, welcome in. The outer Heaven can't afford two-way elevators. Apparently not. It's like a service elevator in, an, in a hotel or something. Am I right? It's something like that. We found rations, dude. We found rations. It's a big deal. That means I can farm my health back here. Willow will be a multi-day stream for sure. I wouldn't mind playing it. It's kind of like Zelda, and I like the original Zelda, so I think I might like Willow. I do remember playing it, but I didn't get anywhere. Because it seemed like it was way harder than original Zelda. I could be wrong, though. I could most definitely be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. Ninja Gun, what's up, man? Welcome in. Yep, playing the original Metal Gear, a first playthrough. Trying to get through it. Progress is happening here and there. I got a bunch of stuff here. What well, you know what? Should we try and beat this in one day? I'm making progress. I feel like if we kept going for like another hour or two, maybe we could get through it. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Should we keep pushing onward? It's four o'clock. We could stop. Ninji, I hope you're having a good day, man. Welcome in. As long as we hear Mixer yelling Mad Mardigan at the top of his lungs during it. I don't that happened in the movie. I don't think we need that in the game. <laughs> I like the movie. I think Willow's a good movie. It didn't need a new series or whatever it was coming out with, though, right? Who was behind the new Willow movie? I mean, the new Willow series. Was it George Lucas? Obviously, right? Onward and go? All right, well, maybe we will. I'm trying to remember where we need to be here. Because there was, like, multiple doors and stuff, and I don't remember where I'm supposed to be. George Lucas. There you go, Andy. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Keep pushing, alright. I'm gonna say it like that for the rest of my life. You ruined me. And I love it. I could totally do it. Aren't you think so, Wolf? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm feeling kind of good about it in a weird way. Oh, we could have gone... I don't know where I'm supposed to be. This part is so convoluted, and it's hard to write this down on the map. The series wasn't good. Even if ALF started in it, it would have sucked. If, dude, if ALF had starred in it, it would have never been green lit in the first place, and it would have been thrown in a garbage can, and everybody would have pointed and laughed at it, obviously. Because We don't need any freaking ALF. Chief, what's going on, man? Welcome in. No! No, that's right. <laughs> We're talking about George Lucas. Right? That was a close call. The far end of the lock connects to building number three. The far end of the lock connects to building number... The what the hell is the lock? Go out of building number two. Arnold has the card to the door. 
Arnold has the card to the door? <laughs> I think we're screwed. <laughs> you can defeat Arnold with a rocket launcher. Arnold? All right, better get to the chopper quick. Jesus Christ. <laughs> get to the chopper! <laughs> I didn't expect to hear Arnold. You know, I get to the dang chopper. I'm so damn bad at Mario 3 for some reason. It used to be amazing. Now I'm bad. Skills went down struggling with level 5. Mario 3 is not an easy game, man. Mario 3 is not easy. Nothing wrong with struggling with that game. It's a really good game, though. I did a ROM hack of Mario 3 like a, two weeks ago, and I had an awful time with that. Oh my god, that Rainbow Realms. You guys remember that? Chief, how you doing today, man? If Arnold bleeds, you can kill it. But what if he doesn't, though? What if he doesn't bleed? Great quote, though. That's straight out of the Predator tech. What are you talking about, Snake? I don't know. I can't get in this door either. This door is off limits. All right, we can't do that. We're stuck again, apparently. That's off limits. There's two more doors over here we could try. I don't know what good that's going to do. But we'll try this other door over here, and hopefully key card five is the answer. Robo Ninja Cowboy, what's going on? Don't know if a rocket launcher is going to do the trick. I've seen some of Arnold stuff. I have too. I'm not too. I'm a bit concerned about that. Mora, what's going on? Welcome in, Mora. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a good one. Chief, nice to see you in person. Usually it's because I'm working and lurking, right? <laughs> working and lurking over in Andy's place. I've located card six, dude. We just found another key card. All right, I'm going to mark down on the map. That's what we just got. We got another key card. How is this going? Okay, I'm going to go try that other door now that just didn't open because that might be the one we needed. Dude, this is freaking amazing how well this is working. I'm kind of blown away by how good it's going. I, I, I'm in shock here. Really in. I know someone gets that reference. Which one? Rocket lawn chair? Not me. Not getting that one, Fox. You're kicking this game's ass? I don't know, man. It, it, it's so far so good. It's going decently. I can't... Okay, that's... St we still can't get out of that room. I have... I've tried every key card now with this door, and it still doesn't work. Should I try the enemy uniform? That worked on the other door. Try that. Nope. That doesn't work either. All right. We just can't get into that room yet right there. That'll just have to be for something later. All right. Keep moving. We can't go up there yet. I don't know how in the world we're going to do that unless there's a way to drain the water or something. I have no idea. Told you this wasn't trash mixer. A lot of people hate I hated it when I was a kid, though. I absolutely despised it. Maybe I was just too young to play it or something. I didn't I was like 12 years old or something. I was obviously too dumb, right? Obviously, Alf has a fan site. Uh, someone find a way to get that offline quick. Get get some of that new AI crap involved and get it offline or something. I don't know. I don't want to hear about it. Or see it or think about it. Trying to think where we need to go now. Trying to think where we need to go now. Didn't we? We went over here, I think. I marked that one, yes. It's almost like you have beaten... It's almost like you could have beaten it this whole time. You had no reason to have animosity to games of your past. I wouldn't have drawn a map this detailed in the past. I think that's what's getting me through it, K-Fight, is actually paying attention to my surroundings, which I did not do before. Stupid, I know. But I just didn't do it. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> where is the elevator? I don't remember. I think it's up here where all these guys were. Let me check my map. It's in the upper left. Okay, we're going to try and go to floor two. They're shooting me. There goes all my freaking health. Just horribly imbalanced with that beginning. Hopefully it'll stay like this. When I rented the first Zelda, I had no map or manual, even though I got nowhere I still liked it. I think Zelda is just more clear when it comes to exploration. See, with Zelda, you always kind of have an idea of what you need to be doing. There's always something to work on in Zelda. Always. Burn a bush. Bomb a wall. There's, you won't get stuck if you just spend enough time working on it. Oh, my God. This... Ah, oh, my 
God, that was crazy. All right, this is a new floor. I'm going to start a new map. I'm starting a new map quite a bit, it feels like. This is a room we haven't been in yet, so this is going to be floor number two of building number two. All right, where's my pencil? I keep losing all my stuff. Uh, Final Fantasy 1 does that to you, like after beating the pirates, it doesn't give you more to go on. Five-year-old me was like, well, now what? Oh, yeah, you got to sail to Elfland. It, it, the manual actually tells you that, Fox, believe it or not. If you have the manual with the original Final Fantasy 1, it says go to Elfland next. Where is this? We're going to start a new map, like in the corner? I don't know. All right, well, anyway, this is where the elevator is. And there's like a little nook right here with a door. So I haven't gotten to this door yet, even though we we can see it. But yeah, you're some, if you don't have the manual, though, you're not going to know where to go for that first Final Fantasy. But yeah, you go straight to Elfland. Then these, you know what you do next? Then you start grinding uh, experience and money so you can buy Silver Sword for your fighter. I remember doing that quite a few times. Grinding, grinding, grinding. There was a lot of grinding in the first Final Fantasy, but I did not mind it. All right, so where are we going now? This is a brand new floor to explore, and that would be a dead end. Okay, I'm not going to... This is looking a little bit me. Really? All right, I'm going to have to use rations fairly soon. That's okay. All right, let's just go this way and go down. Let's start looking around. Oh, I can't go that way. Alright, well this keeps going that way. I have no idea how to get there. This is looking confusing. Later version of Final Fantasy 1 removed that silver sword. It was overpowered for it to be there at that time, though, Kula. Go to Elfland, I would turn it off. What, you got a problem with elves? I rented it, no manual. Oh, there's your problem. Well, see, I didn't have a manual for this game or uh, Roger Rabbit when I rented that, and I got absolutely nowhere. So yeah, I had some problems with some games like that back in the day. I have no idea where we need to be. You know what? We better use this or I'm going to die. I really don't want to die here. And I'm getting low on ammo as well. We're going to switch to the machine gun. I did not like that Roger Rabbit game. I thought it was awful. Why, do I, why should I try and sneak past these guys when I can shoot them? That's, what, that's my question now. Alright, we can go down or we can go right. So, we're going to mark this here. Alright, was the elevator one screen over? Let me make sure, because I don't want to mess my map up. I don't like that Roger Rabbit game. I think it's awful. The PS1 version of Final Fantasy 1 is the best version of it to me. The best version of it to me will always be the original, because I've played through that one like a million different times. So, yeah. Original, or... Yeah, I've played other versions, too. I know they're better, but... The, the original one has so much nostalgia factor to me. All right, we're gonna mark down two doors that I haven't that I can't even reach yet. All right, we have door here. All right, let's start with key card one and work our way through. How have I ruined your day? Because I talk bad about Roger Rabbit, Brigand. You like that game? It's awful, dude. How can anyone like it? The Marsh Cave would have been a big stopping point, though, yeah. Marsh Cave was nasty on a first playthrough of Final Fantasy 1. I. I got stuck there for a long time. But then later on, like, down the road, I, st I appreciated it more, and I was like, let's do a challenge run. Let's see if we can beat the Marsh Cave with level 6 characters. And one time I actually made it through. I'm so lucky. Oh, it worked! Oh, what's this? This is a healing potion. I've located the antidote. Oh, I know what this is for. This is if the scorpions hurt you. This is if the scor... See, they got me when the, the stream started. I roamed into the desert. The scorpions got me. I got poisoned and I died. Okay, so we know how to fix that. Now, if we get hit by them, which means we'll probably need that for them at some point, right? Music Roger Rabbit NES alone makes me nauseous. Not one of Rare's best attempts. Not a fan of that game. People have asked for it on stream, though. We might end up playing it one day, Link. I'm kind of dreading it. <laughs> I, I'm kind of dreading it, not going to lie. Would not be fun. All right, we're going to mark that we got the antidote here because this map is getting a little bit convoluted. Antidote. 
They told me Dr. Petrovich or whatever the guy we're looking for is on this floor. So, we're on the verge of probably making some good progress here. All right, what key card? Roger Rabbit on Game Boy? I've never tried that one before. Is it better? Gotta be. No, it's because you mentioned it and all the bad memories flooding back. I rented it and didn't know what the hell was going on. Here's the thing. Final Fantasy 1 was designed entirely around spell slots. Unifying the MP system of the game becomes too easy. I actually agree with that. But, see the magic system in the original game? <gasps> what? Is this Arnold? Oh my goodness, I'm scared. I'm scared. It said he needed a rocket launcher to kill him. I don't have that. I don't have a rocket launcher. Where do I get that? Oh my god, I'm in trouble. I must have missed it. No, I don't have that. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> this is not a good situation to be in here. All right, where does this go? Let's go back to the beginning. Yeah, this goes back to this. All right. All right, well, I don't know what we're going to do here, man. I don't know what we're going to do. If I, I'm assuming that's what this is. Remember where the missiles were? No, I don't have a rocket launcher. Let me look at the manual and see if that's something different. Let me look at the manual. Rocket launcher. See, that's a different item. There, you also have missiles, which is something completely different. We do not have rocket launcher. And the person on the other end of the phone told me that we needed rocket launcher to deal with this situation here. So yeah, we might uh, be a little bit of a tr might be in trouble here because I'm not really sure what to do. I am not sure. We've made a lot of progress here. I'm gonna in case. I'm just gonna I'm gonna save state this game just in case we lose. I haven't gotten a password or anything. I don't want to lose all this progress. What's the next game for the weekend? Maybe Kabuki. I haven't thought about another game honestly. I thought we might be playing this all weekend. Boss, I'm scared. Shut up, Percy or whatever the hell your name was. That game's so bad. Oh my god. I'm save stating it just in case the power goes out or something. I don't want to lose my progress. I'm not going to reload it unless the power goes out or something. I could get a password. But no, I'm not going to use it to save scum anything. How am I going to get through the door? Dude, what do you want me to do here? Okay, so it was door number two. All right, let me write that down. Let me write that down. All right, so these doors both go to the Arnold room. I'm assuming that's Arnold. I don't know. The game hasn't clued me in yet. It was like he's guarding a door. Hey, we made it through the door. I don't know if I was supposed to do this or not, but here we are. All right, and there's nothing here. All right, we have another door here. Nope, not key six. Oh, for save stating Arnold. Nah, I'm not going to use I'm just doing that in case like the power goes out or something. Because I just realized we've been playing this game for four hours. And I don't have any way to save it. I haven't taken a password down or anything. So that might be a good idea. Oh, here we go. And there's nothing in here. There's nothing in this room gotta be something in here. This can't be just an empty room. No way. Oh, is this this is gonna be something cryptic? Watch the running man last night? What is remind me what that is, a running man. News just dropped E3 2023 is officially canceled, but for what it's worth, a big deal if you ask me. No big whooping deal. Wow, no new 3D games to ooh and ah over. <laughs> That's how I look at that now, Plaid. Well, I like the new technology and stuff, but new video games like a new Call of Duty or something like that doesn't exactly inspire much confidence for me. Let's call Diane. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, of course not. All right, what's the new frequency for Big Boss? 
1, 2, 13. Calling people doesn't work at all. I've tried this a million times. You get nothing from it. See, Big Boss doesn't help. You get nothing. It's a dead end. Call of Duty 5,000. I know, right? Now where am I supposed to be? Who knows? Jesus Christ, I am taking so much damage. All right, let's use some more rations. Stay alive. All right, is there anything down here? A dead end. Oh my god, a dead freaking end. All right. I'm going to put a question mark by this room because we haven't done anything with it yet. This is a freaking mess! That empty room is bothering me. It really is bothering me. There's got to be something to do with that. Getting low on ammo as well, too. That's a problem. All right, let's try calling Big Boss again. No one cares about E3. Not me. Every company now have their own show. They do whatever they want. Yeah, like conventions and stuff, it's probably uh, turning into more of a thing of the past, right? Smash TV. I like that game, Stellar. I've done the SNES version of it. I definitely enjoy that one. I've never done the Genesis one. I'd like to do that at some point. Not like anything's going to... Not like anything's gonna happen here. No, of course not. Of course not. What a waste of time. Okay, you can't do anything with that. I don't know what to do here. We don't have a rocket launcher. We have nothing. You'll get nothing like it, apparently. Alright, what... Is this door five? No, I don't remember how to get in here. Well, that was door two or something. This goes to where Arnold is, I think. Yeah. This is a mess! Where do you go? Try door one. I don't... Okay, that worked. There's more... How do you get over there? All right. This is below the Arnold room. I'm getting stuck here, dude. This is not feeling so good anymore. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit intimidated. They're wearing my health down. Genesis when you want two controllers where you can use both D-pads to simulate dual joysticks. I've never played it that way except in the arcade and it was really cool. I love doing it that way. But I didn't do that on Super Nintendo. This cracked me up every time he starts to rage he finds a solution. There's nothing over here though. There's a, We found ammo. That's kind of neat. But I mean that's not a rocket launcher. Alright so I'm going to mark down that there's ammo in this room. So at least we found that. All right, let me look at my equipment. We need to put the armor on. I need to be walking around with the armor equipped. I pr it'd probably you take less damage. All right, we have, we need more handgun rounds. All right, the mixer will get stuck in this part, but we'll figure it out. I I'm feeling kind of stuck right now. Feeling kind of stuck. See, I never would, I never even made it close to this far as a kid. I got stuck in like the first building back then. I didn't know what was going on. You play tough games. This is it's definitely tougher now than it was earlier. The difficulty has gone up quite a bit. They're shooting the crap out of me. Alright, wait, wait, wait. We didn't go up to the top area. We didn't do that. There's an area we missed according to the map of the door. Alright, kill those guys. We're fine. Never played this. It's Starting to feel the difficulty a little bit. All right, card one. Let's go through. It's, you know what? If you have the correct card for the door, the door should just automatically open. I think. That would be, would have been better designed. Instead of fumbling around realistically, trying to slot every card in the door. I know that's realistic. I get it. The game didn't need that, though. That's tedious. I'm not a kid, and I have no idea what to do in this. A lot of people don't. See, I didn't up until fairly recently. Stuck in the first building as well. That's as far as most of us probably made it, Wolf. It's probably it. Oh my god, did we find the doctor? What? What was that? I now I don't know where I am. Where is this? This is back 
fucking building one! Not using the save state, no. We're getting back to where we were. I'm not using it. Alright, so apparently that's a trap. That wasn't the doctor. He said something, but I didn't get to read it before I died. <laughs> oh my god, dude! Wow! Okay, I, that, that's gotta be just a trap or something. May I didn't get to read what he said. That's bothering me. Jesus Christ, really? Nope, I can't use that save state. I was using that in just case the power went out or something. Because you never know. I mean, this is Alabama, after all. Alright, put the enemy uniform back on. Get back in the building. Go to the elevator. See, there, there's a... We can get back. We can get back. My goodness. Look how much progress I lost. Power and go out anytime in the southeast for no reason. I know we got bad infrastructure as well, Rydia. It's awful. Yep. I'm feeling the troll in here too, James. I am. That was insane. Alright, the, the elevator's right here. We can get back to where we were, I think. Alright, this should take me back to floor two. Does have passwords? It does have passwords, but I think you have to, like, in-game or something to get to them, so I'm not really sure. Alright, there's a room you don't want to go in. That's a trap. That was not the doctor. That was not him. Alright, so now what do we do? <laughs> go back to the Arnold room. Okay, that's down and to the right. Alright, where have we not been from the Arnold room? We haven't been... Okay, I went the bottom left. Let's try going to the bottom right. See, we already we're already back to where we were. I remembered how to get back to it. Alright, what card are we gonna need? I don't even know. Oh my god, I can't believe that freaking happened. Alright, I'm gonna have to just take some damage while we try every card here because I don't know which one's the right one. He's gonna keep hitting me. It's fine though. Here he comes. Oh, found it! Okay. That's enough! Now I'm scared to talk to the guy. Am I gonna get trolled again? That was a close call. Can't cross the desert without a compass. Rank up! Alright, can't cross the desert without a compass. Alright, that's nice. That's great. Well, I don't have a compass. Alright, where are we going now? Alright, well this is new. Haven't been here yet. We got it. We leveled up though. That's really good. Okay. Oh my goodness. What if I pick the wrong card here? I'm gonna die. I wonder if this kills you in one hit. I bet it does. You know what? Maybe I should try it like this. You figure out what ranks do? Yeah, you get more max hit point, you can carry more stuff. It's really good. All right, we made it in. That's an elevator? I, that's not what I wanted. Dude, I'm not done exploring this floor. I gotta go back. I'm not done with this floor. Oh no, oh no, 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 no! Yes, all right. We're four star, that's right. Four star general here. Thanks for the GG's. But yeah, I think that's ranks give you more max hit points and uh, stuff like that. So they're really good. <sighs> Alright, I still don't know where I'm supposed to be, dude. <sighs> Alright, let's start checking this tonight. Alright, I have a question mark marked to the room to the right here. So let's try the key cards again. Dude, these this key card system is so bad. Alright. 
All right, I don't think we've been in here yet. Yeah, I have this marked down with a question mark because I haven't been here yet. Another guy to rescue. Okay, good. Don't troll me. Don't troll me. That was a close call. Try contacting resistance fighter Jennifer on 12048. Oh, a new person? Oh, great. A new person that's not going to help me at all, more than likely. Because that other person helped me so much before already, right? Jennifer can give you direct... Jennifer can give you direct support. But be careful, she's a snob. She probably won't answer you unless you are pretty classy. Ain't got time to be classy! I'm sorry, we're in the middle of a mission. I don't have time to be classy. That Now's not the time for that. Excuse me. You tell me what I need to know when I give the order. That's what I need to... Tech, what's up? Thank you for the resub, dude. Man, your amazing first playthroughs are incredibly enjoyable. I agree, man. I love first playthroughs. It's kind of my favorite thing to do on stream is a first playthrough of a game that you don't know what the hell's going on with. <laughs> I know that much. All right, well, we have some snob we can contact. Let's try and call her. <laughs> let's, let's call her. All right, wow. All right, what was her number? 48. We just met, and I'm calling you. That's right. Jennifer here. I'll set up the rocket launchers. Come and get them. Over. Where? Where are you setting up the rocket launchers? Uh, okay, what, where? Yes! How did she do that? <laughs> How did she do that, dude? I have located, what did you, how did you do that? That doesn't even make sense. All right, do I have that now? I bet I don't have any ammunition. I got no ammunition for it. All right. <laughs> All right, what if I call her again? Will she turn them back on? Let's try it again. Maybe I can... All right, let's see what she's got to say. Jennifer here. Okay, same thing. All right, let's try calling what's-her-name again that hasn't ever responded. Diane. Let's see if Diane's on line two or whatever. Of course not. Good lord, I don't think that's even a real person. Alright, let's go get some ammo. Where the hell was that at? I've got it marked on the map. Alright, so this area had rocket launcher. I'm gonna mark that on the map. Rockets. Pookums, welcome back, man. We're making some progress here, but it's, it's a little bit awkward. <laughs> it's a little bit awkward. We're getting there. Diane is actually just Diane and my cat. She knocked the radio off the desk and can't answer. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised. You just lucked into that? Well, sometimes it's better be lucky than good, right? I'm making some progress. So Jennifer won't talk to you and give you the rocket if you aren't four stars. Are you kidding me? So that's what they were talking about by the classy thing, Link. So if you're not a four star soldier or whatever, she won't even respond? Are you... Why? That could jeopardize the mission, though. What card was it that got us through this door? I don't even remember. Was it five? I think it was five. It was five. Okay, again, my memory's not that bad. All right, where was the, the ammo's in the bottom left corner? We're going to go down there. And I don't remember what door this was, so we're going to start from one and work our way through it. Rank has privileges. I guess so. She's quite the snob. What, what if I wasn't maximum rank? Would it matter? Why would that even matter? That's so unrealistic. I'm sorry. That's dumb as hell. I, I don't accept it. Hit very classy was a pun from the MSX game. Your rank is called class in that game. Well, how are you supposed to know that if you've never played it before? How are you supposed to know? Wait, I have I forgot I had an antenna. Maybe I can call 
Diana or whatever her name is with the antenna on. Maybe that's what I'm supposed to do. This part stumped me as a kid. Okay, so, see, here's... Oh, oh, Brigand. Brigand. See, you rank up by rescuing hostages. What if I had missed some hostages like in Building 1? I wouldn't be rank 4 right now. And then I would be completely stuck because I wouldn't be able to go... Oh, my God. See, that is... Oh my god, you know how fortunate I am right now. See, that's why I drew maps and wanted to not miss anything, and it's really paying off right now. I'm very, very thankful. I meticulously explored all the buildings up till now. I was afraid the Jennifer thing wouldn't work without antenna. Oh, I keep forgetting about antenna. Yeah, that's wrong. Maybe I should put antenna on and see if what's her name will answer me for once. You couldn't do that. It takes 11 mines to blow up the tank. Oh, so so you would have to be a minimum of rank 3 to blow the tank up. Okay. Okay, well, see, either way then, K-Fight, if you don't find all the hostages in, then you can't blow the tank up at all, and you're going to be stuck at that point until you get all the hostages. Dude, th this is... Okay, I see why people are getting stuck with this, because, wow, I'm just kind of shocked. <laughs> it's working out well, though. It's working out. But like I said, I'm not going up there again. That's where I got killed. That's where I died. All right, let's go back to the Arnold room. How many, like, rocket rounds do I have? Let me check that. I have 30 rockets. I bet those do a lot of damage. We're going to use that. This game isn't for nine-year-olds. Brain power, I get it. And being meticulous, too, right? Whoa. A lucky set of circumstances when I was a kid. There was no way to guess what to do with Diane and the caller and what this mean classy. Many people claim this game is a bad point. No hits in the game. How have I made it this far then? Just by being careful with finding all the hostages, I guess? I'm assuming. You're more likely to do this mission in real life. It kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Ryan, what's going on, man? Yeah, Metal Gear. It's, it's going, dude. It's actually going fairly well. Ryan, hope you're having a good day, man. Alright, well, someone said earlier that we could use rockets to kill Arnold, so... I don't know if that's hurting him or not. We're gonna try it. It works. Okay, so the hint we got earlier in the game was good. You're doing so well because you're meticulous? Well, it kind of goes back to having to be meticulous for a lot of old video games. And that now that I'm this old... I kind of know that I'm going to have to be meticulous pretty much all the time in a game like this or we're not going to get anywhere. Holy freaking God. We have located card number seven. Card number seven indeed. What can I do with card seven though? What buildings have I not checked? Okay, let me check my map here. Let's double check this floor because I'm not sure if I've missed anything on it. All right, Arnold is now dead, and we got card seven. This is building two, I think, Pookums. I think they told me. They told me Dr. Petrovich or whatever was in building two, but there's not. There's like an imposter, I guess, that's supposed to look like him, but I tried to rescue him, and a pit opened up, and I died. So now I don't know where Dr. Petrovich is. I have no idea. I don't have a clue. I'm trying to think what we need to do next. So it looks like I've covered everything in here. Except there's one room in this place up here that's... There's nothing in it. There's an empty room up here. And let's go up there now. Swords and Serpents and others that wanted to be meticulous or failing. I couldn't do... Oh, I just shot the guy with a rocket. Whoops. Now, Swords and Serpents, I liked that when I was a kid. I liked it until I realized that once you go like three floors past where you had mapped out that you can't go any further. Or, or no, you can go further. The map auto like goes away and then you would basically have to draw your own map for that game as well if you wanted to keep them all. So then I ended up in a zoom tube and Swords and Serpents and guess what? All my maps were gone and I turned it off and I never played it again. That was my experience with that game. It's on now, I hope so, man. We're, we're feeling it. We're making progress. I feel like I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, we're not going to stop today. We're going to try and beat it. Still nothing here, dude. Still nothing here. Let's turn the transceiver on. Let's call Jennifer. What was her number? I just met you, so call me maybe. All right. Is this Diane? Yes. 
All right, 13 was Big Boss, and 48 is Jennifer. All right, let's see if Jennifer will say something. Nothing. What is the point of this empty room? It's driving me insane! Is he walking around with this radio under his arm? JWK, I guess so, man. I guess so. I have this giant transceiver. It doesn't look like it's exactly small. Long stream? I don't know how much further we have to go. I honestly don't. This is bothering the absolute hell out of me. There's gotta be something you can do with this room. Maybe you're supposed to put the iron glove on and punch the walls? Maybe I should go in there and try that. I don't know what to do. Hey, I just met you. I guess you're lazy. Still won't answer. Please fire this lady. I don't think it goes that way, Rydia. I think you just made that up. <laughs> Showed you, my, uh, showed you my solid snake. Please respond. Yeah, I know, right, Proto? Solid freaking snake. How could you not answer me? This room is driving me insane. There's nothing in here. I've got marked down nothing on here. We found antidote to the room to the left. There's nothing in here. I don't get it. It's no sense, all right? Let's equip antenna and try and call everybody. Maybe that's what we're supposed to do. Driving me nuts. All right, this is Jennifer's number. Okay, Jennifer here. I've got a compass for you. Over. A compass. I've got the compass! Oh, wait. No, I don't. Wait, what? I got antidote compass. They told me about that earlier. That was obviously misspelled. All right, where's Diane? No, we have this on. This is Solid Snake. Respond, please. Diane's worthless. She never even talks to me. And, and Jennifer's not a snob. I think Diane's the problem here. All right, let's try the room now. Good freaking lord. I see. I knew something had to be with this. Th there's not a reason for an empty room. There's not a reason for it. Located the compass. All right. It said something about using that in the desert. I don't know. All right, so what are we doing now? That was that, that worked out pretty well. It was an empty room. I had to exhaust all possibilities. All right, we're going to mark down on the map that there was a compass in there. We found antidote to the room to the left. Yes, that's already been cleared. All right, looks like we've done everything else there is to do in this area. I don't see anything else to do. If this was like Goonie Sue, an old lady be sitting on the floor, punch her repeatedly while she says, Ouch, what do you do? I only knew about that. I don't have it sitting here. But I only knew about that, Rob, because there's a Nintendo uh, official player's guide that tells you how to do that part in Goonies. Otherwise, I never would have figured it out. I found the rocket launcher, Sage. I did. And we blew the Arnold up with it, and we got key card number seven. So I don't know what to do with key card number seven yet. But let me check my other maps, because there is a door we never got through, which I think was on floor number one of building two. All right, so yeah, here it is right here. My microphone almost fell on the floor. Hold on one second. Let me reset that. The music is really good. It really, really is good. It fits the mood. I actually forgot Jennifer also gives you the compass. That empty room was just bothering me. All right, so here's where I'm going to go. This was floor... Floor one, I think, yeah. Floor one, building two. All right, where, where we're gonna try and go? This, right here. This door right here would not open by any of my other key cards, so this is my next idea to check. So that's where we're gonna head to. If I can find how to, okay, where was the elevator? I gotta, oh, yeah, the elevator seems like they're like one way or something. Where was the stinking elevator in here? It was in the bottom corner. They are really up to convolutedness here. Playing with no guides make games way more interesting. Why, gee, why? I agree completely. If I was using a guide, this wouldn't be half as interesting as it is currently. All right, so I think it was over here, the elevator. No, this is where Jennifer was. This is where I got the rockets. This is not correct. All right, let's recheck the map. I think. You, all right, let's try going down. YGY, how are you doing today, man? Welcome in. 
Hope all is well. We're making some steady progress with this, if you can believe it. We're getting there. All right, that door open. All right, we gotta be careful with this. While I was scarfing down chicken wings, you were making a video game map. I'm impressed. Chicken wing sounds good. As long as you don't go crazy with like blue cheese and stuff, they're pretty darn good. Of course, blue cheese is good, but it's got too many calories, of course, right? All right, so this was on floor one where I was trying to go. Yeah, that was on floor one. I've got a map of every floor drawn out on graph paper. Good thing's been lurking. Good, good. I'm glad you're doing well. Shadow Dread, what's going on, man? Welcome in. I missed you coming in earlier. I apologize. Poor Snake, no one wants to talk to him on the radio. They know he's going to rant, start ranting about flat earth theory. No, I don't think it's... I don't... Ooh, that scared the crap out of me right there. That's... There's a... Mm -hmm, see? There's one of those right there. <laughs> I learned my lesson from that earlier. All right, I still don't know how to get past this part, though, because there's, like, deep water, which I haven't figured out how to do anything with that. Okay, where was the door? That's the door I need to get to, that door right there. We need to loop around and get to it. I feel like the issue with the game is a terrible explaining things. Metal Gear Solid series has been larger locations and events. It's much more clear about what to do, and you continuously be reminded. Get more info from the Colonel and Friends. Okay, so the Colonel and Friends is not exactly Big Boss, right? Because see, Big Boss hasn't done jack shit to help me out in this game. Actually, he did. He told me about the enemy uniforms. Because see, I wouldn't have known about that, and he told me. You can keep going up here. I'm going to make a note of this part right here, because there's like deep water that goes up. And I don't know if that's just made to look like it's graphically neat or if we can actually go up there. I don't know yet. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to go this way and see what's in this door, which I've yet to be able to open. I think we have key cards six and seven to try with this one. KFC, too many calories. Key card six didn't work. Key card seven worked, yes. Where in the hell am I? Oh no. oh no, where in the world is this? I have never been here before. I'm back outside again. Oh goodness. Alright, we're in the desert. It said something about a compass. <laughs> you know what I just realized? If we hadn't called Jennifer over there and gotten the compass... I might have gotten stuck with this part too, but I was very determined to find out about that empty room, so I guess we wouldn't be able to do anything here. I don't know. Can you go up? Yeah, I've been here before. I have a compass. Can get me through this? I, I've been here. I've been here, dude. Big boss here. Get in the truck over on the right. Over. Wait, what? Wait, what? I've been in all these trucks. Okay, maybe something new's gonna happen. Truck on the right. That would be up here. Alright, well, I'm gonna take his advice. Uh-oh, the truck has started to move. Okay. Where were we? We're in the desert section. Way to go, big boss. Now I'm back here again. What did that accomplish? All right, I guess we could get rations and stuff while we're out here. Way to go, big boss. You put me back at the beginning again. Freaking idiot. This is like the worst commanding officer you could ever ask for. You're the Xbox 360 alert, achievement alert. I have the retro achievements turned on, so you're probably hearing that. I don't know what I'm getting. I'm not, like, specifically targeting any retro achievements, but I have them turned on, so that's probably what you're hearing. I'm hearing it, too. But they are turned on. So I'm, I'm just, like I said, I'm just getting what I'm getting. Jenny from the block. No, we're not calling that number, old man. What's up, old man gaming retro? Welcome in. <laughs> Welcome in. I don't know where I'm going now. I have no idea. I was in a building where I probably should have gone in the door, but I lit Big Boss told me to get in the truck, and now we're here. 
So now I don't know where I'm going. Big Boss screwed me over. Darth Vat, what's up, man? Welcome in. How's it going? Now I can't wait for Mixer to see the end. I wonder how close we are. We do have a lot of equipment. Here's where we are. Did I not get in the right truck? A Shinra bit. Welcome in. Good to have you here, man. Shinra? Really? Are you answering to Rufus Shinra, by the way? You better not be. Those Shinra people causing trouble. I know that group. That's not a good group. That's not a good group at all. <laughs> I'm just kidding, man. Welcome in. I like the name. I'm a fan of Final Fantasy VII. The biggest problem with this game is that there's a part you have to do where the game doesn't tell you how to do it. And my, uh, hopefully, I've already gotten past that part by sheer random luck. No life. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. All right. Uh oh, the truck has started to move. All right, we're gonna get in the. Maybe I was in the wrong truck. Maybe that was the problem here. All right, where's this gonna take me? We've been here already, dude. Big boss, what is your deal? God, he's putting me on a freaking wild goose chase or something. What is going on? That's got to be a mistranslation. That's probably meant to say something else. I don't know what's going on. Typical boss don't know what's going on. Man doesn't have a clue, I swear to God. No wonder there was a sequel. Snake was probably pissed at Big Boss for <laughs> for giving him shit directions. Dude, I swear to God, something's off. It's the translations, obviously. All right, so we're getting the, the, we've been here before, I know. Let me catch up with you guys. I'm falling behind. Big Boss pees you off for his ineptness. I take it, I bet you wish you could kick his ass. I, I hate him. I don't like Diane either. Where's Diane? Diane's probably a double agent working for the other side, more than likely. Let's try and call Diane, speak of the devil. Let's see if Diane will respond to me for just once in my life here in this game. This is Steve. Diane, oh, Diane is in the shout. I'm going to find Diane and Steve and shoot both of them. That's what I'm going to do. That is exactly what I'm going to do. It's the most useless character I've ever seen in a video game. Don't spam Rob. What's up, man? Those are probably fast travel. Yeah, I know how the trucks work, but Big Boss was telling me to get in the trucks, and they're going nowhere. <laughs> Welcome in, man. Don't spam Rob. Good to have you here. Let me grab my notes here on what truck takes you where, because now I'm in the wrong spot. This is going to go back to the beginning, by the way. We have no choice but to do this. Still can't remember what Diana is supposed to do. Who cares at this point? Shoot her if I can find her. Mattel gear? Yeah, what is this, Tonka? Yeah. This game, my man, is crazy. I'm feeling it, dude. I'm feeling the craziness. All right, let's get back to where we were. Screw Tonka. Pigeon Fish, what's up? How you doing today? Big Boss is probably in the chat right now laughing his ass off at me. <laughs> he doesn't know what the hell he's doing. No, Big Boss, you don't know what the hell you're doing. All right, let's use rations to get my health back, because obviously I'm in the wrong spot again. <sighs> so sick of freaking Big Boss. Sick of Diane, too, and Steve. I don't even know who those people are, what their purpose they serve. Big Boss is Big Mac, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> it's the mission live or a repeat. It's feeling like a repeat right now. All right, do you know what? Big Boss here, get in the truck over on the right. Screw you! No! We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I have not made it into this building yet at all. All right, so we're going to use all our crap and see if we can get in here. We have a bunch of key cards. All right, no. I tried to get in this building earlier. Nothing happened. Surely we have the right key card for it now. I don't even know where we are. All right, nope. And to cut back on greasy foods, had Popeye's for lunch today and feel like hot buttered ass right now. I, I, I'm sorry. You shouldn't have done that, Pigeon. You brought that upon yourself. See, I don't feel that way. I had some scrambled eggs and grits earlier. I had a nice, healthy breakfast. Also a bowl of grapes. We don't have the right key card. Do we? Oh, we do! We absolutely do. All right. All right, well, I'm in a new place. I, I don't know where we are. All right, we're getting a phone call. Oh, boy, more big boss shit. Go through the door on the left. Over. All right. Go through the door on the left, okay? 
All right, this is a new building. I don't know where we are, so let's start a new sheet of paper once again. New sheet of paper. I don't know where we are, but I'm going to start mapping it just in case. All right. All right. Card five. I have no idea where we are, by the way. None whatsoever. Card four. No. Grits are great if you've never had them. Bologna and cheese sandwich. I like those. A lot of calories, though. Telling you to get in the truck so it can be a repeat. Exactly, right? Exactly. What? God, big boss! Oh, I forgot to tell you, there's a hole in there! I am so sick of this big boss character right now. I'm sick of him. That's twice in a row he screwed me over! Now I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be. I don't even remember I'm so mad at big boss. Where are we trying to go? Where even was that? I don't even remember. <laughs> Ah! Why is it gotta be like this? Things were going good! God, big boss is worse than the enemies I'm fighting. <laughs> Dude has it out for me, I swear. Alright, here we go again. Alright, so maybe I'm supposed to go in that room but just avoid the stupid pit trap. Alright, we're back to where we were. Alright, that's big boss calling, telling me to get in the truck. Big Boss here, I forgot to tell you, if you die and hit continue, it's both live and a repeat. Well, screw you. I wish I could actually respond. I would have nothing nice to say. Big Boss original name, best we could do, boss. <laughs> You're right! You're absolutely right! Alright. What key was it? One... Even close to it! I was not anywhere close to it! And it still killed me from like five feet away! This is getting extremely stupid right now. Extremely stupid. I've got to explore that room. There's got to be a way to avoid that from happening. There's got to be a way. He wouldn't just tell you to go in there to die. There's got to be something more to this. How did that happen? God, dude, what is happening? I can't make any progress. Because Big Boss is just like become my mortal enemy all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I'm a little bit in disbelief right now of the situation. Okay, I don't care. Just get in the truck. Ren, welcome back. Enjoying your popcorn? Ren, are you really Big Boss? I'm starting to think you might be Big Boss eating popcorn behind the scenes. It's progressing so perfectly. No, it's not, K-Fight. Well, I don't know what's happening. Big Boss here. Forgot to tell you to bring a parachute. Big Boss can kiss my ass. Freaking asshole. Ruining the mission. Where's Diane? <laughs> There's got to be a way to survive this. See, there was a way to survive it. Now it's not even there anymore. <gasps> what? Oh 
my god, dude! This is, m dude. Okay, well now at least I, that scared the crap out of me right there. My heart just jumped. I thought it wasn't gonna trigger from the other side. I guess it does. I guess it triggers from any side. This is ins- Dude, I don't know what to do now. Alright, let's go back in there and look at it again. <laughs> oh, that got clipped! Wonderful! <laughs> it's a big boss! Screw you, big boss! Just freaking screw you, dude! Why you gotta be like this? Solly, what's going on? Solly, why is it gotta be like this? <laughs> Solly, welcome in. I'm being tortured by big boss. I guess so, Vanessa. I don't know what else to say about it right now. I think there's a mistranslation going on here or something. This can't be right. The developers can't be this trolly. I don't think Kojima was involved, no. That's what I was told, that he had nothing to do with this game. I, I'm starting to see why. All right, here we go. It's the Gus Gustav. What's up, Big Boss, right now? Big Boss is probably in the chat. He's laughing his ass off right now. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna fall in another pit, right? Yeah. All right. Empty room. There's gotta be more to it. All right, I'm gonna call Big Boss now that we're actually in this room and see what the asshole's gotta say. I'm in the room. You told me to go in here. There's got to be a reason for it. What's his number? Call him maybe. Big Boss has a new number, 12013. That's the wrong number. It's 113 or something. All right, no. He didn't resp I didn't put the antenna on. Hold up. There's gotta be something going on with this room. It's empty. I found something in the other room. I'm gonna find something in this room. All right, the antenna's on. No response. Great. I went in here, dude. There's nothing here. Where's Diane? Diane doesn't say anything either. All right, Jennifer. Jennifer! Where are you? Nothing. Not a single one of my comrades is helping me here. All right, so we're going to have to look around the room because it's obviously empty. I haven't seen any use for this glove yet. Something going on in this room has a pit? It does, but it's got to be more to it than that. So something to do with the other room as well. All right, I'm going to get hit by that pit again. I know I am. Okay. I can walk under that, right? I can walk under that, right? No! No! That physically is not possible! That is physically not possible! I'm sorry! I was walking underneath it! No! Horseshit! Now I have to go in there again because I didn't get to explore the whole room. I didn't hit the top. This is... Dude, this is freaking jank. This is freaking jank! I take back what I said about this game. This game's now going in jank category. I gotta go in there again! I gotta keep looking around! <laughs> At least we can get back there quickly, but this is just otherworldly trolling right now. That wasn't even physically possible to die in. You can't die that way. You cannot. I was walking underneath the pit. Scale of 1 to Gradius 2. Where is this game now? Nowhere close to Gradius 2. It's going to take something otherworldly to get to the point of Gradius 2. Make sure we'll never trust anything ever again after this game. No, I'm done with trusting things. I I'm done with trusting. Wait a second. It can't be. It all makes sense. This game must have been made by George Lucas. Now it all makes sense, right? <laughs> he was... You know what? Andy! I bet George Lucas is big boss. 
<laughs> That's actually Big Boss. It's George Lucas. I wouldn't be surprised. W would anyone be disappointed? No. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> it was him all along. RMV, what's up? Murig, welcome in. Cisco, welcome in. Die Hard Gamer, what's going on? It's always such a treat to watch Mixer play anything this jank. This is... Uh, things were going so well earlier, Solly. It was going well. And, and now this has got to happen. I'm going in the door again. I, there's got to be more to this than meets the eye. And no, I'm not talking about Transformers. I'm talking about this room. There's got to be something going on in this room. I'm sorry. Turn on the metal detector. Just try something. Nothing. Okay, great. Turn that off. Turn on the glove. Hit the wall. I haven't found a single use for this iron glove yet. Nothing. I already tried. Okay, there's nothing. There's literally nothing in here. And I called all my people. Nothing helped me. All right, so I'm gonna leave the way I. Okay, so there's really nothing in here. All right, well then why did Big Boss tell me to go in here? I don't get it. The ending will remove this from the jank category. We'll see. I'm getting kind of frustrated right now because there's nothing happening. All right, let's let's listen to him again. Big Boss here, go through the door on the... Dude, screw you. You are trying to get me killed now. You are attempt... <gasps> what? Oh my god! Why? Maybe this is the end of the game and it's just really trolly or something. I don't know. We haven't found all the rest of the key cards yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm starting to get concerned about this. How are we going to deal with that? Oh Alright, we're going in there again. Yeah, we haven't found that doctor character either, Lord Awesome. We haven't found that, that Petrovich or whatever his name is. We have not found him yet. All right, key card set. Good freaking Lord, dude. All right. All right, let's try moving over here. So I was obviously in the wrong spot. This is just cruel at this point. This is cruel and unusual. That's okay. I know how to get through it now. We're fine. No, this is not worse than Gradius 2. It's not. Do, trust me. Do, believe me. I've, I've been there. I've been down that evil road. A road I shall never travel again. Never again will I play Gradius 2. Alright. So there's going to be another one in front of the elevator. Go back and do it again. Do it again. We'll get there. We're running into a bit of a setback right here. It's incredible game design, is it not, Solly? It's amazing. It's amazing. This is Dragon Slayer shit. It, it, it is. It is. Dragon Slayer on NES. I haven't played that yet. That That's going to be a future playthrough. I'm running out of bullets, by the way. That might be a problem. 
All right, there's gonna be another one. There's gonna be another one. How are we gonna get past it? Okay. Dude, what? How do you do this? this. There, there's got to be a way. I didn't even touch the thing that time when I died. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we're getting the truck again. That's fine. The truck, the, the, the trap has started to move. <laughs> All right. I, I didn't touch it though. <laughs> My toe didn't even touch it. Cookie Fist, what's up, man? Welcome in. Oh my god, dude. How are we gonna do this? I'm, I'm getting concerned. My spirit's not crushed. No, not yet. I'm not done. No, we're doing this. We're doing this. Despite Big Boss's orders and all that other bull crap going on, no, we're doing this. We're doing it. Success is coming. All right, all those guys are dead. All right, I do not know how we're gonna do this. I can't go through on the other side. How in the world, dude? How in the world? Mm -hmm. All right, let's go again. Imagine a kid trying to do this. I know, right, Andy? For kids. How is a freaking... Tw I thought I could beat this game when I was 12. Yeah, right. Lennox, how are you doing today? Snake is allergic to holes. Holes are the major problem here. Not the enemies. Not the maze. How to get through the dang holes. I have to replace my controller after this. I press to the right and they won't move half the time. I'm having a problem with the with the D-pad. Big shock, right? My goodness, I don't know what to do. I'm hoping the end of the game is you get to kill Big Boss. That would be nice, wouldn't it? That'd be great. We're supposed to blow up a mech or something. That's the goal or something. We're supposed to blow up the Metal Gear. All right, how are we going to do this? I don't freaking know. Don't freaking know, dude. We're on the right track, wherever the hell we are. We're on the right track. We're going down. We're going... To, where does this... Where does this elevator lead? It goes down. If you could beat this game when you were a kid, you'd get contacted by... You think so, Link? I don't think many kids beat this, did they? I don't think too many kids beat this one. I know I didn't. I'm not trusting anything at this point, no. We're making some progress now, right? Now I'm scared to death to even move. <laughs> now there's gonna be a pit like everywhere. All right, let's put on my body armor. That surely would protect me from a pit. Rented, I own this game. What a game to own. I did own it as a kid too, but I didn't get very far. I didn't. There's lasers now! Oh my god! All right, well that's new. I thought it was just gonna contact some wimpy soldiers. I guess not. Pew! <laughs> All right, lasers are going pew pew. All right, we got stuff to do though. Wow, that hurts. All right, well, we're gonna try and get in the door. All right, nope. Pew! <laughs> That's a good laser noise, I like it. We're gonna have to use rations and stuff. That's fine, I just gotta try and get in the door. One of these cards will do it. Nope. One of these cards will do it. Not a single one! Wow, we need card eight. Beautiful. Maybe the uniform. Nope. All right, well, that's a dead end. Card one. Card two. Nope. Card three. 
Nope. Nope. This is so dumb having to switch cards like this. A little laser that could, I guess so, right? Oh, we found it, all right. I have located the oxygen tank. Dude, that's what we need for that water. Oh my God, oh my goodness. I know where we're going now. I know where we're going now. Let me find my map of that section. There it is. That would be 4-1 building two. Okay, so that's how we're going to get through the deep water. We could call in Echo as well, Rydia. We could do that. How about Echo? Yeah, he could get it done. Solid Snake obviously cannot. Are oh, we getting a call? What's this, Big Boss? Yep, here we go. Big Boss here. Solid Snake. Operation Intruder N3113 canceled. Repeat canceled. What? Return to base immediately. This is an order. Over. All right, now Big Boss has gone full troll mode at this point. All right, so the entire mission I've been working on, he just wants to cancel it. All right, something's up now. Something's going on. All right, we got the oxygen tank. That's the only thing. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Slow down. Slow the hell down. Wherever the hell this is, this is the bottom floor of where we just were. So there's extra doors down here that... Wait, let me go back. Let me go. I didn't even check that door. I was, I got thrown off course by Big Boss again. All right, we need to check. I forgot to even look at that door. All right, let's see if Big Boss does the same thing again. Canceled! No! No! Return to base. My ass at this point. Rally, what's going on, man? Welcome in. Spoiler, I am the boss. Oh my god. Basically at this point. Big boss here. Snake, look directly into the laser and stand still. This is an order. Solly, he's going to say that next. You see that big square on the ground? Jump in it. Big boss here. Let the guy shoot you. Big boss here. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> right. I don't know what else was I going to say. Dragon Super, what's going on? We've gone too... Galley, we've gone too far into the mission to turn back now. I don't care what Big Boss says. I'm not even taking orders anymore. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Okay. I'm not even taking an order at this point anymore. I'm just doing my own thing. I'm going rogue. Alright, so from this section, there is another door here. And we're going to mark down that there's a door off this that you can't get to. The door on the right of this room we couldn't get in. The bottom room had the oxygen tank. And the top room here had nothing. All right. Or actually, no, it, I don't know what it has yet because we don't have whatever key card we probably need. Key card eight. I don't know what that is. Is Snake holding a black cat? No, he's holding a machine gun or something. I'm going commando. I'm going rogue. I'm doing whatever it takes. And I'm not listening to Big Boss anymore. I'm done with that stuff. I'm done. Now i got to get out of this building without dying. Yeah, right. I'm going Maverick, that's right. I'm going Rogue, whatever it takes. I'm not following any more big boss orders. Only nine years from 40, time flies. You're 31 then? You're like 10 years younger than me, man. <laughs> Enjoy it! I'm 41. I'm 41 years old, yes. Time moving very quickly, too fast. Maybe big boss in chat. Saw the no backseating tag besides speaking code telling you the opposite so they can help you without getting banned. I don't trust him, Sane. I just don't trust the guy. No <gasps> there's another one right there! Dude, there's three in this room! Three! Not two, three! That entire room is a death trap. All right, now I've got to go get rations or something. No, I need ammo. Where the hell's ammo? I gotta go get ammo. My gun's running low, and I need it more. 41, make sure you look 25. I am 41. I'm, I'm, my birthday was this month, but I'm not telling you guys what day, because I don't want attention for it. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be 42. Some way, somehow. I know, it doesn't seem possible. I still feel like I'm freaking 18. There's three of those things. Alpha Maverick, what's going on? Incoherent mass screaming. That's Three is a magic number. Screw three. I hate it. 
my birthday's not today, no. It's not. It's most definitely not. My birthday is in March, but you, you won't know which day, right? I don't want the... I don't want the attention for it. I just want the birthday to come and go like it always does. People on Facebook always wish me a happy birthday. That's a pain in the ass. I don't want that. But where the hell am I? I don't even know where I'm supposed to be. Where is ammo? I'm trying to remember where ammo was. Let me check my notes here. I've got a pile of notes. Alright, uh... Building 2. I think the bottom one actually has ammo right here. Set up right here. It's not good enough. Rally Fro, th Rally, thank you for the resub. Happy birthday, Mixer, kick ass, take names. Many more. I appreciate it. Um, thank you very much, dude. It's not my birthday today, or was it yesterday, or will it be tomorrow? But that's okay. Thank you for the sub, man. I appreciate it. Facebook, there's your first problem. I only got on there to talk to some family and friends. I don't do anything else with it. They bugged me to get on. And I still check it every day and stuff for like a minute or two to see what's going on. And then I move on. I don't do politics or any of that garbage, thankfully. Lemon Squeezy, what's going on, man? Welcome in. 18, I'm 45 and feel like I'm 9. Sage, you're doing way better than me then, man. You're doing way better. Still have hair? Pat Ped, what's going on? You know, in a lot of ways, I wish I didn't have hair. My hair grows really fast, and it's just a pain because I live in Alabama, and it gets hot here. You don't want to have long hair here in Alabama with all this heat and humidity. It's terrible. Just a complete pain to deal with and no fun at all. We need to go to Building 2 and get back in the water. That's the plan here. Get in the water. Should be the plan. I have no missiles either. I have no missiles. That's probably a bad thing. I just stepped on a mine! Ah! Put the metal detector on! Wouldn't the bomb blast suit protect you from a mine? I mean, that protected me from, like, getting pushed backwards for a second. That's all it did. All right, let's put on the uniform. And then we can just walk right past all these guys, because I've got an enemy uniform on. They're like, oh, he's one of us. Oh, gee. That's nice. All right. We're still here, Goten. We're working on it, though. We're look, out, look at my equipment and weapons. I've got all kinds of stuff. I have all these neat things. But we're doing good. Thought the mullet was from the state bird of was the state bird of Alabama. It might as well be. Might as well be Tilty. I think the state bird is a yellow hammer or something like that. I don't even know if I've seen one in my life. Not that it matters or anything, right? Go ten, I'm actually having some fun with this, if you can believe it, but it's it's getting very complicated at this point in the game. My D-pad just stopped working there for a second. I'm just gonna have to replace this controller. Having some controller issues. Alright, so what are we doing here? I don't know. Oh yeah, we're putting on the uh, the oxygen tank. Can I go in the deep water now? I can. Alright, so great. You know what we have here? Solid snake. Can't even swim in deep water. Just like Ryu Hayabusa, Simon Belmont. All these other video game heroic characters that can't function in the water. Alright, so I've definitely not been here yet. Alabama State Bird? Yeah, that's probably it too. The State Bird of Alabama's Free Bird. Well, I, I think it's the Yellow Hammer, but I, you guys can go with that. Our State Bird is the Middle Finger. <laughs> I don't want a State Bird. Why is that even a thing? I don't want it. Just move on. State Bird. Who came up with that crap? Good lord. <laughs> Snake's defense is carrying around a rocket launcher. That's true, and he is in the water. That's true. Maybe I shouldn't beat up on him too much. Are you kidding me? I was just talking about missiles, and I don't have any. I have had missiles since I threw them all at the tank like two hours ago. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, now what? Hmm. Yeah, I could just run across there and like heal myself with rations or something. Maybe I could do that. I'm gonna try and do that.
All right, now can I turn it off? Do you have to hit it with that particular missile? Maybe I just hit it with a rocket now. It'll turn off. Let's try that. I'm great. It doesn't turn off! Now what? Electricity doesn't give a crap about your armor. I had to try. <laughs> I had to try. What am I going to put on? Rubber boots? That might protect me. You know, I put on my flat vest. You never re-upped on missiles. If you die, you'll be closer to where you get missiles. Maybe we won't need to. Oh, we got in here. Oh, boy, we got a call. All right, great. Schneider. Oh, my God, we got a new character actually talking. All right, let me write down his frequency. 20, 2016, okay. I haven't heard from this guy yet. Is he going to be trolly or is he going to be useful? All right, Schneider, what do you got to say? We have unmasked the leader of enemy fortress. It's unbelievable, but the enemy leader is... Ah! All right, well, there went Schneider. Schneider's dead. All right. All right, well... Nice to know you. You know what? The enemy leader's big boss. It's gotta be. Big boss is the actual enemy. I bet he is. After all this trolling bullshit, I'm going with big boss. <laughs> now it all makes sense. That's who I'm going with. All right, now I'm stuck over here with no... Wait, I'm going to put my armor on anyway. I'm going to put a flak jacket on to protect me from the electricity. Alright, what if I go down here and then move over to the right? And get right here. We're going to make it across this. It's gonna be dangerous when I'm gonna do it. All right, we made it. All right, let's put this on. <laughs> it's gotta be freaking big boss. He's trying to, dude. He was legit trying to kill me. Now I get it. Are you kidding me with this? No, they're not. All right, we got key cards. We got key cards. Let's use them. Big boss just murdered Schneider. Well, Schneider, I hardly knew you. The actual leader is Diane, but she's too busy. Someone had to fill in. Diane has been missing in action the entire game. <laughs> I don't know if I missed something with contacting her or what, but I, I've never been able to get in contact with her. Big Boss here, I forgot to tell you about the gas room. Yeah, it's, it's Big Boss. Obviously. He's been trying to kill me the whole... Oh, what is this? I am Coward Duck. You want to try and shoot me? Go right ahead. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? Jennifer here. Coward Duck has card number eight. My brother is in the prison. Be careful not to kill him. If anything happens to my brother, I cannot help you anymore. Okay, don't shoot the hostages. All right. I, I Maybe Jennifer's on my side, right? Oh, of course! Of freaking course! I should have seen that coming a mile away. Where was that? Building 2. Of course. They're... Jesus Christ. Really? Yeah, really, that happened. All right. They're... All right, let's get rations back. God's sake. Diva, welcome in. How you doing today? Bring the swag like nobody can. Don't mean to brag, but I'm about it. Yeah, what? Did you bring some sushi with those hundred bits, Diva? Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> Bringing some sushi with those bits. Thank you so much for the bits. I really appreciate it. How you doing today? Things were going great earlier in this playthrough. Now I'm just getting my life trolled out of me by these pit traps. They're putting them in like the worst possible positions every time. Capitalist, welcome in. How you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good one. How's Metal Gearing going? Not not very well right now. 
because there's an abnormal amount of trolling happening, just otherworldly amounts of trolling, but we're slowly getting there. At least there's not a penalty for dying. Well, you do get kind of sent back. You do a walk of shame to get back to where you were, but I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be worse. What Jennifer said was true, by the way. Make sure if you kill the hostage, Jennifer no longer responds to you in the game. Okay, if, I, if that was Diane, I wouldn't care because she hasn't responded to me yet anyway. <laughs> so it wouldn't matter. Yeah, the death counter, it's probably about 20 or so, I would guess, Solly. Right around there. Capitalist, hoping you're having a good day as well, man. We're, we're making some progress here and there. It's, it's slowed down quite a bit with this section. So I don't know what's going on. Don't equip that. I don't want to use rockets. I wanted to use handgun. Freaking blowing chunks of people all over the room. Just shot a guy with a RPG point blank. Deathless run ended very early. Yeah, right at the start of the game. I couldn't even like get to the first building. All right, let's equip the uh, oxygen tank and get into it. Death counter update. Yeah, it's, I would say it's roughly around 20 if I had to make a guess. All right, Solid Snake is swimming in the water because he can't swim in deep water. What kind of special ops dude is this? Not a very good one. I'll try the MSX version one day. It'll be fun to compare it to this one and see all the great differences and all that stuff. I'm kind of looking forward to that. You re-up your missiles? No, I'm just going to face tank across the electricity again. I forgot to get the missiles. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops! All right, back to it again. There's a pit trap in the room with Coward Duck or whatever his name is. All right, so yeah, I, I just face tanked across the uh, electricity. We can do that again. Yeah, I just ran over the floor. Just like that. Yeah, it doesn't hurt you that bad. I got a lot of help. Might add a few hundred more deaths for the death mixer felt inside from Big Boss's shenanigans. I'm 100% convinced Big Boss is the guy behind everything now after what I've seen. What if I just walk over there and shoot him in the face? What if I just do that? What if I walk in between the hostages in the trap and just go shoot him point blank in the face? I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, well there went coward duck. That was a close call. That was a close call. I am Jennifer's brother. When you make your getaway, take the elevator to the left. Sounds like important information. Let's write that down. Make your getaway, elevator to the left. I'm writing that down. Just in case, in case there's like a puzzle or a trap or something. I'm gonna make sure we know. All right, well, we lost, uh, Coward Duck went down. That was a close call. All right, well, there's key card number eight. That's not going to kill me, is it? It better not. I have located card number eight, okay? We have found card eight. All right, now we got to get the hell out of here and get back to where we're supposed to be. Which is, I don't know where. <laughs> I have no idea where to go now. Oh, actually, I do. But I don't like it. I think it's a terrible thing. We are making progress. We definitely are. All right, let's get out of here. Why would there be a trap? I'm so paranoid of traps now, Solly. It's crazy. I'm just flat scared. Howard the Duck sure is mean in this. I remember Howard the Duck. That was such a dumb movie, was it not? so dumb. Leah Thompson was in it. That was the only good thing. How goes this hellhole? It's going pretty dang well, Diva, despite all the terrible things that have happened. Progress is happening. I'm not using any guides or maps or anything like that. I've drawn my own maps out and it's worked pretty well. I am kind of used to playing cryptic games in a lot of ways, though, growing up playing Zelda 2 and Final Fantasy 1 and things like that, so I, I kind of know what to expect from certain things. So I guess it could be going worse. Heading to the break room to get some more coffee falls into a death pit. Yeah, keep, watch your step, right? 
Figures had to use grenades on Duck, but yet going up there and shooting him works. Oh, was that not even the right strategy? <laughs> was that the wrong strategy? I bet I was probably something I did wrong there, but it ended up working out. Some way, somehow, Howard the Duck can do no wrong because of Leah Thompson, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, I'm, I can go with that. I can go with that 100%. But it's not going too badly, D.Va. This is way further into the game than I've ever seen before, I can tell you that much. Alright, we're back outside again. At least we're here, right? Alright, don't have to worry about those guys. Oh, I'm stepping on mines, for goodness sake. Alright, who cares? I'm almost back to the, uh, the rations are in the back of the truck right here. I could get I should probably get missiles. <laughs> I keep skipping out on getting missiles. I don't even remember where they were. They're somewhere in building one. I probably would be a decent idea to go get some, just in case. Because I'm probably there's probably gonna be more electrified floor at some point at some time. Inventory looks full. Yeah, nub starts going pretty good, man. I can't complain. The truck has started to move. Perfect emote for that, right? Who's driving the truck anyway? That guy from that emote right there? Obviously, right? Well, okay, let me look at my notes here and see if I can figure out where missiles were. That might be a good idea to go get some while we have an opportunity to do so. Alright, I have missiles on floor three of building one. Okay, we're gonna go get some because I think I can go in right here. Mixer's getting a call from Big Boss. He wants me to come into a room. Should I? Yeah, go right into the room. Totally trust him. Totally trust him. I've had enough of this Big Boss guy. I've, I'm done with him. We're going to the elevator. Those guys aren't going to catch me. Nice job looping all the way around the room. This Big Boss forgot to tell you, missiles are gone forever. You know what? That means missiles are right where I need them to be. I'm pretty sure. I have my map showing me where missiles are, and they're going to be there, no matter what Big Boss says. I haven't played the NES port. It's kind of weird, I guess, playing this one. Strange? I've never played the MSX one. Is this where I need to be? I might be in the wrong spot again. Let me check, check my notes here. Alright, missiles. Ammo. Might be in the wrong spot again. I think there's a room with poison gas coming up as well. All right, what's this? All right, there's ammo. That's good. Make sure we have plenty of that. All right. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to go through the poison gas room, but that's okay. Big, Bo Big Boss said it was safe to enter a chicken coop. We should trust him. Nope. Nope, whatever Big Boss says, I'm doing the opposite at this point. He said in the mission, I swear to God. He said that earlier, mission canceled. Okay, yeah, here we go with the gas mask. All right, yeah, this is where he warns you after you're already in the room. Big Boss, bur no, bird is not the word, no. Big Boss is probably a freaking bird. All right, card two, I don't remember which card it was to get through the door. Card one. Yes, okay, the missiles are around here somewhere. In fact, that they're in the this room right here, according to my map. My map better not be wrong. All right, missiles? Yes, sir, missiles. See, that's why we take notes. Big Boss says you keep playing the video game. I can't turn it off now, Raku. Look how close we are. Look at our equipment. We have to be near the end of the game. We have to be. He would never say that anyway, right? That's a trap. wonder how many missiles we can hold now. I've got 15. I'm going to equip missiles just to see how many we're getting. This has actually been an interesting playthrough. It, it, it's kind of getting me thinking that maybe I shouldn't have given up on every Metal Gear game since this one ever came out, but I had such a bad time with this one. It was just otherworldly, but oh, you can only hold 20? Alright, well, that's not very many. Alright, well, that's what we have to work with. Let's go back. Alright, right back into the gas. I like how Big Boss doesn't tell you until you're actually in the room. That's absurd. One stream to beat this game. Well, we're not done yet, though. We're not done yet. 
not done with it yet. Let me look through my notes. Okay, there, there is one other building that I have notes for. Wait, let me find where that was. I have no idea where that was. This was or, okay, right here. Alright, this was the building I was imprisoned in, but, but, I don't know how to get back to that because it was at the end of a maze. And I have no idea how to do that maze. I don't even know if that's even... I, oh my god, I forgot the gas mask. Turn it off! The capture building, yeah, I don't know how to get back to that. I don't even remember where that was. I'm gonna have to look into that. V-Dig, what's going on? OG Metal Gear is awesome. NES Metal Gear is quite weird, but still cool. Snake's Revenge is ridiculous. Snake's Revenge is on NES as well, right? V-Dig, how you doing today? Welcome in. Big Ball says you can drink sweet tea now. He changed the recipe, so it's delicious. That sounds like something he would say. It does. That's a big boss quote if I ever heard one trying to get me to drink sweet tea. Think big boss is doing trolling. You need to see the final area of Metal Gear Solid 2 and the codec messages. Now that's some trolling. I don't know if you could be worse than what big boss is doing right now. I just wasted a missile, by the way. That's terrible. Go through the Lost Woods by the tank area. It's, yeah, it's in that area, but I don't know how to get through it. I guess I can try and take some stabs at it. Maybe Diane will tell us how to get through it. Maybe that's what we're missing out on this whole time is Diane. Snake's Revenge is on the NES. Okay, I never played it. Well, I probably ignored it on purpose because I was like, Oh, more Metal Gear? Nah, I'm good. Good, we don't need that. Big Boss here. I forgot to tell you, calories are fake news. You can eat as many cookies as you want. More Big Boss bullshit, right? More of that. There's never an ending to that. All right, this is... All right, how many rations do we have? Well, okay, we're gonna use one here. Rations are no longer allowed, only sweet tea. Well, I'm dead then. I'm dead. If I have to drink sweet tea, I'm just gonna die. Raiden was the ultimate trolling in Metal Gear Solid 2. Oh, is that one of your guys that's supposed to be on your team that turns on you? I feel like that's what Big Boss has done here. He's gotta be against me. Preserve your sa ra rations, use a ranch dressing. I think I'm good. God damn, mines. Metal Gear Solid Snake is just far superior. Okay. Far superior. Should I start taking notes on this now? I guess I should. I don't even know where we are. I have no clue. Big Boss, never mind. You have some waffles, too. Screw your waffles. I don't want them. Sweet tea is just lethal. That's basically poison. When we were playing Faxanadu the other day, last week I was like, yeah, when you touch poison, I was like, no, that's sweet tea. That ain't poison a sweet tea that's what that is you can technically beat the game right now by exploding glitch that works you to the final boss completing the legit way the developers intend you to have a little more ways to go all right yeah well we're gonna figure out the real way to do it i'm not surprised there's a glitch though this this game is a bit weird the way it does stuff i'm not i'm not even 100 percent sure big boss is the is the real thing i don't even know Maybe that's Diane. Maybe Diane is Big Boss. I don't know yet. and We're not getting anywhere with this. I can tell you that much. All right, let's try calling for help here. Maybe Big Boss will... No, Big Boss surely won't help me in the maze. He'll tell me, oh, Northwest, Southwest. <laughs> that's what's going to happen here. All right, let's uh, put the antenna on and make some calls and hope for the best with this. All right, antenna, put that on, put on transceiver. It's called Big Boss for what that's worth. All right, this is Solid Snake. Respond, please. Nothing. All right, Diane. Nothing. Jennifer. Nothing. Awesome! Who gave you Diane's frequency? Did Big... Did Big Boss give me Diane? You know what? Diane's not even a real person. I'm starting to think that. All right, now I'm worried about this. All right, here's my plan. We're going to go each direction once. <laughs> and then go to the left. That's my plan. All right, up, up. Oh, wait, that restarts it, though. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, we went up. Up right, up left, down right. Let's try down left. And then I'll go left and see if that finishes it. That's going down each path once. That's my first thought. 
Frisky, what's going on? Welcome in. How you doing today? Such sweet thunder. Welcome in. That was wrong, by the way. That was, of course, it was wrong. All right. So no life says there's nothing in the game that tells you how to get through this. Th why? Why would they do that? Okay, let me ask you guys this. How complicated is this maze? Would I have any chance of figuring out this maze on my own? Or would we be here for the next 10 hours? Let me ask that question. Because I'm sure you guys are looking this up right now about how to get through this. Because I have no idea. There's nothing... I was hoping we would find out by this point. If only there was some way to help you find your way. It's not complicated. Apparently they added this maze in the NES with the fact they didn't add any dialogue for it. After the fact, and they didn't add any dialogue. So it's not that complicated? It looks complicated. There's freaking six directions! There's six freaking directions! What can I do? Start, start guessing at it? Like, okay, up two, down three, down one, left, right. What are the odds I'm actually going to get through this? It doesn't seem possible. Unless it's just, like, not very complicated at all. I did contact Big Boss. He ignored me. He probably just said Northwest, Southwest anyway. Haha, <laughs> I play in some Zelda. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B8 start is worth a shot. <laughs> up, up. Down. Down. Left. <laughs> I'm doing the Konami code. Left, right. B, A start. That's not going to do it. Now let's go. That's not going to be it. This is awful. This is awful. I tried the Konami code. It doesn't work. Yeah, you never go right. Okay, so right goes back to the truck. I don't really want to look the answer up to this. Oh, I didn't hit select. Yeah, player two can't jump in. Sorry about that, Frisky. How could they put that in, this in the game and not tell you? How could they do this? This is insane. I don't know where else to go, though. It seems like this is the next logical step. Because, see, I was in that building before where they imprisoned me when I got arrested. There was another door. I've got it written down right here. See that little pink slash I made? There's a square in the middle of that room. That's where I came out of jail. That little pink door right there, that I could not get in. I tried everything I had, I couldn't do it. So I'm assuming I might be able to get in there now, but I don't know how to get back to where th that was because we're in a maze. It's not that complicated, but you'd still be guessing. Let me see if I can work through it for a little bit and see if I can have a... if maybe I can get it. How many, like, total... Let me ask this. How many total moves is it to get to the left? Maybe I can just ask for a small hint here instead of, like, telling me directly. You don't go right and you don't go back backtracks. So there's only three ways to go. Okay, so if you choose a direction... No, it's not the same maze as Legend of Zelda. It's only four? Only four? Interesting. I might be able to figure it out on my own then, if that's all it is. This was added as an afterthought of the NES port and wasn't the MS MSX version. There is no answer. However, it's not all that complicated. If you need to know, let us know. Okay. So you don't backtrack any. Let's t toss out a couple of possibilities here. I wonder if it's just left four times. <laughs> I wonder if it's that simple. That it, that wouldn't make sense. I'm going to try that. If it was actually that simple. Mm, 
No. Okay, well, it was worth a try. I had to get the simple out of the way first. Only four. You don't go right, you don't backtrack. Only three ways to go. Maybe I didn't manage the guest to call Diane when I was a kid, but I did solve the maze. Okay, if it's only four directions, I might be able to do this. I mean, I've, I've done tricky stuff before, but... Hmm... I'm going to start writing down, like, the different ways I take. All right, let's try left. Left, down, right. Okay, I came from that way. Let's try up. And then finish by going left. I'm assuming the... Yeah, see, when I was in the building before, I came from this left side right here where I'm at. I came from this way. So this is going to be the last move. Alright, so that was obviously not right. Alright, let's try... Down... Or down right, up left. Up left. Left. Okay, no, that's not going to be it either. All right, what if we go left? Down left, or down right. Down again, and then left. Okay, this is three different paths I've tried now. In the effort time, do you want the first move? It's, yes, it might be yes, it might be 256 possibilities. There's still going to be a lot of different moves to make here. Oh, no. Oh, that's terrible. Uh-oh. <laughs> the fourth move is going to be left. I do know that for a fact. It's the other three moves and where to, what to do with that. It would make, since the building is to the left, I'm wondering if the first move is to the left as well. That would kind of fit the theme of what we're looking at here. It's moving to the left once to start with. I did try that once before, though. All right, we went left. All right, let's try left, down, left. Left again. And then left again. I get the feeling that... Like, it might start with left. I don't know. Simply because the building is that way. It's not up. It's not down. 64 possibilities. 36. Who knows? <laughs> who knows at this point? Oh, my God. All right. Okay, I've, I put in four different solutions so far. We might be able to narrow it down. We might be able to do that just by doing that. I like that. Okay, let's go left. Okay, which have I not tried yet? Alright, let's go left again. I haven't tried this. Left, left. Down, right. And then left again. Okay, that didn't work. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, this might be a pain, though. All right, let's start with left again. My goodness, this could really be a problem, though. All right, left. Or I could go left, left, and then, like, work through the others or something. Left, left. Upper right. And left again, because left should be the fourth move every single time. No. Okay. No. Hmm. All right. Actually, no. What if you have to... All right. That... Actually, that didn't work because I was on the wrong... I had started wrong. All right. Let me... All right. Let's start over. There's, so there's eight... Okay. I've seen every number like... All right, left, left. Let's start with the last one I had. I, I'm not even sure if I was even doing that right. Left, left, upper right. This is the last one I tried, but I don't think I did it right because I went down the wrong path to begin with. All right. 
This is just gonna be an absolute nightmare. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute, dude! How? What? What was that? I don't even remember which path that was! What was that? Oh no, I forgot! I can look at the VOD to see what it was. Left, left, upper, left, and left. Okay. Left. Left, left, upper, right. Okay. Let me... Dude, how in the hell did... <laughs> if I die, I can go through it again, though. Alright, how do you... What card got us through here? I can't believe that happened. Big Boss is probably shitting his pants right now. He's like, how the how did he do that? <laughs> I don't know how I did that. Holy freaking god! All right, I only wrote down a couple of I only wrote down like a couple of directions here. These are the ones I tried. Yeah, I know it looks like chicken scratch. I get it, but we got through it, and that's what matters. I was gonna go through the whole list of possibilities, but we nailed it fairly early. All right, here we go. I, I we are deep into this frisky. I don't know how much further to go. I don't know. All right, this is where we kill that shotgun guy or machine gunner or whoever it was right here. Big Boss here. Why did you found the door? <laughs> Big Boss is pissed now. He's pissed. Thank you, Proto. We're we're on the right track now. Stuck him in the middle of the farce and gave him no information, and he still <laughs> made it. I know. He's like, who the hell is this guy? Who that? Oh, we're in the new. We're in a new place. We're in a new place. This is new. All right, let's, I'm gonna start adding on to my old map. Yeah, see, th I haven't been here yet. This is my next idea was to go to this place. Also, the game doesn't tell you, but if you kill a POW, you lose a rank, can't complete the game. It's just silent, soft lots you and let you suffer. Are you kidding me, dude? That is ungodly cruel. That is ungodly cruel. You gotta be kidding me with that. Nothing. All right, let's call all my people. Jennifer doesn't respond. Not I'm Diane's just a troll number at this point. I think. All right, and Big Boss. I'm sure he's not gonna respond either. No, I'm kind of on my own here. All right, that's fine. I like being on my own. I do not trust this room. I'm sorry, I've been down this road a couple of times. I KNEW IT! I trust my instincts now. I don't trust anything. I don't trust anything anymore. What if I... Oh, it's gone? Oh, it's gone. Well, that's weird. Oh, it's gone, all right. <laughs> all right, that was a big boss trick, obviously. Witch, what's going on? Welcome in. It's still there. Okay, it's not gone. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Why? Okay, so it turns invisible? <laughs> Alright, let's go back to where we were. <laughs> Why? If you pause, you can stop. <sighs> Dude, this is insane. We got to go back to where we were. Where was that? It was in the maze. I've got it written down. We can go back. The truck has started to move. Which, how are you doing today? Welcome in. <laughs> no one makes me bleed my own blood. I'm going to bleed my own blood if this game doesn't start being nicer to me because this is insane. 
All right, where am I trying? I don't even remember where I was trying to get to now. We were at the maze or something. God, these traps suck. I'm doing good, witch. I'm getting exhausted with these stupid traps, though. They're, they're the worst part of the game. All right, so now we're back. The truck, yep, yeah, we're moving the truck again. Who the hell's driving the damn thing? Well, let me guess. Big boss. Right, yeah. Or George Lucas is driving the truck. All right, let's go left. Let's go left again. Then we're going to go up or right, and then left again. That was... I can't believe I got through that quick. I can't believe... That was just a freaking miracle. And that was just miracle work right there. All right, and it works just fine. That is the path. I can't believe they don't tell you that in the game. That's really dumb. That is incredibly dumb. I don't remember what card it was. Come on, Kyle. Got to save Sarah Connor. I know, right? I know, that's totally Kyle. They just ripped that straight out of Terminator. It's so ridiculous. Steve Lucas, George Lucas's alter ego. Yeah, Steve, yeah. Oh, Diane's in the shower. Diane's not even a real resistance fighter, I'm pretty sure at this point, since this big boss gave us a number. I don't know, did he give me Jennifer's number? Jennifer actually did something useful. Was that that Schneider guy that got killed? I don't know. All right, so we're going this way again. We have an empty room to explore again because there's a trap in the middle of the room. I don't trust empty rooms. I don't. I, I played too many games to trust empty rooms. There's got to be something. At least I stole from a good movie. That's true. That's true. I like Terminator One and Two. I think they're both good. All right, into this again. All right, there's going to be a pit. What is the purpose of this though? There's got to be something to it. They wouldn't just have another empty room doing nothing. This D-pad's garbage. See, there, you can't just assume the room is empty without checking it out. Is this enough? This goddamn better not be another trap. This had not... Who the hell even is this? like a woman. This is a trap. It's gotta be. Oh, thank you. I'm Dr. Petrovich's daughter. What? Where's the freaking doctor? My father was blackmailed into creating the awful Metal Gear. Please help my father before it's too late. Alright, well that's great. Where the hell is he? <laughs> Where is he? Enters a big room in Dark Souls. Here we go. I would just immediately turn it off, Diva, if that was me in Dark Souls. All right, so that actually wasn't a trap. I didn't, wasn't told about a daughter. Nice instincts. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't trust empty rooms. I just don't. I just don't trust an empty room. You see, I played Zelda 2, the, Zelda 1, the second quest. Empty rooms, you actually walk through the wall. So yeah, there's usually that. No, I'm not going to punch Ellen. I'm not going to risk causing a problem here. Nurse, what's going on? How you doing today? Yeah, I bet you get a free life. I bet. Remember watching Terminator as a kid? Didn't see anything other than the end near during the climax where he's hunting them down. When he goes into the police station, which that's when Arnold goes to the police station, that's a shocking scene for a kid to see. Just murders like, oh my god. Just murders like 20 police officers in cold blood or something. It was shocking. Alright, well we haven't been up here. I'm going to keep adding to the map here, by the way. I'm going to continue to add to the map. Because I don't really know where we're going. Dark Souls doesn't open a pit. It trolls you by having a well-hidden zombie pop out and push you over a pit. Fun. Fun times. I jet Metal Gear existing allowed me to have a robot on robot action in the sixth main game of the series. Not counting offshoots, updates, and ports. Robot on robot. Mm. Maybe I shouldn't ask. Maybe I shouldn't ask. Me either, which it was shocking, even looking back on it. Whenever I see the phrase the plot thickens, my brain immediately turns it into the plot chickens. Plop chickens. My brain is kind of broken. I, now I'll probably think that way. Another lucky play if you found the doctor first. He refused to help you save his daughter. Well, I, I, I just got to keep rolling with what I'm doing here. Got, 
What the hell is this? I can't see! I'm dead! What? What is this? What just happened, dude? Yeah, I'm really lucky, all right? All right, well, not so lucky after all, right? Think of the first movie more of a scary movie? Kind of, if you look at it that way. This is kind of like a scary movie, too. <laughs> I blame Big Boss as well. All right, I can't see in there. Wait, let me look at the manual. Is there a flashlight in the manual? There is. Used to see underground passages. Oh, I don't have a flashlight. Where the hell do you get that? I have no idea. Okay, so we're missing an important item for exploring that area. This is what I'm looking at. If you guys are wondering what the heck I'm looking at, I'm looking at that. Okay, so great. Now there's a flashlight we need to find. Where the hell is that? And where do I even begin to look for it? I have no idea. Let me check my notes, see if I've got anything written down that might get us back on track. Nothing there. There's traps in a dark room. See, obviously I'm going to need a flashlight to get through that. I don't really know what to do now. Is there anywhere else I could go? There's another maze. <laughs> I've got another maze written down. I've got a maze written down near the scorpions. Where the hell was that? <laughs> oh my god, there's another maze and I don't know where it is. Nurse, I hope you're having a Hey, man. Oh, no. Where the heck was that? We got to start looking around, I guess. But I do have a note written down here that there's another maze. I did see one earlier in the game. I don't remember exactly where it is. Oh, my goodness. There's more than one maze. Yep, no life. We got to find it. I don't know where it is. All right, what's this? Plastic explosives. Those don't do anything. How many do we have? Twelve. I don't have a maximum amount. Might as well pick them up while we're here. All right, plastic explosives. I have no idea. Probably gonna be another boss or something we need for that. All right, let's do that. Save state for just in case. Oh, in case the power goes out or something, probably be a good idea. Probably be a smart idea. All right, plastic explosives. I, what other weapons do I need? Do I need to go farm some other weapons while we're at it? We, we're in pretty good shape. Oh, I need mines. What if we need mines again? <laughs> we might need them! I don't know! We might not or we might need them. Because, see, I ended up needing missiles again. So we might need mines again. I'm going to go get them. They're, like, in here. Big boss here. This game is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> amazing. All right. Going to get mines. Cyborg. What's, yeah, we're going for mines. Oh, I didn't want to use that! All right, the plastic explosives blew the guy up. That's kind of neat. All right, but I didn't want to waste it, so now we're going to have to go farm another one. Big Boss here. Don't forget to farm weapons. Big Boss would not tell me anything useful. I don't trust anything about that. All right, I think mines were over here. Let me check my map. I've got, I've got a lot of stuff written down here on these multiple maps I've made. That's deep water. We're done with that part, I think. All right, elevator. No. Got a map of every floor in the game. That's a roof, no. Mines, there! Floor one, building one. Mines are, like, right here. I should just check. There's mines. Oh, of course, they're just right there. Okay. We're getting there. Use a super scope. I had a super scope. It wasn't all that bad. There wasn't much support for the Super Scope, but I did have one. The best game on Super Scope was Mole Patrol. Where's the bathroom? I don't know, but I gotta go pretty soon myself. I gotta go! And we've been playing this for almost six hours. I haven't taken a single break yet. Once we get to the maze, I might take a super short bathroom break for like a couple of minutes. We're this deep into it. We gotta just keep going, right? We can't turn it off at this point. We're pretty much in it to win it. Pretty much. There's no sense in getting a password and going to do it tomorrow. I'm just going to keep streaming until the, the deed is done, right? Just keep going. All right, let's get the plastic explosive back. I'm going to use a ration. We're going to get the health back. Think of my bladder. My bladder can my bladder can just screw right off. I got bigger fish to fry. We're playing Metal Gear, right? P 
PR, welcome in. PR 101, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Good to have you here, man. Great spot. Take five if you need it. All right, once I find the maze, we'll do that, K-Fight. We'll take a short break and then start working on the maze and hope for the best. Yeah, that could happen, which I probably should go to the bathroom more than I do. I get caught up in these games, and I have a good time. I don't want to stop. I'm not a very good person to take breaks on practically anything. I, I just hate taking a break. Look at that inventory. I know, right? It's looking good. Looking good. We got all kinds of useful items, except for this glove thing. It doesn't seem to do anything. Goggles. I haven't done any. Oh, I wonder if goggles would have worked in the dark. I didn't think about that. Been lurking back in, back in it to win it. We're going to win it, man. Only a matter of time. Sir, you better take care of yourself. I'm terrible at that, Wolfmaster. You know that. I'm not taking a break. Good Lord. Break. <laughs> break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. No, don't do that. That thing's... Those are awful for you. Really can't hold it for a while. I, I held it for 11 hours one time. Remember when we were playing Super R-Type? <laughs> you guys remember that Super R-Type stream that lasted 12 hours? I didn't take a break till 11 hours in. That was a horrifyingly bad idea, but that's what that's what happened. That's how it went. Mixer hates breaks, but loves Gradius too. Okay, Big Boss. Change your name Cruddas to Little Big Boss or Big Boss Cruddas or something, because that would fit really well with, with you right now. That's your new name I picked for you. Kojima would want you to go to the bathroom and stop playing this butcher port he hates. Well, he might be in chat right now. Would that not be awesome if he was here in chat thinking, why is this idiot playing this game? This game sucks. <laughs> He's probably right here. Big Boss here. If you don't take breaks, don't break up with me. Screw you, Big Boss. Yeah, break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. You remember that, Diva? Here we are at the maze. <laughs> here we are! We're here! Oh boy! Happy fun maze again. Malty, welcome in. How's it going, man? We found maze number two. Let me make some room here so I can start writing down possible solutions to maze number two. I wonder how complicated this one is. Yeah, I'm going to take a super... I'm going to get and do like a two or three minute break, just enough to go to the bathroom real quick and grab a super quick drink, and then we'll be right back into the maze. So yeah, give me like two or three, and we'll start working on it. Oh boy, how close are we? we got to be near the end, right? Got to be. What a, what a long stream, but we're getting there. Be right back. Yeah, I'm anticipating something bad to happen here. <laughs> All right, watch out for the deadly balloons. Okay, I'm going to try and get the wall meat this time. Apparently, they want you to, to do this. <laughs> It'll happen one day. One no, you idiot bear! Why are you on a skateboard? Oh, crap. Yes. No, what? Keep moving. I don't know what this item does. I guess it kills everything on the screen. God, Jesus, I hate this game. Fish. Fish. Freaking idiotic fish. I'm stuck. I cannot move. I can't move the horse! The horse! God. Oh my God, it's not that bad once you know how it what? Oh, what? What? <laughs> no. I've done.
that before without dying. Billy's gonna get annihilated too. Okay, that's bad. Uh oh. What just happened? Uh oh. Where's Billy? <laughs> what happened to Billy? He's gone. Oh no. Welcome to hell. This is the worst video game ever made. I hate this game with a burning passion. What? I activated the penguin. <laughs> Radar lock. It's like Top Gun. Yes, one more or more. Oh God. Oh my god, I locked the missile onto myself! I didn't know you could do that! <laughs> I didn't know you could do that! Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh god! Okay, a human being is supposed to be able to dodge all that stuff? Oh, like I, I just did. <laughs> Oh my god, how did we do that? <laughs> We're not doing any more trash redemptions. I'm done. I'm done. No more of this stuff. I can't handle it anymore. No, bird! God! Ten coins. All right, let's go. Star. Twenty coins. Okay. Twenty coins. <laughs> I was I looked at the chat for half a second and clicked on the wrong one. I, I was just a bunch of people talking about what their kids are flushing down the toilet. I don't care. I want to talk to you guys. That was kind of a cheap shot. What is that going to be? What is this going to be above me? You know what this is going to be above me? They're going to stick a spread up there and they're going to give you a big middle finger. Watch. This is going to be spread. This plan is not going to work, I can tell. He jumped over the red shell?! I I'm shocked. I I'm shocked. This is maybe my most productive stream as far as like accomplishing things. Hard stuff in one day ever. Oh my god. Look at the bird! It doesn't stop! <laughs> as soon as it leaves the screen, it instantly respawns. Wow. Do not hit me. Okay, we're gonna make it through this time, but I think we got kind of lucky. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull all that off again, what we just did. Well, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Alright, where's the dragon? Where's the stinking dragon? I'm supposed to win this fight? This is where things are going to go haywire. This is a very short level, but I mean, they're, they're just asking a lot of you. The, the, the bat! The bat! I couldn't account for that. Jesus. Really? All right, just run at me. All right, let's get into it. Let's finish up. Grab me a quick drink. I stretched, went to the bathroom. The bat? Yeah, the, the bat. <laughs> the bat kicked my ass hard right there. I remember that. I saw that clip real quick. Oh, man. Oh, man, we got a maze to work on. Goodness. We got a maze to do. It's not going to be easy. But we got a maze to work on. <sighs> Alf or Garfield? Uh, Garfield was better than Alf.
I'm surprised there's not an ALF clip in there. I probably need to find one. I'm sure there's a few out there. Did I wash my hands? Of course I did. Of course I did. I'd do that even if Big Boss told me to. I would even do that. Jeff Schmidt, what's up, man? Welcome in. Jay Cox, how's it going, dude? Good to see you guys. Thank you, Wolf. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, opening day baseball is on today. I hope the Braves are winning. They were up 4-2 to two last I saw. So we got a maze to work on. Oh, my goodness. There's more ways to go this time. There's two different ways to the left. All right, so I guess we just start picking. Okay, Braves won their game. Good. That's what I was hoping for. Good start. Love this game's choice for you. Platform, welcome in, man. Hope you're having a good day. We got beat Giants. Giants will be good this year, Cyborg. You guys will have a good team. It'll be good. You'll be up against the Dodgers and the Padres, though. It won't be easy, that's for sure. Won't be easy. Yeah, we're up to another maze. I mean, bad. I'm a Yankees fan. Nothing wrong with that, man. I got nothing against any team. I'm a Braves fan, but I respect all the other teams in the game. I got no problems with any one of them. I'm a cool, casual fan. I don't hate on anyone. It's all good. All right, so the last move is either going to be lower left or upper left. So we have a choice between two, and we have a gift sub going out to Big Boss here. Big Boss just got a sub. All right, well, someone get someone ban Big Boss, please. I don't want Big Boss here in the chat because he's a freaking asshole. I'm an Ace fan that I don't respect them. That's because they got terrible ownership, no life. They might leave the city of Oakland. I hope they don't. I hope not, because I've known the Oakland A's being there my whole life, through the Mark McGuire years and all that stuff with Ricky Henderson and Tony La Russa and all that. I remember those days quite well. You won a World Series back then, too. It was like eight, 1989 or something. During the earthquake. Yankees for life, says Goten. All right, we've got all kinds of fans here, right? Any other Braves fans? I'm a Braves fan, always have been. Got to tell you, I'm a subscriber to your channel. Big Boss shows up. I'm causing some problems. You think Big Boss here was me, but in fact, not me. I don't care who it is. Just get the hell out of here. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Let's go socks. I don't care about baseball. All good. All good. I, I like baseball, but it's a sport I'm very bad at playing. I couldn't throw the ball to accurate to save my life. Couldn't do it. Dale Murphy fan from way back here. I've got his autograph, Malty. I've got a couple of autographs from him. Really nice dude. Such a good one. My parents owned a sports memorabilia store when I was growing up. So I've got, I'm fortunate to own a bunch of really cool things from sports back in the 80s and uh, mostly from the mid 80s and uh, 70s and stuff. I like baseball because I played as a kid, but I can't watch it. It makes me sad. I can't play. I kind of feel that way watching a soccer game now, knowing that I'm a former player and not a real player anymore. It, it makes me very sad because I enjoyed my time back in the day. Big Boss or Alf? Cyborg, good l What kind of choice is that? My God in heaven. Big Boss or Alf? <laughs> Good lord! <laughs> I don't think I can pick! Maybe Big Boss will redeem himself before the game ends. <laughs> Probably not. Been to each baseball stadium since six years ago. I need to go back to Atlanta, Texas and have new stadiums. I haven't even been to the new stadium in Atlanta yet, no life. Believe it or not, I've been to Turner Field a million times, but I haven't been to the new one yet. And it's easier to get to, too. It's right off the interstate, the north part of Atlanta. So much safer and better in its new location. But I haven't been there yet. Got to do that. Big Boss or the Vic Viper? Big Boss, Rydia. Big Boss. Sane, thank you again for the wonderful gift sub to Big Boss. I appreciate it. Big Boss or Dontrell Willis? Dontrell Willis. I'll go with him because the Braves used to beat him up back in the day. Big Boss piloting the Vic Viper. Good. Big Boss will be dead real quick if that happens. Won't be any more Big Boss. <laughs> Anyone pi piloting the Vic Viper is on a suicide mission. Let me give you that much. Genesis Double Dragon or Big Boss? Genesis Double Dragon. It's a port of the arcade game, Kane. It's not that bad. I'm working through some... Um, I'm working through a couple of thingies here. You know what? Can I just start it over if I go to the right here? I think it just starts over. It does. 
Yeah. Or does it? Yeah, this is the maze part here. Okay, let me ask you guys. How many uh, moves is this one? Don't tell me the answer of how to get through it. Tell me how many moves it is. Vic Viper or Big Mac? All right, that might be the worst choice. I'm just not going to answer. Four, okay. WD-40, welcome in. So only four moves, okay. Four moves, hmm. I wonder if it's a dip. See, in the previous one, it was... You went left three different times. So the final path is either going to be upper left, or let me go ahead and write that in. The final path is going to be lower left or upper left is going to be the final one, regardless of the whatever it else it is. Ocarina or Big Boss? Might have to go with Big Boss. <laughs> Might have to do that. K-Fight, that's the worst possible answer right there. Can confirm first and final path is some form of left. That's what I was thinking. But I don't know if this is a new building we have to go through here or if this connects to that other building. I have no idea where, what, like, what we're trying to do. We haven't found Dr. Petrovich or whatever his name is. We're still looking for him. I wonder if going down is a... We have up and down also available on this one. Straight up or straight down. I'm going to assume maybe going backwards at all is not going to be a thing. No game audio. Uh-oh. Whoops, I'm sorry. I apologize. I had it turned off when I went AFK. My bad. Alright, sorry. I was thinking too much about Big Boss. Alright, can you guys hear it now? Does that sound better? Good? Too loud? Too quiet? Up to you. Big Boss threatening you with sweet tea or festering, th Fester threatening you with a turkey? I think I'll go with Fester. That tea, is the sweet tea is just awful. Game audio is good. All right, we're in good shape then. Sorry about that. I apologize. Upper left or lower left? I'm assuming upper right and bottom right, which goes back, is just not going to be a thing at all. I'm trying to think. Okay. So let's try this. Upper left, bottom left, Big Boss or Yo Noid? Yo Noid. Yo Noid's not a good game, but it's probably better than Big Boss at this point. <laughs> upper left, and now lower left. We did like a crisscross pattern. Let's see if that'll do it. Without going up or down at all. Okay, that did not work. Okay. Start it over. Big Boss or Big Bird? I, I will grudgingly take Big Bird. At least Big Bird's a nice dude, right? You can go right to reset the maze. Yeah, I just reset at that time. You know, uh, what if Big Boss was Vic Viper in disguise to get revenge on you this whole time? This Konami, after all? Uh, that's kind of scary to think about. Kind of scary. Boss Hog. I'll go with that guy. Boss Hog was always like, ah, Go get them Duke boys! Gonna get them old stupid old Duke boys. Yeehaw! Yeah, he had that other guy, Roscoe P. Cole Train or whatever, Cyborg. Yeah, I remember watching that as a kid. I remember. I know exactly what you're talking about because I watched it with my grandparents. Yeah, the, them Duke boys, they were always causing problems. Ro that, that guy, yes, yeah, I actually remember that, believe it or not. It's unreal. <laughs> I can't believe I remember that, but I do. I was such a small kid then, but I watched it a lot. What?! I WASN'T EVEN PAYING ATTENTION! I don't know which way I went! I have no idea! I have no idea whatsoever how to get it again. And I'm probably gonna die in here because there's gonna be more pit traps, so I have no idea how to get it. None whatsoever. I wasn't even paying attention. I was laughing about Boss Hog or some shit. I don't remember. <laughs> Cyborg, how did you do that? You, you distracted me with Boss Hog and all of a sudden we got it. This playthrough has been legendary. I, I but, but now I don't know how to get back. If I die, I'm screwed because I have no idea where to start. Okay, I ended up going left on the final move. That's all I remember. Maybe it wasn't all that complicated. I, I don't know. 
I, I have no idea. <laughs> Rotsko helped, right? Yeah. Oh boy, I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. I don't know where we're going or where we're going. I mean, what we're doing or where we're going. Roscoe obviously was the savior for that one, not George Lucas, right? All right, well, we're in here. Oh, boy, a call. <laughs> Let's see what this is. Schneider here. I thought he was dead. This is a gas-filled room up ahead. Over. Oh, look! Schneider's alive again! Maybe I did it out of order or something. I have no idea where we are right now. None whatsoever. So I'm going to have to get a new sheet of paper. And we're going to start mapping it out. Once again, a new sheet of paper. I could just turn it over and do it on the back, I guess. All right, let's start a new map here because I have no idea what we're doing. Rob Schneider, obviously, right? All right, so this second jungle maze, let me look at this real quick so I can like write down what I did. It's probably not all that complicated. All right, I'm not moving. All right, so what did I do? I went upper right. I'm gonna write this down. Upper right. No, I mean upper left, I'm sorry. Upper left. I'm gonna see it again, hold up. I, I gotta make sure I get this right. I'm gonna get it right on the first try. All right, I'm not moving there. All right, so upper left. I am making 100% sure to write this down. I can't believe this even happened. How did that happen? Lower left. Up. Lower left. Oh my god, that's unfreaking believable, dude. That is unfreaking believable. Royal, what's up, man? Welcome in. We're getting there. We just had a stroke of lucky genius or something. I don't know what happened there. I have not a clue what happened. But we're getting there. Adam Sandler is Solid Snake? I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Royal, how you doing today, man? Hope you're having a good day. It should be lower left, upper left, up, lower left. I think I got it, that written down now. Yes, I think I have that now. All right, so if I die, better be lucky than good. I say that a lot. I can't believe... Thank you. Thanks for clipping that. I appreciate it, Link. Oh, here we go. Oh, crap, gas. Uh-oh. Yep, I was wondering about that. Oh, look, this guy warns me about gas before I go in the room. And it's a dead end, by the way. Okay. All right, so it's definitely a dead end. All right, so there's like a little nook here with a door, and I haven't been anywhere else in this room yet, so we're gonna have to go back. I think that was key five or something. Capture building is cryptic as hell. This is, we're deep into it now. We are deep into it. All right, then he's gonna warn, all right, what is this? That was a close call. All right, that's it. All right, that's all we get there? All right, so there's a POW in the door right here. Let's write that down. All right, and there's another door up here in the corner. Is Diane still in the shower? Let's call her. Let's find out, Kane. All right, Schneider's actually... I thought he died. Maybe I did it in reverse or something by complete accident. Who knows? Oh, but I screwed up. Put the transceiver back on. All right, let's talk to Diane. She's freaking useless. That's not even a real person. Like an AI or something. You know, like that. all the AI uh, talk stuff that is coming out. It's That's probably what it is. What happened to our girl Diane? Is she in the shower? I don't know, man. She's missing in action. I have no idea. Not a clue, Grick. Yeah, the only guy that's useful... Well, Jennifer's still around somewhere, I think. Maybe. maybe. She's probably dead, too, at this point. Diane is Snake's real name. Diane's probably Big Boss or something. Alright, where are we here? This is a... 
Wait, I didn't mean to... You can go in that door without a key? Really? All right, well, that was weird. All right, let's uh, add to the map. All right, it's like a split room or something, so we're going to add the line down the middle. Ask Diane to play the strokes. I don't think I should. I don't think I, I don't think it's a real person. I think it's just big boss trolling. I don't need any of this stuff, by the way. We have maximum uh, plastic explosives, don't we? We have 20. Diane is Diane Keaton, obviously. <laughs> yeah, and, and, she, and she's pretty. Uh, she's been doing movies a long time, right? I can't even name one movie. I mean, people lie to you. They do. They just make crap up, right? All right, where is this? Something different. That doctor guy's got to be in this place somewhere. All right, hopefully in here. There's the flashlight. Oh my god, I've located a flashlight. Okay, at least we found that. All right, where else are we gonna go in here? What else are we doing? All right, how does this loop around? that way. Alright, this... How do you get over there? Alright, that doesn't make sense. There's nowhere to get on over... Just, no, you're not going to be able to hit through the wall, obviously. Alright, so there's like half this building I can't even do anything with. I've located an enormous flashlight. At least I got it, Ren. At least we can go back in that uh, that dark room that killed me earlier, right? Maybe it's a social experiment to... To a uh, simulation to show how trustworthy our big bosses are? Yeah, not at all, right? Matt, it's going good. We're in a bit of a cryptic spot here, and I'm not really sure where to go. I'm not really sure. I can't go that way, dude. There's nothing in there. Back to the other maze? I could do that, but... Yeah, we could go back to the other maze, but... How do you get over there? It's got to connect to the other maze somehow, some way. I don't know. Let me check that POW room again. Aw, oh, crap. I forgot what, what key was that. Two? No. Three. It was one of these early keys. There, that one. Okay. I don't want to go back to that maze. I want to see if we can get through it from this side. I don't think you can, though. You're going to have to go back at one point or another, right? And this was five or something. Night Shadow, it's going pretty good, man. It's not going bad. We're making some progress. We're kind of stuck right now. I have one more lead if I can't find anything here. See, I was able to punch through the wall at a spot earlier. See, we found Dr. Petrovich's daughter, what was her name, Ellen or something, by punching through the wall. So maybe we can find something else hidden in this section. I don't know. But it's getting more cryptic. Alright, that's Schneider calling. We already know about that. Metal Gear would have taught a kid's valuable lesson early on. Never trust upper management, right? I just forgot to put the freaking gas mask on. This game being super difficult. It's very cryptic. It's extremely cryptic. I cannot get to this other side. Yo, oh, yes I can! Aha! Trust your instincts. Trust your freaking instincts. There's always more to these dead ends and that see now we're on to something. Now we're on to something. Oh my god, what is this gonna be? Don't be a trap. Do not be a trap. That was a close call. That was it. Oh my god, I was hoping that'd be the freaking doctor. Where is this doctor character? We found a hidden wall. There could be more. We're so close. Dr. Emmett Brown. That, oh my god, gas mask. Dr. Emmett Brown. Great Scott! Not Dr. Dre. Yeah, we'll go with Emmett Brown, right? We'll go with that guy. I like that guy. He's a good dude. Dr. Emmett Brown. That's right. He fell off the toilet and invented time travel by hitting his head and got the flux capacitor going. I'm sure we've all heard the legend, right? 
Sure, we all know. There you go. The Andy's even got an emote for us right there. Great Scott! <laughs> A bolt of lightning, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I've never seen Doctor Who before. I've never watched that. Oh, Doc, this is heavy. You speaking of heavy, we found rations. All right. Is there a problem with the Earth's gravitational pull? Great Scott, my son Scott is not so great. No, not, of course, not with that guy. <laughs> One million dollars, right? Yeah, we'll go with that. Sounds good to me. There, you, there, you, you guys have the perfect emotes at all times. We have one from Andy, there's one from No Life, such, such good emotes. There's actually a streamer I've heard that forbids usage of other people's emotes in his chat before. Can you believe that crap? Can you actually believe that? Who in God's name would do that? Not me. <laughs> Not me! Nova, what's going on? What the hell happened? Oh, I found something else. survived <laughs> we we're finding hidden doors all over the freaking place now I kind of want to search this entire building ammo okay oh, we find the, the good where's the freaking doctor dude Obvious trap was obvious. I don't know. I saw it a bit too late. It scared the crap out of me. That was a bit of a jump scare. Yeah, I know that there is a. Come on, Doc. You know they're different. Oh, <laughs> Marty, you're just not thinking fourth dimensionally. That's what I'm having to do right now. I'm just thinking fourth. No, not really. Just bear with me. I just wanted to say that. I wouldn't say I was thinking fourth dimensionally. All right, we could go down here. Or we could keep looking for more hidden stuff. I'm kind of having having some success looking for hidden stuff or we could go down all right where does down go I wonder if that connects to the other part with all the uh with that dark room let's find out let's go ahead and find out while we're here all right we got to check all the doors big boss here I forgot to tell you about the pit oh I'm sure I'm sure I'm dancing the music is pretty groovy it fits the theme really well ready it really does Stream of Pete trickled down after that jump scare. Wouldn't I, if it happened, I would not lie about it. We got a call coming in. Hi, this is Di Oh my god! Hi, this is Diane. How are you doing? Don't fall into enemy enemy pits. Pit traps. Over. Okay. Wait, her transceiver number was different. I'm calling you back. It's 91 now, really? Dude, Diane's freaking real. Okay, well, that's interesting. All right, let's put the flashlight on and see how that works. All right, just illuminates the whole room. There's going to be a trap in the middle of the room. There's going to be one right here. Or maybe there's not. Okay. All right, I'm really scared now. <laughs> I'm really, really, really scared now. They snake their bombs there. That would have been nice to know, right? At least Diane makes an appearance. That's a powerful flashlight. It's as powerful as this one right here. This is the flashlight that I'm... Look at this thing. This thing's a freaking beast. <laughs> this, is, this is the exact flashlight I'm using right now. That thing's powerful. <laughs> that thing will really blind you. you to be careful with that thing. But that's the flashlight I just got in the game. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Sorry about that. It is really powerful. Use that for anyone that backseats? I should. I absolutely should. <laughs> We're getting another call here. Hi, this is Diane. How are you doing? Are you going to tell me the same thing? Okay, well, I pretty much know there's probably going to be... Look at this room, dude. I don't trust this room for a New York minute. Look at this. 
Big Boss here, you blinded me with science. She blinded me with science, right? Yes. Hi, Snake. Please remember to look both ways before you cross the street. She's going to troll me with some other crap in a minute. She's right, though. Look, there's pits here. I'm really scared. I'm, like, legit frightened about... <laughs> Oh, I can't make it. How am I going to get through that? Really fast? Okay, they're going to reset the room. Solid snake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Maybe if I run really... Ah! You can't get me! Oh, I should be looking for hidden doors. Okay, there's not going to be any over there. Oh no. <laughs> this room looks fun. Uh oh. Alright, Diane, you gonna tell me the same thing again? Alright, we know. There's pits everywhere here. Alright, nothing over there. Nothing over there. There's gonna be. <gasps> ah! I, I knew it, dude! I knew it! I just don't know where they are! I, I I was doing good to make it that far. All right, well, at least we know what we're doing now. At least we know what we're doing. All right, let's... You know what? I'm going to go to the building from the other side. I think that's just the north of here. I have it written down, so it should connect if it's all one building. It's like playing Minesweeper, but with your body. It kind of is. It kind of is. Yeah, it's absolute Minesweeper to the max here. Body stockings. What's going on? Welcome in. <laughs> How's it going today? This is very interesting. All right. All right, what did I have written down for this? Let me figure out where this even was. This is the tank area. It's left, left, up, right, left. Okay. Left, left. This should connect, connect us to the other building. I bet that doctor we're looking for is going to be in the middle of that nightmare of pit traps and crap. He's got to be. There's nowhere else to search that I can even remember. I think we've been everywhere else. Probably missing something. You're good and welcome in. All right, here we are. All right, this is going in the building from the other side, so there's going to be new stuff to look at, obviously. Yeah, so this is where they put me in jail earlier, and this was the first place we went to, but then I got here into the room. I didn't have a flashlight, so now we have one. It's going to be different. You ever go back to that area where Big Boss canceled the mission? Oh, I don't remember where that was. I know what you're talking about, but I didn't do that. I drew my map for that upper part. I did. I did, but I didn't check everywhere for secret stuff because I got derailed by this. So we might have to go back into that northern part up there and look through it some more. In fact, yeah, these, these extra rooms right here, I didn't make it to. All right, yeah, we went through that, that part right there. Okay. Just making sure. All right, and those parts right here, all right, I'm going to make sure all the, that connected to there, that connected to there, and then I think I died at some point, like, right there, and I think the maps are going to connect. Mixer's going to love the game. I'm doing, well, I'm actually making some success here, but I, we're kind of stuck right now because I don't know where this doctor guy is, and that seems like one of the last things we're going to have to do, but I have no clue where to look for him, unless he's, he's here in this pit trap part. This is all I have left. All right, so I don't remember what door it was. Oh, it's, it's five or six, because this is a part near here. All right, here we go. All right, that's not where we needed that. The flashlight comes in handy. All right, just clear them out. Clear them out. This, I think, is where I needed the flashlight. I think. Kind of scared to do this because I'm gonna. I died really quick in here last time. All right, let's put the light on. Oh, the door shuts! I was gonna try and prop the door open, put the flashlight on, and then go in there. It's not gonna let me do that. Okay, I'm I'm alive. All right, transceiver. All right, Diane's gonna tell me what, what I already need to do. All right, we're we're okay. All right, put the flashlight on. 
Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh, I'm scared, dude. <laughs> I gotta test to the left. Oh my god. How, dude? Alright, if I... Okay, what I'm gonna need to do is maybe if I go fast like that, I should be able to get through it. Oh, this is very scary. This is very, very, very frightening. Alright, it was card one that did it. We're gonna have to leave the room. This should reset the traps. I'm really scared. <laughs> I'm really scared! happen on the next screen. I might walk straight into a trap. Alright, we know how to do that now. I think this is where I died last time. Okay, if I go down here, am I gonna die? No. Okay, I'm safe to go that way. I, I'm really, really, really... My, my heart is pounding right now. I don't know where they're gonna be. Alright, is there going to be one in the upper right corner? There's not going to be one directly above that. Oh, no! Oh, my goodness, okay. Oh, if I make a quick move right there, I might make it. I'm going to go with the, the, the captain, Goten, not Big Boss. I'm going with the captain. All right, we might be able to sneak through there. This is pretty stressful. <laughs> this is pretty stressful. All right. Whoa! <laughs> All right, you're safe if you stay on the edges right here. This is so stressful right now. We're not done. We're absolutely not done. Like, this, this is... <laughs> no! Okay, you can't go on the left side at all. <laughs> this is insane. Where was that? I need to know exactly where that pops out. Okay. So if I get right here, I'm going to be okay. I got to get right to there. So it's right on line with the first box. This is very, very, very interesting. Man, this is craziness. Scarab, welcome in. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a nice day. I'm doing really good. We're trying to get through these awful pit traps, and it's scaring the life out of me, but it's... But I think we might... Yes! Alright, there's not one up here. If there's one in the corner here, I'm gonna die, because there's nowhere else to go. Be you playing Snake Revenge? I might. I actually might, since this is going fairly decently. I might pull- <gasps> Jesus! Oh. I don't know if I can make it through that, dude. I don't know if I can make that. I didn't find anything in there! Oh, oh my god! 
god, I'm not going that way again. There's no reason to. It connects back to the top part. There's no reason to do that. Boku, what's going on? Welcome in. We're going to go back to the top part. Let's see if we can do that. I think the, 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 the room connects. We should be able to do that. It looks like, according to my map, it's going to just connect the two parts. So I don't think we have to go through that hellish section. I guess you... You know what? Maybe the only reason that exists is in case you can't get through the maze from both sides or something. I'm not sure. All right, let's go to the part with the scorpions near the desert. Let's do that. Shut up. I don't care what the guards got to say. I, we're on a mission here. Can you make the holes in this game animated emote? You could if you really... Tr yeah, you would have to color them like gray or something so they might show up better. But you could do that. Forget Hershey squirts. I got a full Snickers in my pants. Dude, I'm scared out of my wits doing this. This is crazy. This is nonsense. <laughs> All right, I have this written down. Lower left. Upper left. I didn't even know how I got past this the first time. Just blind luck. You guys had to clip it for me. Thank you for that, Link. I appreciate it. Big Boss here. I forgot to tell you. Big Boss. Yeah. Screw Big Boss. Alright, so that's how you get past that part. This is going to be back in the top section again, which leads me to believe there's nothing in that part with the pits. Alright, I don't remember which card gets us in the door here. I have no idea. Them Duke boys? Yeah, blame them Duke boys. Obviously, right? Alright, we're back in this again. Okay, that's where he tells me that there's a... Uh, Dire Sticks, welcome in. How's it going today? Think we might need a different hero in here. Anyone have the number of Pitfall Harry? Don't ask the Pitfall Harry from Super Pitfall. You will regret it seriously, because that guy's a freaking klutz. No, that's not what I wanted. Dire Sticks, how you doing today? Welcome in. We're trying to figure this nightmare out. Okay, I'm back to square one here, because there's nowhere else to go. So, maybe I'm missing a hidden door... Actually, I think I might have an idea based on the way my map structure works. You see this right here? This is the north part of this building right here. And these rooms right here are the pit trap rooms right here. These are where the pit traps are. This is the section I'm in now. Right here, I'm right here. This is the room I'm in right now. See, what if there's a hidden room right here because that would fill in the square on the map? That's what I'm going to go look at. I just realized that by looking at my own map. Maybe that's what I was missing the first time I was there, because I didn't check that area. All right, what card was it? I don't even remember. I should have written down, like, which card goes into what door on the map. So we're going to do some wall punching and always try Pitfall. How about some Super Pitfall? You want to play that, Rydia? I'm going to play some Super Pitfall. I actually owned that as a kid. I think I could do it again. We'll try some Super Pitfall one day. It'll go awful while I try and relearn it. Meticulous mixer. I gotta do what it well this game is making me be meticulous right now for sure. Simply because the secret walls and stuff, there's been like three or four in this one section for Pitfall on Atari. How about Pitfall 2? Pitfall 2 on the Atari is freaking awesome. It's better than Super Pitfall on the NES by leaps and bounds. No, there's nothing over here. Not here! Oh, yes, there is! It's right here. I'm going to mark on the map right now where this is. See that little pink line I drew right there? That is going to fill in the map right there. Oh, boy, we've got a boss. I am a fire trooper. Want to see me roast you alive? Fire blocks. Hold up. <laughs> I 
This isn't working. We're, we're gonna need another weapon. This is not the answer. All right, let's try something else. How about rockets, obviously? <laughs> I bet this is it. Really? <laughs> Just had to time the rocket shot correctly. Okay. Got it. I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Okay, Lone Star. Okay. All right, well, he's dead. But what was he going to accomplish there, standing there with a flamethrower that can't even reach me? What an idiot. All right, well, that guy deserved to die. There's got to be. There's got to be something here. That filled in the map. That was the only clue I had for that section. If I hadn't drawn my own map right there, I don't think we would have found that. <laughs> All right, what's this going to do? Card six. Oh, card six. Please tell me this is the doctor and not another trap. I am... Oh, my God! We finally found him, dude! <laughs> We've been looking for him for all day. I'm Dr. Petrovich. The Metal Gear is located about 20 kilometers north of this building. It is in the sub-basement 100 of building number three. Wasn't I down there earlier? I want to say I was down in a big basement, but I don't remember where that was. We have to set plastic explosives on the supercomputer that controls all the Metal Gear functions. No matter what, you have to set 16 plastic explosives. Good luck. Okay, I thought I was down there earlier. All right, he's gone now. All right, we got to get back to wherever the hell that was. Well, I don't even remember where that was. Hopefully, we can find it again. Because <laughs> I don't really... Oh, there's gas. Hold up. Hold up. All right, building three. Where was that? Oh my gosh, we found the doctor, dude! That took forever! It took freaking forever to find him. Well, but we got him. Alright. Let's get out of here and find building three. I don't really remember where any of that was. Where was that? I don't know. <laughs> I... Where... Is that where... Oh, I think I know where it is. It's where Big Boss tells you to get in the truck, I think. I think. I don't remember which key card it was to get out of these doors. I have no idea. I didn't mark that down. All right, here we go. All right, this is going to exit the building. Then we're going to be back in the maze area. And then we should be able to find where we're going, I think. 20 kilometers north of the building I'm in. That, yeah, that helps a lot. <laughs> that helps a lot because I can't move up from here. one of these cards is going to work. It's so dumb with the key cards for you guys that have never played this before. You have to switch to the perfect key card for it to work or nothing happens. All right. Let's uh look for where we need to be, I suppose. All right, down, up, I don't remember. Like Boo's Fury, I don't think I no, I haven't played any of those newer Dragon Ball Z games. Supercomputers invincible if you don't do the doctor and daughter. Well, I'm glad I explored that section very carefully then, because I don't know what we're about to be up against. Big Boss here to save your game. Hold reset as you turn the power off. Try it now. Yeah. G good luck with that. I'm not playing Final Fantasy, and there's no save feature. Get in the truck in the right. Yeah, look at Big Boss trying to sabotage the mission. It's too late for that. It's too late. All right, well, this was card seven, I think, to get in here. This is, I think this is it. This is it. All right, I don't want rockets on. And they shot me. Of course they did. I'm kind of hurt, though. Kind of... Oh, you guys forgot there's pit traps in this room. Oh, my God. All right. I forgot about that. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's get back to where we were. <laughs> All right, I said something about 16 plastic explosives. I've got that. I've got 20. My God. I forgot that was in there. See, I... Do I even have that section mapped? I don't think I do. I don't. 
some reason I didn't do a map of that because it was like a one-way trip or something. As I actually fall down the pits, it just collapses next to the pits. A lazy death animation for the pit deaths. Only 24. Yeah, that's. I think that's about it, Goten. It's right around there. I have the wrong thing equipped again. We need to just put the machine gun on it. doesn't really matter at this point, does it? No. I, we gotta be near the end of the game. We gotta be. There's not much else to do. There's one area it looks like I haven't explored according to everything I've seen so far. Alright, so we gotta be careful with the traps in there. Totally forgot that was in there. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's not do any backseating. We're getting close to the end. Been a good stream, at least, even though people haven't spoiled anything ridiculous, at least. Alright, here we're back to this again. I think there was ammo in this one. Yeah, let's grab some ammo. I don't know what we're going to be up against. I'm going to get one more thing of ammo so we fill up on our uh, pistol. Yeah, if the rank thing, if you're not maximum ranked, you can't do anything in this game. See, I think that's why I got stuck as a kid, because I didn't find all the hostages. And if you don't find the hostages, then you're not going to make any progress. That's probably what screwed me over. I kind of get that now, because I never got close to rescuing the doctor or anything like that. That was well beyond my ability. Anyways, big boss or big boss or big boss man? We can't insult the big boss man, can we? By comparing him to this clown. All right, that's what you do there. All right, but you have to move down here because there's another pit in front of the elevator. All right, you have to go around it like this. Yeah, see, I would have died again there. All right, now, see, this is what they're talking about. You go down, he said, 20 kilometers north of the building, then down in, like, the basement sub-level or something. That's what I was like, Yellow Freeze. I didn't think the hostages mattered that much, but they do. You have to practically find all of them. Big Boss or Big Mac? Big Boss, I guess. I'm going to be forced into that forced into that terrible choice. I guess I'll have no choice whatsoever. Dragon King, what's up, man? Welcome in. How you doing today? Welcome to Metal Gear. We're trying. We're trying to make some progress here. Alright. Uh, I have this written down. I think I have this. Yes, I do. I have this section. At least I think I do. How you doing today, Dragon King? Welcome in. Bubba Rogers or... Uh, 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 I'll go with Bubba Rogers instead of Dudley, I suppose. Big Macs are trash. Snake, return to base now. Abort operation intrude in 313. The mission is a failure. Turn off the game console. Too late. Too late. And thank you for the follow, Night Shiv. Welcome in. Patron, thank you for the follow as well. That might have happened while I was AFK. Patron, thank you for the follow, buddy. Welcome in, Night Shiv. Good to have you here as well. Never got anywhere in this game? We're deep into it, Cloud. We are deep into it. Is it going to take key 8 to get in here? It is. Okay, so you have a... This might be a trap. I don't know about this. I'm scared to even talk to this dude at this point. Burger King or Dairy Queen? Uh, I'm going to go with Dairy Queen because I like ice cream, I guess, even though I don't really... There's not a good Burger King around here, at least not that I know of. That was a close call. The leader of the enemy fortress is the supreme commander of Foxhounder, the big boss. <laughs> Jesus. I knew it. I knew it, dude. It was just too perfect. It was... Now I'm looking back on it. <laughs> he was trying to get me killed the whole time. And you know what? He actually did several times. He's been behind everything all along. Good freaking lord. Oh my god, the lasers. Wow, Big Boss was behind it. Look, now Big Boss is on the transceiver here. Here he is. Solid Snake, Operation Intrude, N313, canceled, repeat, canceled. Return to base immediately. Now, you know what? He's, he's panicking. He's panicking because we're on the verge of winning. That's why he's doing that here. Oh my, what are we going to see up ahead? I have no idea. I'm, I'm kind of nervous about what we might run into here. I, I, I am a little bit 
<laughs> apprehensive about Oh, we're in the gas, we're in the gas, we're in the gas. Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're fine. All right, we have multiple choices. At least it's a, a, like a closed room here, right? It, it's not going to be like a pit trap's gonna get me at this point. We gotta try and get in the door here. No. Come on. No. I'm gonna die here if I don't screw it, if I... Come on! Freaking key cards! This is so dumb, I hate this. It's the dumbest part of the game is doing the key card thing. It's the dumbest, dumbest part of the game, I swear to God. All right, key card seven. No, key card eight. I've tried every one of them, of course, is the last one. How dare you, game? I was prepared for that. How dare you? <laughs> I saw right through that trap. Uh-uh. Mm -mm, we've come too far for that falling for that crap again. Nope, not again. I've been down that road too many times. You're not you're not getting me again. <laughs> that was a nice trick by Big Boss right there, but we were ready for it that time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Big Boss. Yep, I see I see your game here. I see what you're gonna do. You're not gonna even put one in there. It's in there. Dude, that's so trolly, but then, like I said, I was prepared that time. <sighs> Big Boss is slick. You gotta hand it to the guy. You gotta hand it to the guy. He, he's pretty impressive with pulling off all this crap. Alright, let's keep going. Keep going, Big Boss or Major Bison. Uh, I don't think Bison could have pulled off something this devious, I'm pretty sure. More freaking gas. All right, is there going to be another trap in the room? It's a big room. It could be. Please don't be. Please don't be. What was that? Oh, there's mines or something. Oh, my God. Dude, that's, that scared the crap out of me. I thought it was going to be another trap. All right, so they put a mine in the room. They did that on purpose, didn't they? Did that on purpose. All right, we gotta get through the door. All right, it's door one. All right, the uh, telephone. Jennifer here. The only chance is run for it now. Over. All right, well, I want to call Diane. Diane was on a different frequency earlier. She was on ninety-one. Nope, oh, that's the wrong way. Let's call Big Boss just for the hell of it. See if he's got any new new to say here. Nope. Alright, he's probably scared crapless right now anyway. Alright, let's see if Diane's here. No, of course not. Alright. Alright, Jennifer said to run for it. Alright, there's no switch in the room to freaking hit. All right, so what I'm going to have to do is put it on rations and make a run for it. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> I'm not going to make it, dude. All right, yeah, I am. We're going to be okay. There's guys like right on top of me! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, said plastic explosives. That's what they said. Like it's getting hurt. See, I don't like it when you don't know if you're doing damage. See, I use plastic explosives on the tank and I hit it like 10 times and nothing happened. It's 
not doing anything, dude. <gasps> Emergency alert! The enemy fortress destruct mechanism has been activated. Begin preparations for evacuation. What? Well, Solid Snake, it's amazing that you've lasted this long. Yes, it's true. Not only am I Foxhounder's Supreme Commander, Big Boss, but I've been the leader of the enemy fortress, too. I'm going to get to fight him as a new and inexperienced member of our team. You're supposed to be tricked into carrying false information, but you accomplished too much, Solid Snake. You were too good. Don't think you can kill me so easily. Come and try. If I'm going to die, you're going. You're coming with me. Hell no. After what you put me through. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. After what you put me through. Don't you run from me. Dude, there's a freaking time limit. <laughs> oh my god, there's three doors! Alright, Big Boss just blew his ass up. <laughs> it's a time limit, though! Wait, wasn't there a hint for this earlier? Something about an escape? I Let me check my notes. I know I wrote something down about something like this somewhere. I wrote something down. Alright, let me look. The, the timer's not running, so I'm okay. When you make your escape, take the elevator on the left. That's what I have written down. This information better be right. <laughs> if it's not, we're gonna die! He just blew Big Bro big Boss up with a bunch of rockets. That's what he does. I should have shot him a million. Oh my god, that's it. This is Solid Snake. The Metal Gear has been destroyed. Wait, what? Operation Intrude N313 is a success. Oh my god, it's over. We did it. It's all over. Everything at last. Solid Snake returning to base. Over. Oh my god. It's over. It's over! This is Station KNK bringing you a spot news report. Wait, what? Today at dawn, there was apparently a large scale earth tremor in the region of Galsberg, South Africa. This is your computer speaking. Here are the creators of your Metal Gear game. Okay, it's gonna be the credits. That's it for the ending. That's it for the ending. Omega Mac, welcome in. Thank you for the GG's, guys. Holy crap, it's, we did it. I am your computer. My computer's talking to me now. Holy freaking crap, it's over. Dude, that was 30 years. That was 30 years in the making to beat this game. 30 freaking years. Let's do one of those Twitch moment things. I think I can still do that. And th that's it, dude! Oh my god, there wasn't even the credits lasted like five seconds! Who was he talking to? He killed the boss? I have no idea. Already done. Okay, thank you. Oh my god, dude, we freaking did it. It's over. Oh my god, Metal Gear's beaten. I never in my wildest dreams imagined this day would ever come after all the anguish and pain I went through with this game as a kid. I had no idea. None whatsoever what how deep this game really went. You know what? It's not that bad. If, you, if you're meticulous about it, if you just go through it willy-nilly, doing everything on a whim, and just winging it, you're not going to get very far in this game. See, that was my problem as a kid. I wasn't detailed enough. I wasn't anywhere close to detailed enough. Code, Cody, what's up, man? Who am I missing? Palm Factory, welcome in. 
Oh my god, Sergeant Power Glove, what's up? Thank you for the GG's, guys. Holy freaking crap. Alright, so if you use that, you get extra time. Interesting. Interesting, Lord Malachite. I had no idea. So see, I went through the whole game not knowing what that did. It mean it in seven hours. I, I can't really count it as seven hours. I really can't. Because I played this a lot as a kid, but I'm not sure if I even remembered anything when I was a kid. I was just meticulous this time. I took plenty of good notes. So see, here's like, for you guys that are just joining us, this is like one of the maps I drew of one of the floors that, and labeled it fairly decently. And I did this with all the major buildings, and that seemed to be the best way to get through it. If I hadn't done this, there probably would have been no way to get through it. So I have like 10 sheets of paper here, all with different maps and stuff drawn on them. See, here's another one right here. This was the simpler floor right there. Okay, so it's a very... It's more of a... It's more of a complicated game than I was thinking it would be, honestly, even in the deeper parts of it. So uh, Diane does give you hints like how to kill the bosses. She tells you about stuff like Tank with the Mines. You couldn't get a hold of her later because she changes frequencies on you. The transceiver does make this game extremely cryptic. See, they gave me her frequency early in the game, but I kept trying that frequency, and it worked twice. It said she was in the shower, she was shopping, and then she actually called me on the later building, and her frequency was something completely different. So see, how are you supposed to to know how are you supposed to know that kind of stuff i don't get it big boss here look out for pits big boss is blown apart there are chunks of big boss all over the room because i killed him with the rocket launcher there's nothing left of big boss and then the the uh, entire thing melted down you know what i just realized too the mech you know what i'm looking at here see on the the the, the box right here you see this mech it's not even in the game. What am I missing here? Is it really not even in the game? We blew up a computer that's supposed to power the mech, but I don't remember seeing the mech in the game unless maybe that got omitted due to time or something. I don't know. I don't have a clue. Big Boss needs his own game. No, he doesn't. It was removed. You kill it in the MSX version. All right, we got to play the MSX version at some point then. It's not in the game. Would you rate the game? Did you enjoy it? K-Fight, I actually did enjoy it. I had fun. I'm no... These days, at age 41, I'm no stranger to cryptic games and trying to figure stuff out. So I, I think all my experience of RPGs and stuff like that, since I last played this game, probably made a difference. That's what I would guess. Make sure if you're to kill a prisoner, you'd lose a, rank, a star in rank and the game would become soft locked. You wouldn't get three stars for the tank or four stars for enough plastic explosives. So you can actually shoot the POWs. You can kill the POWs. Unfreaking believable. Guy from Red Bank, what's going on? Welcome in. There is so much deeper into this game than I thought there, there would ever be. You can kill the POWs. That's insane. When, see, when I fought the tank earlier, I like threw everything I had at it. I didn't even dent it. But you can only damage it with mines. So the plastic explosives are only for the computer. The mines are only for the tank. And the grenade launcher is only for those guys on the roof and that bulldozer thing I killed in the building. So see, it's very specialized. Like there's no one thing works for all. I, I'm kind of baffled in a lot of ways. I, we just finished Trogdor. It's over. We just beat it. Yep, and then you're stuck, you're lucky you didn't accidentally, and then not have a code or recent save state. I, we would have had to play the whole game again. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Kid, I never found the doctor's daughter, even with enough plastic explosives to supercomputer. It's indestructible until you rescue the daughter. Okay. Well, I found her, like, in an empty room or something. There was an empty room. I punched the walls, and she showed up. On the other side, you can kill most bosses with the grenade launcher. Okay. So, see, they don't flash when you hit them either. It's strange. They, they should have had flashing going on. I remember being disappointed because there was no Metal Gear fight or any sighting except on the cover art. Unfreaking believable, dude. <laughs> I thought we were actually going to fight the mech or something. But no, it was, but no, it was me, Big Boss. That's good. I would rather have blown Big Boss up anyway. <laughs> Go Tim, thank you for the hundred bits, man. I appreciate it. Too kind, dude. You don't have to do that, but thank you so very much. 
Man, <laughs> what, what, what a hell of a run, dude. I, I, I'm in disbelief that I was able to beat this game. I really am. I felt like I got lucky in a couple of parts, like with the mazes, but the mazes weren't all that bad because there's only four moves and you're going to the left each time. So even if I hadn't gotten it quick, I think we could have knocked it out in about 30 minutes per maze maximum. Yes, Trogdor, that's what I was told. That increases the timer, but I didn't know. I hadn't a clue. We're done, by the way. We're gonna let's raid somebody. We just finished it. Did Jenny get out of the shower? No, Diane. I think she did. She did warn me about something. Great playthrough. You pretty much went through everything. So I didn't miss anything. Yeah, let me ask this. Did I miss anything? Link says 100% run. Okay, so I didn't miss a thing. That's unbelievable. If you're holding rides, you're moving the last electric floor into the supercomputer room. You auto-teleport to the big boss fight. Well, then what's the point of the supercomputer fight? That sounds like a freaking glitch. Amazing playthrough. Loved every minute of getting to see all this game again. Oh, my gosh. Gray Foxy, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm just in awe. Go 10, thanks for the 100 bits again. Thank you very much as well, Gray Foxy. Yeah, let's raid Throg. He's the one that... We're, we're playing this because of Throg, basically. If it wasn't for him redeeming it, we wouldn't have played this today. So let's drop him a raid. Perfect. He's doing Super Punch-Out, Speed Running, and Retro Achievements. A great game. A great game choice, that is. You freeze the pit mid opening. All right, how does all right? Let me. T how does that work? How do you freeze the pits? Cyborg, I don't think that's an item, is it? No, you're just trolling, aren't you? That's not a real item. <laughs> no way, dude. No way. Yeah, th th I'm very thankful for this redeem. This is one of the rare times a, a bad game is redeemed. I ended up liking it. Th that is a rare thing. I think that's happened like three times now. Plaboo, that happened with Amagon with you. And it happened with Corman with, uh, what was that? Athena. So see, I've actually liked three redemptions now. That's very odd and weird, but I'm very happy with that. Pause when the pit is opening. It stops, but it, and it stops, but it is invisible. Okay, so you can like free like if if the pit is growing to like this size and then maximum like this. If you stop it like here, then you could walk around the edges of it, but it's still invisible. Okay, so see, there's a lot of little tricks and tips that work really well with the game that I would not have known otherwise. I thank you guys for not spoiling it. Hit pause, freezes the pit. Whenever the was open, the pit remains open. Okay. Well, see, that I hit pause earlier, like when the pit was on the screen. I paused the game completely and came back, and I was like, oh, the pit's gone. And then I walked into the spot, and I died anyway. So if you do it while the pit's growing, it'll actually stay smaller. Very interesting. I'm sure that wasn't my intent, but that is really cool to know so yeah once we're done you guys can spoil away once we're done with a run i appreciate all the information on it jank doesn't necessarily mean bad no not at all not at all sometimes it can actually be fun jank in its own ways right uh pause i had fun i kind of had fun with bubsy as well cyborg i i kind of had fun i admit but you guys have a wonderful rest of your day thank you for hanging out i appreciate you more than you'll ever know if you ever want to join my Discord, it's right there as well. But in the meantime, you guys be safe, take care, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with something. I don't know. I'll dig through the backlog and pull something out, and we'll play it. Don't know what it is, though. You can also rest the rollers and boss movements by pausing the game helps with the bulldozer. Oh, well, it would reset the position. What is up with all these quirks in the game? <laughs> Weird stuff, I know, right? Have a good night, guys. Thank you for hanging. Appreciate you. See you tomorrow, whenever.